Kuni unacheka? I'm so excited. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another session of the Playhouse. If you're feeling our vibes, us guys are super excited. Yani, it's been a while since I've been this excited to do a CTA. Why even like today is going to be this CTA? This one, my friends, it is going to be absolutely incredible. Yeah, I know you've gotten a glimpse of who the person is, but let me tell you guys, Yani, it is an honor. It is an honor to be able to delve into the life of our guest today and to hear the story, to hear her story, to hear her impact, to hear the incredible things that she's done, to hear about the struggle she's overcome, to hear about the faith that she has because of some of the things that she's done out of this world. You know, in CTA, one of the things, one of my favorite guests in CTA mm -hmm. are the ones who impact behind the scenes. A lot of people don't, uh, they see them, but they don't know exactly who they are or what they have done. Mm. They don't understand <laughs> that the people who you see in front of the scenes, like now with me, I've got an amazing camera crew. I've got Wamai and I've got Aizo. A lot of you may not get to see them, but without them, CTA wouldn't happen. And in fact, they make it so easy. Come Leo, it is so easy for me to do what it is that I'm doing because of the incredible team behind me. Now, our guest is that person. Our uh, guest is that incredible enabler who plays such a huge role behind the scenes, ensuring and helping the people who you all know, you all know Excel. People like Jigush, people like Celestine, people like uh, Easter, <laughs> people like none other than Kurgenzi himself, Abel Mtua. But in her right, even without her husband, I'm not, I don't just want to introduce on the basis of her husband. This is an incredible woman with an incredible story. Yani, Judy, yes. I have no idea how excited I am for today's CTA. Yeah. I, am, I am honored. Thank you so much for coming to CTA. And you've come with such a, such a, sijafanya ladies and gentlemen, you've come with such an incredible heart of wanting to give. You're already telling me, Richie Uliza. Ask and I will I, I will share. You've come with such a heart of of wanting to give. Let me say she is a mother to one. So celeb in the making, <laughs> amazing girl in the making, a husband to one, and in her own right, an incredible human being. I've had the privilege of working with her. I've had the privilege of having various conversations with her behind the scenes. So it is amazing, and I'm blessed to have this in front of on camera conversation with her. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, put your hands together. And that includes me and kwa 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 cameras. For none other than Judy Nyawera. Cameras. Sikuwa si budget si tight. Hata niko na real real claps. Yeah. Thank you so much. Wow, Richie. What an introduction. What an introduction. You know, your intro have not even done it justice because, but that, that I intentionally said behind the scenes mm. because people are going to be like, Allah, mm. yeah, Allah, Allah, yeah. they're going to understand the brilliance that you are. So, so. thank you so much for coming. Breakfast, Mikula? Breakfast, Mikula, and Mikula, Kwaso. Kwaso. Nkakulati grapes, nkakunya kahawa. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm Anytime ready. Anytime you want to stop for a break, for us <laughs> to have a drink, we can have. Now lunch, we'll even order that later. All right. A all big right. thank you. I'm going to thank the host. Huh? Mm -hmm. The host is very special to me. Yes. <laughs> very, very special to me. <laughs> who's made our life amazing. This is actually an Airbnb mm. in the heart of Kilelesho. Um, so just click on the description uh, and you can rent it. Four bedrooms, all in suites. It's a very beautiful house. It is, eh? Very so you're back to where you're going to see a lot of people. You're going to see a lot of people. You're going to see a lot So um, an amazing, amazing, amazing place. I'm sure you're seeing the, the cutaway scrolling mm. on your screen right now. A big thank you. If you want to book this place, it is going fast. So go into the description, click, click, click mm. on the link, and you'll be able to get it. Anyway, Judy, yes. your intro ni me, ni me bonga excess. Your it's time for us to... Oh, you're right. <laughs> yes. It's, it's time for us guys to jump into the heart of this. Yes. I'm ready. I told you. Today, you ask whatever questions you have, yeah. Richie, I'm ready to answer. I'm ready to, to get value from your life's mm -hmm. journey. 
and it is an honor. So Judy, thank you. Without further ado, first and foremost, what are some yanzana yi? Is it Judy na wera mutua? Ama mutua yi? So officially on the ID, the government ID, it's Judy Nyawira Muraidi. Mm. That's my dad. Mm. Yeah, but pale kwa, what is it called? The marriage certificate. Yeah. Ni Judy Nyawira Mutua. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. But we'll get to marriage later. Mm. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Tell me a little bit about, no, let's start from the beginning. Yeah. Tell me about the day you were born and let's go on. Okay. So I was born in a very small village in the heart of Kirinyaga County. Uh, a village called So what wa kizungu nani nani watasema Kibirigwi ni Kiferigwi. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> in Kirinyaga County. To uh two parents. Uh Miss Anne okay, Mrs. No, Miss okay. Anne Wanjiko and Johnston Murethi. Mm. That's my dad. And uh, the second born uh, in a family of four siblings. Mm-hmm. Yes. So from those from those siblings mm-hmm. uh, uh break down their are you the first girl or you the uh, was was there a boy break down the the breakdown male female All right. So uh brothers sisters sisters Yes. So there are three sisters. Oh, two sisters as in three including myself and one brother. Mm. So our first born her name is Nimo. <laughs> Nimo we call her Nimo or Mori. Mori is a nickname. Uh she's our first born and then I'm the second born. Mm. Then there is Njesh, our third born, and then our last born, which is the only boy of the family. Tunamuitanga Kabag. Kabag is a nickname. His name is Michael. <laughs> hey, yeah. Everyone has nickname. My nickname growing up was Junior. Mm. If I hear Junior, eh, 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 I stop. See, kumanisha mwanzo kunijua. Uyo ni mtu anakujua from way back when. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what year is this? This is a uh, 1987. I was born on the 21st of November 1987. Hmm. Yes, celebrating my birthday in couple of days. In a couple of oh, that's weeks. A, my sister is also born on the 21st of November. Oh, really? Crazy. Oh, nice. Okay, so <laughs> tell me about um Kirinyaga country. What what did you call it again? Kiferigwi. Kif, Kifer, how do how do Bobby say it? Kibirigwi. Kibirigwi. <laughs> tell me about Kibirigwi. <laughs> Ah uh, so Kifirigu is a very small town on your way to Karatina mm. actually between Sagana and Karatina iko hapo kwa hiyo barabara if yeah. you frequent that road una lazima just before actually just before Kangosho mm. even you must have been on that road quite often for yes. you to know the different towns mm. yeah and uh, we used so you know how families like back in the day simlikuwa mna okay mtu ushago Mm. Si wa ushago, wa ushago, By the way, I went to school in Nyeri, so I know Karatina <laughs> very well. <laughs> yeah. So, um tulikuwa tunaishi, you know, back in the day ushago. I don't know if people still live like that. It's crazy. So, ni mnaishi nyinyi wote pamoja. Nice. Right? So, Kifirigwe is where my dad comes from. Mm. And of course they were married ni nini. So, from pale juu, unajua vile mnaanza nga pale juu like kwa kamlima. Mm. So, our Shamba ya guka ilikuwa from pale juu mpaka chini. So, so guka, guka your dad's dad. My dad's dad. Okay. So guka in Shosho ndio wametuanzia pale juu. Mm-hmm. And then uh, some brothers to my dad, sisters to my dad, wote hivyo, hiyo familia yote. Sisi tulikuwa tunaishi hapa chini. So we all used to live in the Yo. same place. Yes, tulikuwa tunaishi sisi wote in the same area. Like niki kosa mafuta ya kupika naweza kimbia kwa shosho ama nikimbia kwa nko ama nikimbia kwa anti because <laughs> we always to live in the same piece of land. Kwa sasa kile vile kila mtoto mm. amegawiwa mm. so you're all together. I went to uh, Kiferigwe primary. Mm. I was there from class from nursery up to up until class No, up until class 3. Then I was transferred from Kifirigwe Primary to a private school in Karatina Town. Uh, yes. Just first of all you've really intrigued me about yeah. this living conditions. Mm. I'm I'm such a proponent for community living. Yes. It's one of the things that I can't stand about Nairobi City. Mm. The, the 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 family unit has been at a nibaya ko mjui. Yeah, that's true. That's get, true. Yes. So just tell me about that 
setting like so growing up minor school even we'll get to school mm. so growing up now you are playing with your cousins yes it's like they are your siblings yes actually it will be a very okay of course over time because of uh, everybody's everywhere in the country work mm. nini, nini. Uh, there's a bit of distance now but sisi tumelelewa like my cousins we've been we've grown up so close because mm. those were my playmates nikitoka shule hivi saa 9 unaingia home hivi you drop the bag and unaingia kwa kaki wanja you know Joshua go at least there was there was always Grass. some play area for the kids yeah aku ngekosa tu mali watu wanataka kucheza and was very good at football niko mm. anacheza full time <laughs> <laughs> na sasa yeye unacheza migutupu na your cousins na the kids from the neighboring homes yeah. um i i actually na hiyo rombo yote eh wacha ni kuambie i used to play by the way that's the one memory that is very that is still very fresh mm. in my mind hiyo kucheza kucheza futa ya saa 10 mm. sisi tuko tuna meet up saa 10 na tucheza mpaka saa moja giza ditafanya tunde nyumbani ama ukisikia mama kianza kushauti uko na jua we it's time to go home so as we grew up together we as in we grew up together with us with my cousins wote tulilele watu pamoja and and forgive my ignorance mm-hmm. is what kind of a structure you living in you know when when i think shag sometimes i think mad hats but then is it also now moved to the level of stone house is it like mm-hmm. like explain to me the the living structure actually our first house like our first house ile nyumba nakumbuka nikiwa mdogo mm. was a how for mbao hizo vile liko na jenga inanzi wana foundation ya uh, mawe mm-hmm. up to a certain point yes. kidogo tu ka foundation hapo alafu <laughs> inapandishwa na mbao uh. that was our first house nilikuwa ni floor ya mchanga tu mm. na kaikuwa ti cemented or anything nothing no tiles nothing ni kweli yenye mke mkasubu the first thing ni kumwaga maji ndio ufagie lisitoke na, na vumbi that was our first house in that same place in the same same place uh-huh. yes yeye natulishi kwa hiyo nyumba for quite some years in quite some years because i remember all through eh nikianza shule all through maybe to like class maybe class 4 tulikuwa kwa hiyo nyumba. Yo. Yes, that was our first house. Oh my god. Hey, okay, sasa hii inaanza. It brings back some good memories. Cuz I remember si tuko na shosho tuko na manti ni mm, mm. sisi tulikuwa wakulima wa kahawa. So everybody there like mm. we had big big um, coffee plantations. Coffee plantations. So I remember uh, na na ngombe. Like sisi we were pre- proper 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 cuz my mom was a housewife. Mm. She was a housewife ever since tukiwa wadogo. So my dad is the one who used to work. Na tulikuwa na kahawa, alafu tulikuwa na ngombe. Yeah, we used to have mini cows. So okay. you know making well, making mini... 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 Ai, vizuri sana. <laughs> Richie, like ati kukamwa ngombe, I can do it very well. Very very well. Like very because we used to have okay, I've said mini cows, mini is relative depending on na <laughs> toka wapi. Tulikuwa na ngombe kama 8. That's still a lot. Yeah, like we were proper like we had goats, we had ngombes, we had dogs. Cuz our favorite dog it was white and brown. It's now the skin that can gaze kona majina. Mimi hadi jangi ziko. Now this is like go old German shepherd. Oh, I don't know what. Sisi kwa tunajua tu ni dogi. Tuko I don't get you the breed gun. I don't know. Yeah, yes, it was just a dog. Yeah, but we were like my parents were proper proper farmers, but but my dad used to work uh, at K- KCC. So did you okay, also did. farm? Yes. Like uh, but our biggest the biggest um cash crop. Right? Isn't it a cash yeah. crop? Yeah. Was uh, the coffee. Mm. Eh, but sasa kuna ile kulima lima kidogo. Yes. Hiyo ndio ile kuna fanya mimi exactly. You're, you're, you're not going to the market. No 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 no. No 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 no. Cuz yeah, he sisi aji like ungeambia mama tunaenda kununua sukuma nini vitu kama hizo angeshanga. What is your problem? Yeah. Eh yeah, like the, you as as what you should go ulikuna need kukuoneza sustain family yako na kila kitu ikitoka kwa shamba yako. Nice. Vitu kama sukuma exactly. Vitu kama sukuma uh, even onions to vitu tudogo 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 the only thing i remember we never used to farm was like tomatoes you know your tomatoes is gonna mm. a bit of a process to mm. to eat yeah but ye yeah, tulikuwa tunalima sisi kila kitu tulikuwa inatoka kwa shamba yetu kama tunakula sukuma zimetoka kwa shamba yetu kama tunakula mahindi imetoka kwa ni mboshogideri 
nimetoka kwa shamba. Okay, tell me <laughs> tell me a little bit about your in fact I want to first hear about your dad because your mom I want to hear about. I want to find out you you're sounding like you're like your mom this personality <laughs> kuna kitu. Yes. So first tell, tell me about your dad first. So my dad uh, was an employee of KCC. Mm-hmm. When KCC was KCC. He's um, so from the stories we hear of course unajua kama mtoto hujua history ya babako before mm-hmm. you were mm-hmm. born. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, but my dad went to Alliance High School. Whoa. My dad was a genius. Like hapa, he was actually the first. They actually say in Kirinyaga County he might have been the first ever um, child to go to such kind of a school back in the day. Wow. Yes, like he's probably the first uh, uh person from Kirinyaga County to go to Alliance High School. And back then that was a big back then that deal. was a big like it big your life deal exactly it was a big big deal mm. like my dad factor called the alliance exactly <laughs> actually it, we we normally joke in the family like at home when we are um, with my siblings that if my dad was alive now nisha mm. like spoil up but if he was alive now angekuwa one of the governors of this soft life in this <laughs> <laughs> Ayakuwa governor fulani maybe anadanganya watu ama anasaidia watu you don't know <laughs> but for sure angekuwa wow. mahali kwa siasa okay that's yeah. spoiler alert me ni shock kidogo but then <laughs> it will we'll get there yes so how was he personality wise oh, did you have a relationship with him yes oh a very good relationship like um he used to work monday to friday but every friday usiku alikuwa anarudi home shago so him he used to stay in nairobi oh yes jesus as he kazi kwa nairobi mm. so angekuwa nairobi but every friday jioni alikuwa anarudi home shago sasa mm. anarudi home to his family and his kids right and how we used to know dada amefika nyumbani ilikuwa, he used to have um, the face me matatu the face me inaitwa face me hiyo <laughs> ndio kuna jua ni pick up but unajua the face oh, me the, the pick yes. up with the <laughs> don't you it's a pick up with a with a with a cover yes so with a cover mbao mbao exactly it was exactly like that so vile tulipo tunajua dada amefika ni juu mtu uko kwa katown kitu ka kiferegri angeiona ni hiyo mm-hmm. message ingefika nyumbani ujue dadia amefika na tulikuwa like the minute tunapata hiyo message tukiwa nyumbani used to run from now home to the shopping center kwenda kuona dadi amekuja cuz he would there was only one place ungempata akifika from Nairobi it was this kind of local pub <laughs> what is this kumbuka the name of that pub but we knew ukiambiwa by the way tumeona babako mm. aya unajua tu mali unamta hata ubeli you don't need to look for him anyway. we knew he would be in that pub mm. so it was a like tradition we had so tukisikia ame, amefika tunakuja tunaenda kwa pub tunampata na alikuwa anajua like it was unajua back then hakuna simu nini something alikuwa next alikuwa anajua by the way wakijua nimefika watakuja wanakuja but sasa dad alikuwa na come na goodies like every friday he would come with like a box of Uh, the kwa zini twaje zile ball gums zile ball gums za green yellow yeah. nini hizo zote yeah. zilikuwa na kajina they used to have there was a name I but hizo ball said, gums yes. za kitambo you remember them zini ukikulea red ulimina mm. kwa red mm. ukikulea blue hebu ingie kwa comments tu tukumbushe eh tukumbushe hizo <laughs> ball gums zilikuwa zinaitwa nini so he would come with a box they like have paper full of ball gums mm. a box of britannia biscuits What? like hiyo ilikuwa ngani standard analeta scones zile za unajua scones mm. zile za yellow mm. zile za nyumba kwa leo zina kwa packaged yep 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 yes those ones alikuwa anakuja na hizo alafu by the time tunafika alikuwa asha order i'm sure asha please order like a two, two kgs of meat yeah 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 so tulikuwa tunafika so hivi three siblings or two siblings yes sisi wote yes sisi wote tukisikia amekuja tunaenda so the first the order of as in the how everything used to flow once we meet is of course msalimia dad eh yeah, excited then mna kalishwa chini kila mtu soda ya madiaba unjua soda ya madiaba <laughs> So the medium is the big that big um so you have the 500 yeah, no we have the, the 300 ml yes. now the 500 ml and when the 500 was the 500 yes the okay. 500 ml so everybody would get uh so Fanta orange <laughs> kila mtu 
So Diamond Yaba, mnaka hapo mnakunywa mnamaliza mkimaliza. You given the whatever goodies he had brought to take home. Kwa sasa dadi mnamwacha ha. <laughs> dadi mnamwacha hapo aepige sherehe. <laughs> Hadi leta imata kuja nyumba. Nyumbani. So, uh, I remember sasa on those days we used to fight. As in this we were going to fight na mom. Na mom, juu we don't want to go to bed. We want to stay up until daddy comes. gets back home. Shana. But daddy atafika home saa nane za usiku. Mm. So, of course we had to go to sleep at mm. some point. But let me tell you, the minute he knocks on the door, na tusikia ameitana ni yeye, tulikuwa tunaamka. What? Tunaamka. Cuz you know what he used to do. Anyway, there's a time juzi nilikuwa naambia mom, oh yeah, mom. Anyway, sisi tulikuwa tunasherekea hapo kwa unomia. <laughs> so, ile nyama ya 2 kg uh, si shapikwa, yeah. probably ndio tumekula dinner. Mm. He would then come again. Akifika nyumbani tena usiku, he would bring some more meat. So angekuja na like maybe an extra 1 kg yes. of meat. Alafu anakuja anaambia mom, chemshia watoto hii nyama wakule. Sana ni za usiku. Sisi hapo tumesherekea. Tuko yes, mom, chemsha nyama tuko. <laughs> <laughs> What? Yeah, so he would get home. Eh uh, amekuja na nyama nyingine anasema hii tunakula size. Of course that time he's uh, yes. Yeah, he's high and everything. And then there's something he used to do. He would go into his pocket. I remember the e pocket. Mm. The, the, the breast pocket. Breast pocket, yes. Na alikuwa anatoa a chunk of money. You can imagine 1000 shilling note back, back then. in the day mm. ilikuwa worth like the value of a 1000 shilling note. And he would give each one of us the kids what a 1000 shilling note every single weekend he would come home yani first and foremost <laughs> this memory is so fresh for you yes it's so meaning fresh. he did it so many times mm. that it is you know routine with, with children now because we have children yes. you understand the power of routine yeah The way you're talking about this, this is not something that he did once Mm-mm. or twice or even 10 times. Yeah. For you it is when I've told you to talk about your dad, this is what has come up. This is what I remember. But it's so funny because I haven't even thought about this in a long time. Like in a long time Richie. That's the only thing I ambia mtu. Maybe the only person who would know is Abel. Mm. Like this particular story about my dad, yeah. I don't think Nishai. That is the my anywhere. But for you it's you see It's first and foremost as a father it shows some some elements of him connecting with you guys that yeah. I'm that I'm actually envious of mm. you know what I mean yeah so eh, I and, and then it also shows me as as his as you being his daughter mm. the bond that you had yes wow okay yeah so that was my dad then ngekula nyama na tuende tulale but the following day before him because of course he would sleep in yes 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 yeah, he would sleep in am okay like sa saba mm. za mchana but sisi si watoto tuliamka mapema let me tell you the first thing my mom would do when we wake up me <laughs> money where is it <laughs> when i remember like like ilikuwa nga standard like tunamka tv na masha tuambia Pesa iko wapi? Leta ni yo pesa. <laughs> yeah, because I never but imagine at that age you were so young. Like we were such young children. Yeah. 1000 shillings ungefanya nini nayo? Imagine hizo ball games ungefanya. Ungenunua ball games za mwaka mzima. Imagine like ungenunua <laughs> snacks za mwaka mzima. Yeah. That's crazy. So it's so interesting which is that when this year so ali nizo ndio vitu nakumbuka about my dad. But you see it's because during the week tuko tunamuona mm. so the only time we used to interact was over the weekend and then now when would he leave sunday on sunday jioni okay. that's when now he would go back to nairobi wow okay yeah. okay but Tell- it was he was consistent the only time he would not uh, be home over the weekend was when he was maybe out of the country because he used to travel a lot so what i should have mentioned is my dad was a um, mechanical engineer Wow. wow wow yes. wow wow when wow. kcc was kcc and he was actually at a senior management level so he was he by was that, doing okay yeah. himself <laughs> so by this time lakini umetoka nyumba ya mabati ah uh, tulikuwa nyumba ya mabati until i went to the private school okay tutaingia na private yes. school hii tunaenda mobs <laughs> yeah 
I've, 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 you've, you've painted a good picture. I like, I like getting vivid pictures. I like painting pictures with stories. Yeah. So I've understood this aspect of your life. Mm -hmm. Now I want to hear the other side, your mother. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit, because now you're with her Monday to Monday. <laughs> so let me tell you And now. I really like the fuck that I'll say my toy. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you know, some characteristics. Yeah, you can go later, 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 later. Bring the money. So now, for my mom. Like it used to bug me mm -hmm. that si juu ni bangu ni nani ni kwa na shindo watu anirubi wana shingi aji like what is your problem? Unai zaji ishi na you don't know your mm. next door neighbor like that thing used to bug me. Ato kuliza Abel ato mm. ambia like ili kuwe na ni sumboa ni kwa na ambia we need to know our neighbors like you need to go and say hi and find out uyu mtu mwenye naishi apa ni nani. I've, 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 you've, you've painted a good picture. I like, I like getting vivid pictures. I like painting pictures with stories. Yeah. So I've understood this aspect of your life. Mm -hmm. Now I want to hear the other side, your mother. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit, because now you're with her Monday to Monday. <laughs> so let me tell you And now. I really like the fuck that I'll say my toy. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you know, some characteristics. Yeah. I'll go later, 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 later. Bring the money. So now for my mom, it was, I think, because we were with her, like, every day, all day. It doesn't, I, I am, I try to, I'm trying to remember if, if there was anything, like, sort of special that was happening back then. Mm. But I think, Nile Kuzoyano, mm. and for my mom, her routine was very simple. <laughs> It was the children would wake up in the morning, wana tayarisha, wanaenda shule. Then mama ingia kamwe ngombe, mama ingia ende kwa shamba, like that was mm. her routine every day. I don't remember her doing anything else other than, by the way, mama naindanga, ana, tunaindanga, anatuamshanga subui, she gets us ready for school, we go to school, then she will come with the ngombes, take the milk to the dairy. We used to have a um, shamba boy. Hmm. They call Chamber Boys, yes. yes, to help with everything because then Mombena initially is yes. a lot yes, yes. to get nippy and whatnot. But I only remember my mom from my childhood, I only remember my mom in that. Yeah, but that's already a lot that you're saying. Yes, yeah? like you're in saying, space, your mom yeah. raised you. She's the one who yes. disciplined you, Kabisa. brought order yes. into you. Yes. She's the one who aligned, put you mm -hmm. on the straight and narrow path. Yes. Uh, so as m you're right, you, maybe your presence with her every day. Uh, in fact, I look at you, I think I see your mom, mm -hmm. because you, you, you're always with her. You're learning everything from her. Exactly, exactly. That's true. I I, I am my mother's child, hundred percent, yeah. like a hundred percent. If, if I see you, you <laughs> met my mom today, <laughs> you would understand why. You know what Jesus says. Yes. Jesus says, if you see me, you see the Father. Yeah. <laughs> so if I see you, I see your mother. Exactly. <laughs> So my mom is, because um, you see, we never, we only saw dad of the, over the weekend. And you see, he's away working. So mm -hmm. as much as anafanya kazi, sisi tuliko tunajua mom di anafanya kazi. Like mom is the most hardworking person of, the, of, of our family. Because mm -hmm. we, tuliko tunajua tu ndagi yako kwa kampuni na uko. And of course, oh, other than, sorry, let me go back. No in so other than the, the biscuits and the what not. So he would also bring now goodies from the factory. Mm. So Sisi to make up na yogurt, <laughs> na cheese, oh, na ma mala, na yogurt. Like we've grown up with all mm. those products. UHT. Yes, UHT. is <laughs> only zote to make grab so sana hizo vitu. That's why leo kani pikiya chakula na mafuta yagi. Sita kula. I'm like, what is, what is that? Because <laughs> we grew up to keep, to me zikula sana. Yes. Yeah, so. Um, what about your siblings? Uh, my siblings. Uh, my, the second. Because like, especially the one who is older than you. What's the, what's, what's the difference in, in, in age, age from older? You and maybe the one here. Uh, between my sister and I, there's a two year. Mm, okay. Difference. Yes, because she's uh, turning 38, I'm turning 36. Mm. Yes, 
Then there's also another two year <laughs> between <laughs> between myself and Jesh, our mm. third born. And then actually, yeah, this is what I by then in any like two years, two years, two years. Family planning. Oh my god, family planning, yeah, man. But my big sister is um, she came with my mom. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, I get it. So she came with my mom, and. Uh, It's funny because <laughs> blended. It's a, yeah. Okay. But it has never felt like blended. Yeah, Actually, yeah. it's only now when like somebody asks the question that you it clicks. It, it clicks, yeah. but CC by the it does not feel like a blended family. I hear it. Yeah, because she was is in the and you see she was the first born. Mm. So CC to Limpata. So to do to ni mo ni ni mo our sister so it's sort of kid or go to like a blended family but it it has never functioned like a blended family like a b- blended family I hear you. yeah so my big sister was always of course the first ones first ones wana kwanga waondo wa kuchunga hawa watoto wengine wote alafu ile yenye nakumbukanga sana is my my our, our last born my small bro because i remember when uh, we would go sometimes over the school holidays um, uh, maybe over the weekends especially when daddy is not around because when daddy is around sis i you see ku at mom is like we've forgotten our mother is this <laughs> <laughs> the only person we would hang out with was dad yeah. when he was around yeah. but now see on a weekend when he's not around maybe he's he's traveled he's somewhere in he used to go a lot to europe So would be in Denmark, Germany. Man, this is in the 90s. Yes. Like he would travel Governor a Lee. lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he would travel a lot. So I remember the things I remember to cure you like CC siblings is we would go to the shamba especially when it was the coffee season. Na tunaenda kuchuna kahawa. Na kumbuka we would carry our um, a big basin on a jo shango. Hmm. Rich I don't know if you can relate to these stories. <laughs> Like Kushago used to kuna zile basin kubwa mm-hmm. na sometimes ni kuangaza plastic sometimes ni karai like a proper karai yes. na sometimes ni za chuma kuna kuanga, kuna zingine zile kuangaza chuma za black na kuna black yes. okay. so we would um, I remember those ones are very still very fresh I remember tulikuwa tuna baby on a blanket tunaeka our small brother in there because sisi wengine tutasaidia mama kuchuna kahawa mm. but you see you still children so it's it's yet in us idea yes, yes, yes. it's a way of my mom keeping an eye on us ju asituache huko haju ni nini tunafanya so sisi sisi wote twende kwa shamba but i remember we would um, go chuna kahawa alikuwa anatupatia kila mtu like at 1 kg or 2 kg tin mostly at 2 kg tin zile za kimbo na kimbuka kimbo mm, the plastic the containers yeah. the white ones mm. yes afu anatoboa shimo aneka kakamba mm. such that you can carry your nini on your back oh my god <laughs> So first and foremost your kikuyu is brilliant eh eh my kikuyu is very good kareke man kareke hey na ti ti kareke man my kikuyu is so bad oh, oh, look at me oh no my kikuyu is very good actually nowadays i feel like i'm struggling a bit juu hakuna mtu anaongelea shanga the only time i speak in kikuyu is when i'm talking to my mom but before this phone. you're not speaking but before that it's this kikuyu pure, is purely yes kikuyu like that was i But I remember okay tutafika hapo hiyo nitakuwa na uza story. Yeah. Nilianza kuongea a bit of Kiswahili and Kizungu when we went to the private school. Otherwise before that mishangu yote ilikuwa ni kyuk. Kyuk cuz even through nursery through my first years of primary school. You were like to hey. <laughs> <laughs> na kikuyu. Yeah. yeah so me my kikuyu is very good. Very very good. Man. Yeah. So those are some of the Niniza I remember. But, but but not just Kikuyu from mm. the language, mm. even the culture. Yes. You know, people people um what do you call put put on a pedestal mm. this Ubabini and and living in Bontao. Me mm. that's how I grew up. Mm. But now I'm regretting it thoroughly. Because there's a lot of culture mm. that I've missed out on. That's true. I can hear Kyuk, I can't speak it. There's mm. a lot of my you know as you get woke mm. or as you as you grow older you realize yeah identity. Mm. Let me even use that word. The way black Americans are struggling with identity yeah. even in even in Africa, even in Kenya, mm. 
depending on how you're born born tower as we mm-hmm. call ourselves what we lo- what we're missing out is this culture mm-hmm. judy i can already tell from the way you carry yourself yeah. the culture that was instilled in you from and it's and it's been instilled without with you without you even knowing yeah so just <laughs> that kiku is not just a language it's a culture that's true that's true and um Actually it's one of the things now that you've talked about the bond towers it's one of the things that used to bug me when I now started living in Nairobi like it used to bug me mm-hmm. that siju ni bangu ni nani niko na shinda watu wa Nairobi wanaishingia like what is your problem <laughs> When I said you know you don't know your mm. next door neighbor like that thing used to bug me ato kaliza Abel ato mm. ambia like ili kuna ni sumbua ni kwa namwambia we need to know our neighbors like you need to go and say hi and find out huyu mtu mwenye anaishi hapa ni nani you can't live in a place that you and it's the same by the way we've tried to practice this thing up until now Wow. Mimi and to keep move mahali like nas, lazima niende nisalimie niba. Naka 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 chai kakamka maziwa. At least tunamwambia tu welcome to nice. the neighborhood eh? cuz you can't uh, what kind of living is that? You wezi kuunaishi na ujui next door neighbor wako ni nani? Yeah, but you see it stems from okay. Yeah, even your friendships, even I've seen how you are around you like i'm not taking for granted this community that you lived mm. yoko yoko, yoko mlima yes. that thing instilled a lot of your foundation mm. okay sure to engage you a little bit about let's move now into school mm. so you said you started at kiferegwe primary Kifere. school what's what's it the bar kibirigwi 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 primary Kifere. school <laughs> you, know that, you know what it means no you don't it. okay huh yeah, yes, I meant to I'm supposed to go see my mom next week. Tambuliza ile maisha nini? Nitani nitakuja niambie Richie. Kimbirigwe means I'll do that. So, um I was there from nursery. Nasa, nasari sunajua kuingia nasari ilikuwa ni shika masikio <laughs> but sasa ilikuwa ni ushike masikio ah ushike masikio ndio class, class one. one exactly. So, Kibirigwe Primary School, my best memories of yo shule at that point was uji nilikwanga uji ya white na ikwanga na sukari richi but that uji was the best uji i have ever had in my life so sometimes i don't know why so you'd go to school and then the first thing they give you is uji yes like kuliko na kunywa no you go to school of course you've had breakfast mm, at, at, yeah. at home assuming cuz si shule ulikuwa unaingia yeah. line cuz ukiwa mtoto hata hakuna ile mapema i remember you, eh i remember used to go to school maybe at 9 ndio naingia shule then at 10:30 now we would have the uji and i remember this waje oh. bela liniambia nini akiniambia unakuja kukana richi aliniambia let me tell you sitting with richi is like sitting with a therapist <laughs> like you remember <laughs> now the questions he will ask you utakumbuka mm. vitu zenye hujaongelelea in so many years mm. richi nakumbuka class yetu ilikuwa mahali pale kwa kona nikiwa na sare ni kengele kigongo hivi 10:30 teacher aseme tunaenda kukunywa uji tulikuwa tunatoka si unajua nasari siku mnafundishwa mnafundishwa kufuatana mm, mm, mm. so mnafuatana tunaenda kitchen kitchen ilikuwa kanyumba kambao na baadhi kalikuwa kaminama to the side <laughs> akili sasa hii ndo nakumbuka uji like i remember kalikuwa kameanza kuchapa mpaka kana lean on one just very slightly but mm. it was leaning on one side and i remember that like ukifika ni chance yako sasa unaingia unaekea wako kauji afu mnaenda mnekiti chini kwa grass oh that would used to be the best na iko na sukari mm-hmm. but for some reason <laughs> ilikuwa ngatu mjitamu <laughs> na ilikuwa the white porridge mm-hmm. even it's not the wimbi porridge yep. the white porridge but yeah so nasari school um and your mom would take you to nasari yes she would uh, okay. take us to actually it would be my mom or the shamba boy sometimes okay. or one of my elder cousins na nikutembea tu nikutembea tu eh na ilikuwa watu walikuwa wanaenda shule mgutupu hata wewe ah but imagine my mom Was that is the one thing she refused mm. like sisi tulikuwa ngana viatu ever <laughs> but then let me tell you now home sasa tulikuwa ngama baby sasa we were considered <laughs> 
Barbie. <laughs> were actually considered to be my Barbie zuko shango. Uh-huh. But that is one thing I remember mama ma- alikata from mm. the one of school alikata your story ya kwenda miguni ni. Mm. But let me tell you. Cuz now everybody else is 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 not wearing shoes. Unatua. Tulikuwa tunatoka home tumeziva mahali katikati ya barabara unatoa. Na sio mama nakuonesha mpaka mm. socks. Unatoa viatu na unatoa socks unazika kwa bag ndio wende mgutupu kama kila mtu mwingine. Yo. I remember that very and I did that until cuz we were in Kibirigwi I was in Kibirigwi primary until class 3 cuz end of term that's when I transferred to the private school so, now just for context mm-hmm. you joined it when you were like 3 years old yes so that's like 1990 like, no back in the day tulikuwa tunaenda na sasa yule kunienda hata ukiwa karibu 2 no like 6 years na joe to ikuanga na ile nini Like oh, like yes, you, you so only had like one year yes, one of nursery yes, and then unaingia. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. sisi yeah. baby class <laughs> kindergarten. I don't know what. No, there are so <laughs> many in kindergarten for three years. Mm. So you are graduate. What? From kindergarten. Na ka gown. Yes. Like, I'm like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Usha go, it was just nursery school and you there for one year before now you move to class one. Yes you're right. Hey, yeah. thank you. you reminded me that. So most of us we used to go to uh, nursery okay we around 6 years. But I remember mainly and I was 5 years. So 5 from 80, 87 we're talking 92. Yes. Okay. Ndio sasa tunaingia. Sasa tumemaliza nursery. Nursery now we are going to class 1. And it in the same school. Same same school. Okay. Same same school. And I was there class 1, class 2, class 3. But something happened. Aha. Uh-huh. So cuz well today I was I was a chupi mm. <laughs> I was a chupi <laughs> so at some point but, um, in class 3 actually caught up with my older sister what nilimfikia and you seen there was a two year difference yes nilifika mahali tukamfikia okay, class 3 same class yes wow 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 nikabidi i ni repeat ndio yeye aweze kwenda the next class what yes so i had to repeat class 3 i remember ndio yeye aise kusonga mbele like asonge mbele aende ende kiasi that's crazy yeah. so they, they they were like this one is too clever prom- push up no 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 like no, me by the time you were catching up exactly no 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 i was i think it was she yeye ndiye alikuwa ame delay na few oh, classes okay, I get, so ni kamfikia in okay. the process I get. and i remember um, eh ikabidi ashike eh, ikabidi ni shikiliwe kidogo ndio yeye aweze kusonga mbele mm. yeah it was so weird but i don't remember i don't think i even complained me i think i was just okay. you yeah, cool <laughs> like it's okay it's all right tendele tendele na maisha and how was cool did you like did you enjoy it this this kibirigwi yes yes yeah. but you see it's the only school that you know yes it's, it was the only school in that area every child was going Bakugu. cousins nini kile sisi wote tulikuwa tunaenda so even this uh, 4 pm football that tulikuwa tunangoja kwenda kwa nini kuna watu kwa shule tunaambiana 2 minutes weke bag kutoke nje sisi <laughs> unavika tu nini wote kama meka bag umetoka nje kwenda kucheza football yeah so it was the only school actually in that area that you could there are other schools but you you know shule mm. ya, ya mta mm. that's the school that everybody would go to but now come class um, end of um, uh, term class 3 ndio sasa nikaenda for an interview to now this private uh, school private academy in Karatina town mm. the name of the school was Emmanuel Academy sisi sahau Emmanuel Academy Emmanuel Academy uh-huh. let me tell you Richie hapo nilikuwa na culture shock remember the only language i have spoken mm. in my entire existence up until that time was kikuyu kikuyu alafu sasa nimeenda gekoyo yes <laughs> nimeenda a private boarding school it was a boarding school by the way i didn't mention it was a boarding school a private boarding school so was this school the, the other skiff was it all the way until 8 yes 
So it was a decision by your parents. Yes, to, to now you? exactly now to move me to a private school. Was it just school. you or even your siblings? And my siblings as well. Okay, okay, yes. to move. So to remove my this water, yes. Yeah, okay, so. But now my big sister alikuwa menda before me. Oh, okay, okay. Sasa mimi nikafuata and then and Jesh, okay. our third born alitufuata at, at some point. Okay. So tulijipata sisi wote at some point tuko the private school. Okay. So I remember eh nimeingia shule napata kwanza watoto wengine wanaongea Kiswahili, wengine wanaongea Kizungu. But then there was a ka language in between there. It was a mix of <laughs> Kizungu <laughs> and Kikuyu. It was very interesting. So give me an example. Can you remember? Yes. Uh, but, but, so yeah. it would be like um, so uh, in a sentence that you would say uh, we are going this way. So we would say uh, no Satan I No 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 no. <laughs> let me say let, for example uh, uh, I'm I'm taking uh, this book to the teacher. Uh-huh. For example, yes. So you would start with um to arrive this book <laughs> <laughs> to teacher. <laughs> so Rona, I'm to arrive <laughs> this book Uh, so it was a mix of kizungu na kiswa na, na kikuyu uh, it was very interesting and let me tell you the entire school spoke it spoke it what did you, what did you, you know the way we have shang yes. what did you call that one i don't even didn't remember have a what you used to call it mm. but yes that our it was our version of shang mm. back in the day yeah. yes But then that is how we used to speak until they introduced monto unakumbuka monto i don't know if monto is The thing that you would carry if you were caught um, speaking in a language that was not English or Kiswahili. What? Like now they introduced proper English. So if you are caught speaking in that particular yes. slang uh-huh. <laughs> of ours or sometimes no no actually that was it you'd be given this monto. Na monto it's just a mbao. Na ilikuwa inaandikwa hivyo monto so that you would hang on monto neck. yes monto i don't know what it used to mean so it just means that this person here is yes shenya. exactly but that would come with a punishment so see you to me ni bure so if a teacher comes across you what if unatembea tu hivi mahali shule na unaona ni uko na monto anaweza kwambia ufanye anything wow anaweza kwambia wende washe cho anaweza kuambia lala hapa nikupatie mbili mzuri and who could could put that thing on you prefix ama the just prefect. or the prefect yes so this is how it used to work it would start with the prefect right then the prefect uh, akisikia mtu anaongea anampatia so ilikuwa ni wewe ukishikwa uhakikisho umbe pata mtu mwingine mwenye anaongea hiyo language ndio mpatie oh. so the idea was you should not be caught by any teacher wearing that monto because you can be sure punishment there is a punishment coming okay There's something you've said mm. I relate with it. I went to boarding when I was in class 3. Yeah. That's when I went to Nyere. Mm-hmm. But my I went to Mount Kenya Academy which was I, like soft life. Look at me soft life. <laughs> soft life major. Karatina tulikuwa na PTA too. Hey Mount Kenya Academy you need soft life. Yeah, so it was, but I didn't know then so soft mm. life. But it was boarding. Mm. And that's a young age. I went to boarding when I was class 3, that yeah. nine. Yeah. You get eight actually. Mm. And now later when I look at it like what? Fuck I've had a conversation with my parents about it. <laughs> so with you as a girl, yeah. You now go to First of all home ni hapa. Yes, in Bali. Unaweza chapa kamara don't you? Yes, in Bali. Karibu sana. How how was boarding life for you? You get? Yeah. So the fact that my uh, elder sister was already there made the life a bit bearable because mm. then you're in class four how old are you like 10 is it mm. Apple. B- about yeah nine yes. to, yeah but then in this boarding school would you about to see boarding school ya mababi ni boarding school ya kujiosha uniform oh like kuna jifulia nguo nini like mm. you're responsible for your own life mm. in boarding school yo yes. at that age at that age so see like uh, kutengeneza to bed ah uh-uh. Like you're responsible for everything around you, your bed, your clean clothes, your CG what, nini 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 hizo vitu zote. But to some extent I, I actually appreciate. Yes. Yeah, I feel you, see, you can see what is done Exactly. For you yeah. yeah, I feel like it actually taught me to be responsible at a very early age. Mm. Cuz by your 10 years ukijifulia nguo na nini na nini ai. So give me a, a normal day how would that be? So a normal day would be would wake up at 5:30. 
uh, by six you're having breakfast. So the good thing is, because you're young, I'm just at class six, seven, eight mm. when the preps uh, mm. begin. When you uh, below, like class four and below, you would uh, wake up at five thirty, go take a shower, right? Then at six, six to six fifteen, you're having your breakfast uji. Mm. Then after uji, by six thirty, between six thirty and seven thirty, you're doing your chores. So other than choya like the normal chores za kufua nguo na nini nini na hizo zilikuwa za weekend. Mm. Kuna chores uh, you either maybe the one washing your classroom on the day with For other real. kids. Yes. Kuna maybe watu wa ku clean dormitory because mm. we would clean the dormitories ourselves. So kuna hizo chores kuna ku sweep the compound. So between 6:30 and 7:30 that is this when is in primary. In primary school. Yo. Yes. So 6:30 7:30 that is when everybody is doing whatever chores you're supposed to do on the day. Mm. Then 7:30 mnaenda parade. Nafanya <coughs> mm. parade by 8 maisha then now classes begin mm. up until 4 p.m. Yeah. Yes. Then 4 p.m. kutakuwa either kuna games kuna you can go do whatever it is that you want at that time kama hauko kwa games ama hauko kwa drama club mm. uko you know there are all those extracurricular activities that happen in boarding sc- or in schools mainly, mm-hmm. mainly. and then s- up until 6 right yeah cuz dinner was at 6 mm. dinner was at 6 cuz 6 uh, to 7 na kula but by 7 preps zinaanza yep. za usiku yeah. up until 9 then then you go to learn. bed so and you are a, you are not a weekly boarder so friday you could go and home no 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 full time no. boarder the only time you're going home is during midterm and when the schools close for the holidays how was that school for you it was Emmanuel yeah? yes yeah. Emmanuel academy Emmanuel. for me it was hey, my friend it was an upgrade <laughs> <laughs> from kibirigwi <laughs> where everybody goes to school yeah. uh, with no shoes yeah. and everything to this yes mali watoto wanavaa tai unavaa shati mm. kwa sasa tuko tunavaa to dress mm-hmm. una just dresses zenye yeah. <laughs> primary school mm-hmm. ziko like kona to sleeves then unavaa shati ndani there's a tie yeah. you're wearing um shoes and socks hey my friend kuna filuku nimefika like huku we made it huku i have made it so for me it was a proper upgrade okay yeah like kuna fit he yeah. hey, and i suspect by that time my dad was actually doing very well at work Mm. I suspect because to really feel too like you could the feel you could there that, was a shift. Yes, you could feel the soft life. Exactly. <laughs> yes, you could feel <laughs> hey hapa ni kama hii kuna kitu hapa kuna vitu zinabadilika. Actually, all this time has your dad taken you to Nairobi? So now inakuja hiyo story ya Nairobi. Oh, so actually now it falls. Now, oh no 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 no. Like Nairobi tulikuwa tunaenda. Oh sometimes when we close school even when we were in Kibirigo primary yes. school some time over the holidays my dad would take us to Nairobi. Okay so you yes. you had seen But kutembea tu? Yeah kutembea tu. Like for a week tunamtembelea na tunaenda oh, na mama and then we yes. come back sorry, oh, sorry. No, poly, poly, and then poly, poly, we come poly. back. Pole. Yeah. Yeah so uh, yes we we would visit him like in Kaikwa ili kwa once once say kwa ti yes but you are so there you are therefore stopped you had stepped into Nairobi you have yes. seen yes. you know the power of living your environment mm. it doesn't matter where it is it, it's it, to see that kuna another life mm. you of course because your dad there you knew dad goes to a different yes. place yes so there's there's something else exactly. aside this environment yeah. that I see mm. okay ask me how we used to go to Nairobi from Ushago like on those few days on on those few weeks when we would you want to just come at your corner is this a simulizer yako kama tatu ndio nataka kukwambia in fact hold on to kirudi tunaongea juu ya mtu ya kona i love this this thing is so good <laughs>
you know i know when cts are going to be good cts are going to be good when 50 minute goes in a blink <laughs> I cannot believe we've been talking for 50 minutes. Na bado. This is going to be a good one. If you're catching us here, imagine do yourself a favor. You only to learn about Kifirigwi. <laughs> that's, that's the one from episode 1. Yeah. So where we are? Mhm. Hiyo matatu ya ku ku kuangaliana. The mirror. The face me. The, the face me. Oh, the face me. It's got that name. The yes. face me matatu like yeah. the one you can see on your screen. Mm. It was a pickup with bows. Yes that you get to see chat. Yes. So uh-huh. this instead of the usual canvas mm-hmm. yenye wanaekanga ilikuwa fitted kabisa like oh, it's fitted like ni metal ile yes. fitted kabisa. So mm-hmm. there's a big uh, cabin hapo nyuma, mm-hmm. right? So this is how we used to travel And that was your dad's car. Style. That was my dad's car. It was branded KCC. Mm-hmm. So ilikuwa gari ya kampuni yes, yes, but ilikuwa ni gari yake. And <coughs> you guys had a car? Yes, we had a car. What do you mean, Richie? <laughs> You had a face me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me about this Nairobi. So this is how we would travel in style. So um during the school holidays, not every school holiday, mm. some of the school holidays, my dad would um come for us and would, would go to Nairobi to just mm. chill. Do you know him. where he stayed? Can you remember? Komarok. Oh, okay. When Komarok was, was Komarok. Komarok. Mhm. Mhm. Kom Koma ikiwa Koma. Hiyo time bali kwa sema ni state ya mababi. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, so um I told you it, it surface me. So ndani iko na benches mbili. Mm-hmm. But easy benches si fitted. So easy benches unaweza toa. Mm-hmm. So ikifika ni siku yetu kuna safari ya kwenda wapi? Nairobi. My mom would get a mattress Ooh. from one of the bedrooms uh-huh. in the house. Hiyo mattress tunatoa bench, hiyo mattress inakuja inawekwa chini. Mamangu anachukulia blanketi. Aliamka asubuhi, akapika chai na kanunua ile mkate ya boflo ile kubwa. Yeah. Akapaka blue band. And no, sliced. akapaka butter. Oh, okay. you see, you okay. remember we yeah. grew up with all the products that mm. KCC back in the day. Mm. Butter was one of them. Apa? Yeah, butter. <laughs> <laughs> so hapo ndio level zetu za kaubabis because ni ngile kidogo go to Yeah it was butter but then mimi nimekula umekuja kukula blue band way later <laughs> Yeah so mama aliamka asubuhi mkati ya boflo akakatakata akapika kachai flask kubwa mkati ikapakwa butter it's packed mattress blankets watoto wote wanaingia kwa face me hapo kwa cabin and that is how we used to travel to Nairobi but mom is in front of dad mom is in front with yes. dad you guys everybody what? else is watoto tuko ndio mkisikia nja wanasimama mama anakuja na to serve chai na mkate alafu safari inaanza the rest of the time tumelala if you want to sleep on my some of the best memories but tell me why richi it's still it's a question by then me tulikuwa tunajiuliza with my siblings mm. not so long ago like tell me why Safari ya kutoka Nairobi mpaka Karatina. Safari yenye saa hizi is about 1 hour. Mm. Actually 1 hour like 15 minutes yeah. in Karatina. Used to take us almost the whole day. <laughs> Tuko tunajiuliza <laughs> what was happening? Cuz it used to feel yeah. like it's a no. journey. Yeah. Like we are going on a journey. Ndio maana mpaka mattress na blanket. Ndio mm. watoto wakitaka kulala wanala. Wanala. By the end that is how we used to do it. Like we would only be awake during the first few we are children are excited mm. we're looking at the window nini 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 tunasikia nja tunakula then the rest of the time by the way tunalala kabisa. Tutaamsho tukifika Nairobi. That is how we used to travel in style. Hiyo ilikuwa first class treatment. Mm. Wapi kwingine unaenda ngati umelala kwa mattress? <laughs> <laughs> Please remember there's no thicker road as we know it. Eh? Mm. Thicker road one lane. So, so exactly. So yes. Because it's just why it used to feel like we've been on the road was for part whole. of our life. Yes. <laughs> just to feel like we've been on the road the whole like it was a journey. Yeah. Like nothing else unafanya hiyo siku. Kama mnaenda Nairobi ni safari. Unajua ni yako amshwa mapema like by 6 you're awake nini nini by saa moja mnatoka mnaenda. Yeah, but oh my god. Oh that is such a good memory. Okay. So <laughs> Let's talk about now class 4 5 6. Let's talk about transitioning out of yes. <coughs> uh, primary. So you spent your whole time in Emmanuel? No. <laughs> so I joined and first in of all, were you sharp? Well, remember you said you were clever. I was I have always been a very sharp student. Mimi na tajanga top 10. By this day all my primary life, yeah. High school life, even college. 
like apatia <laughs> so i joined Emmanuel academy remember in class 4 right uh-huh. so i'm there from class 4 and then class 5 uh-huh. so i am in Emmanuel academy for only 2 years 2 years yes alafu for only two years cuz then end of uh term uh three mm-hmm. in class five, my dad decides now is the time to move my family from kibirigwi to nairobi Ooh. yes what year is this now hey, class five. that's happened on okay, 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 okay. have to do I, the math yeah. i can't remember okay so let's say five years of of thingy and you of, you went to class 1 like 92 yes no when you're six years old 87 plus plus 6 let's say 93 93 yes. class 1 93 94 95 96 97 97 exactly yes okay. yes they are about right mm-hmm. so my dad decides eh now we are all moving to Nairobi now you're coming to permanently live with me in Nairobi yo yes so that is how now i moved from Emmanuel Academy to Mwangaza Primary School in Kayole. Yo. Yes. Okay, let's talk about this transition. <laughs> That is huge. Yes. From Mushago to 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 Nai. Nairobi. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Tell me about that. Yes. So now, remember, uh, of course, uh, in the two years I've been in the private school in the academy, I've picked up a few words of Kizungu. Sasa mm. nizongea at least Kizungu mm. bila kuongezea kikuyu kidogo. Mm. And I can also speak a bit of Swahili, yes. right? So now come class 6 first term to go uh, in Nairobi, uh, Mwangaza Primary School in Kayole. So, but it used to border Komarok and Kayole because we would walk from home. Mm-hmm. Like we, it was a walking distance yeah. from home in Komarok to the school. Yeah. So haikuwa mbali. Like we feel actually it's, it's, the school was more in like Koma than it was in Kayole. Yes. But ilikuwa walikuwa na same exact in Kayole. Yeah. So <coughs> um uh, we are there it's term one, another culture shock because let me tell you. Watoto wa Nairobi tu ni wa special. Watoto wa Nairobi tu ni wa special. Hey, it doesn't matter whether uko uh, uh, in your ushago uko umeenda private school. Yes. Let me tell you this is another <laughs> level. Una kuja huko na realize eh eh ni kwa nafikiri ni lichanukia pale Emmanuel Academy kumbe nice. nothing. Yes. Yeah, so um first time in Mwangaza Primary, uh now here people are speaking proper English or oh, Kiswahili. Mm. So I can I don't even remember that much uh, sharing back in the day. Mm, I feel mm. like sharing is a thing After. that has come up yeah. in the past couple of years. But during our time I don't remember that much sharing. Actually the sharing I remember was a mix now of Kizungu and Kiswahili which it, it is yes, even right now. Yes. But it was very like ungeshikanisha words. Hiyo mtu atakuongelesha sharing ujue. Oh my god. Hiyo ni nini unasema? Yeah. So it was just like, like a mix of Kiswahili and Kizungu kidogo kidogo words that anybody could, could understand. Mm. So tumekuja watoto wa ushago. Wacha tujite tu ushago. Tumeenda private school but bado kwa ushago kana shika shika. But what I remember out about Mwangaza Primary School, I think it's because I was good uh, in school. Mm. I don't remember the process being too hard. Okay. Yeah, like I don't remember it being at the assimilation now into the school being from an academic place. Yeah, from an academic place. Not But even even from a social place, okay. I don't remember it being at ngumu sana mm. But also it helps that tuko sisi wote plus my siblings yeah I get. so sisi wote to me since we all moved to Nairobi yeah, your brother hasn't been born at this time no he was he's a uh, no he's been born okay. he was born in 92 oh okay okay okay, uh, so okay. Akor, yes, i get katoto kadogo kadogo yeah yeah so i yeah i think it's cuz we have our siblings nini so but i can't remember i can't really the difficult there was no difficulty was, there was any difficulty no okay <coughs> yeah And uh, I am in Mwangaza Primary School. <laughs> wow, and yeah when nilihama hama. I was in Mwangaza Primary School, Classics. 
and then class until class seven. But there's a story. Uh-huh. Now here there's a big story. What's the big story? So uh, we immediately so we land in Mwangaza Primary School <coughs> in '98, right? Mm-hmm. That's '98. '98, no '97. '98. Okay. No, okay. it's '98. Okay. And um, in when was the when was the bomb blast? '98. Which August? Yes. Right. August 7th. Eh? August 7th. Yes. Yeah. So that's second term of school. Mm. Yeah, on our holidays. Right. So the first term goes very well. Daddy says, we are very excited now that we live with our father. We get to see him every day before we all, uh, he's going to work, going to school. So life is good. Life is really good. This is the first time in your life that is happening. First time in my life that I can, I am seeing my dad every day of the week. Whoa. It was, it was actually a very exciting time for all of us, including mm. my mom. Yeah. Because I'm like, yes, of course. Yeah. Now Imagine she gets Abel to, being gone. Imagine. And then let me tell you. She's used to this life where she's always, you know, like hard chores. Yes. Manual labor on yes, a serious because we are kazi mombes. Then you come to Nairobi where it's all it's all good. Just cook. You just need to cook and clean and take, the house and take care, and of, the take care of the kids. And mm. by there, there's nothing else. There's no manual labor. Exactly. There's no manual yes. labor. And you see the reason why we are all moving to Nairobi now is because dad is doing very well mm. at work. So, pesa is naingia. Like, sasa hapo, wacha ni kwambia richi. Sasa hapo ndi unakumbu kama sausages, nini. Like, hapo ndi unakumbu kasa sa life ikikuwa. Ikiwa. Mm. Hey, life was good. Life was really good. I can't remember lacking anything. At that particular time, yeah. the house we the, my dad was living in, it was in, in an apartment block, mm. but it was a three bedroom house. It was a what? humongous house. Yeah, it was a humongous okay. house. Yep. Like life was good. Because yep. I remember there was my parents' bedroom, then there was a bedroom for my brother because he was a boy. So, mm-hmm. And he was still young, but at the Naka up, and then there was a bedroom for the girls. <coughs> it was the first time Nilingia Kwanyumba to Kajipata a fridge. Richie, the fridge. Did you have electricity in Ushago? No. What? Actually, these are the things I didn't mention. In our house in Ushago, uh. our source of light usiku ilikuwa ni le tire mafuta. Na yeah. jile iko na yes. glass, mm-hmm. enyo na finyanga yeah. hivi inainuka. You wash the. Call it a whisk. Yes, a whisk. You wash that one, then unafunikia, then that is that was was. Ushaguyetu. Ah, the, 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 the light wasn't coming from the from no! the ceiling, from the table. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Ushaguyetu, yote, hatuje kwa na steamer. Yo. No steamer, no. But it's what we knew. Exactly, that yes. is what we knew. And life was very good. Yeah. There was no TV, nini. Now, this is the first time, actually, oh my God, Richie. This is the first time we actually have a TV. Ati tunakanga hivi, tunawatch TV. This is it. 98 class 6. From the day you were born. From the day we were born. That's over 10 years of your life. Yes. It was the first time that you saw it. You TV. You saw TV. You saw it. Daddy had a t- big TV. You saw it. You saw red. Yes, yes, yes. It was a big TV. Color. But Yes. It was a color TV. But you saw it. You saw it. You saw it. You saw it. For Maika. Yes. For Maika. <laughs> you remember the For Maika? <laughs> yes. It was a big TV. It was a big TV. But it was a big TV. So this is the first time to corner TV. This is the first time to corner fridge. This is the first time to corner cooker. Yo, it was a it was a change. Cooker. It was let me tell you, it was a big shift. Yo, it was like a, a change. big shift. Ushago, we used to cook na three stones. Three stones? Because we had a proper ka kitchen. No ushago, lazima cook in a kitchen mm. nje. Mm. Na kama sio yo, we had a gas um, stove, but the tubana. Yes. So like tubana yenye, and that was very special. Extremely special occasions mm-hmm. <laughs> so if it's not the three uh, stones it's a jiko and it's not if it's not a jiko it's the um, two burner mm-hmm. which was for very extremely special mm-hmm. occasions. Christmas. Yeah, yeah, so Christmas. you can ima- yes so you can imagine now the shift to now we're living in a house that has all these things mahaliati hanging line mna hanging alafu na vuta hivi ndio nguo zenye zimehangiwa zende huko hii zingine zikut yani it was it was quite a shift it was quite what well, okay shift. even what did that shift do for you 
or you just enjoyed it? I think we just enjoyed it. Because you see now, before, we, of course, we move. So, uh, end of... Um, 97. No, from, yes, 97. No, actually from second term class five, that mm. is 97. Mm. So, of course, daddy had, had, he had started hinting about mm. us now moving to Nairobi. Mm. So, it, it was a conversation to look at me, skia, skia. Mm. So, I see I come yes, to I get it. So, the excitement had been, had, uh, uh, been there. Yes, it wasn't just a Yeah, so we were excited about all these things. And you see, we had visited him uh, a few times. In that same house. Uh, in that same house. Same, same, so same you house. Could see where you're yes. Going. Okay. So to look what you in Nairobi. Let me tell you, I remember <clears throat> uh, fridge first time tunafungua hivi nilikuwa kale katudo but kale ka freezer nika kakonda karefu yeah. unajua yeah. ni like katudo but i remember yani the first thing we did tulifika huko nini ni dada alikuwa anatuonyesha alikuwa anaenda na buy um skewers yes but sasa sijui zilikuwa but zilikuwa za ice cream though mm. afa anatubai ya soda so tunakaa tunaeka kwa vikombe afa tunaziika kwa nini nako ka stick in such a way that iki ka iki yeah, sha kwa freeze unatoa unatoa kwa kikombe unakula kama oh cool. the things he <laughs> <laughs> he taught us vile tulienda Nairobi zilikuwa vitu mingi sana but it is what we don't we didn't know at the time was a shift it was going to be for a very short period of time okay let's <laughs> <laughs> Let's change the camera battery. We come back and uh, finish with yeah. that shift. But I, I can't remember. Like there are some details to this particular day that I don't really remember. Mm. Like Nimejaribu, I think, I don't know, because it was somehow not a very good day. I think maybe there's a way my brain blocked it. Mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, because I... That's what is trauma. Yes, because okay. I try to remember, like, you see what really happened. Anyway, so... Um... The story continues. At the intro, I won't even do. Okay, I will do. <laughs> <laughs> so... You've come to Nairobi, mm. you've come to Nairobi, you've joined this school, uh, 2000, uh, 1998. Continue. Yeah, so, Tamuan nenda poa sana. Eh, I've, 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 um, I've, 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 i or you would buy from school. There mm. was a school canteen. Yeah, it was like a school canteen. Yeah. But the canteen is like a kila kitu. Mm. Like from your lunch break, uh, from your tea break snack, it was like sim sim. It was the first time by then you had to eat sim sim. You had to think, what is this? I even may love that thing till today. Yeah, like it was like sim sim, it was like tungumu, it was like tumandazi, tule tudogo. And then during lunch, we were going to eat chip or Chips. Uh, chip and a robin is different. <laughs> chip and a robin is different. Hey. And I remember Chipo back in the day. That time is like 20 bob. Mm. Now let me tell you. Hey, na, na quantity ni kubwa. See la quantity to Nalipisha say so mm, mm. The quantity. Chipo is so big. Hey, Chipo say ni so 150, right? Hey, I've been blushing. 150. Yes. taxi <laughs> ruto ruto Yeah, but that time it was 20 shillings. So I remember there were days we would carry uh, food from home and then on some days that would decide to treat us. So it's on your cousin to kuna po kila mtu 20 bob, 20 bob, 20 bob. Ndio lunch time kule chi chipo. Chipo. So first time goes very well. Uh, sasa system isha ingia, rithi misha shika ya shule. Like we know now how Nairobi life. Mm. <laughs> Nairobi nini operates. Uh, come second term, things are still going very well. Maisha ikofiti, nini, 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 nini. <sighs> Until 
tumefunga shule tukafunga shule tulikuwa tu tumefunga shule cuz shule uh, used to close in august mm. right mm. so tumefunga shule e, tuko home but sasa sometimes ingekuwa vice versa kidogo sometimes tungekuwa tukifunga shule e, tuna, ocha. tutaenda ocha sasa mm. Sasa ni sisi. Watoto wa Ushagoni walikuwa wanakuja Nairobi. Sasa ndio wanatoka Nairobi wanaenda yeah. Ushago. Cuz now at this particular time my dad had also started some biasharas back uh, at Kibirigwi. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Alikuwa na posho mill. Hey, hey, And you hey, remember hey, posho hey. mills were a big business back then. Like this they were a joking. big business back then. Mm. So what he had done, he had bought a certain building in Ushago. So building yenye ilikuwa ina house usha, uh, as in the posho mill he had bought the building yes he had bought a building in Ushago so ni yenye ina house the posho mill stop yes. rewind select come <laughs> again he had bought he had the building bought the building yes this guy was not doing badly eh yeah, he was okay nikikwambia this shift was uh, uh, hey life was good life was very good so by this time i menunua the building a building and in a house the posho mill mm. and the posho mill was a big it was probably like the size of this room and maybe the dining area like mm. it was a big space because mm. ilikuwa ni posho mill but pia kuna counter in you know the cereals mbosho ndengu mahindi nini hizo vitu zote mm. and then behind the posho mill kulikuwa na 1 2 3 4 like four rooms mm. so one of the rooms was a store and then the rest is like when butchery alikuwa amepatia wasi ana mm, haya uh, rent it out ana rent it out yeah so kulikuwa na butchery yenye ilikuwa imechukua hiyo space place ya kuchinjia place ya kuchombea all those things so um during the school holidays now remember tumekuwa na Nairobi in your our second term mm. like we are halfway through the year ndio tumekaa sasa Nairobi vizuri but after term 1 tulienda Ushago but mm. now we we'll go to Ushago for like a week come back and then go back to Nairobi but sasa acha nikwambie <laughs> Riji after first term tumeenda Ushago we <laughs> we wale marafiki zetu na cousins wanakuja kutuongelesha kikuiwe like we don't understand what you say <laughs> Nairobi. Okay. Yes. Okay. Watoto Nairobi. Sasa wacha nikwambie in 2 3 months. Why? What is kikuyu? At we live in nini mnatuambia eneo ya kikuyu. So because I remember very I remember conversation with um, some of my friends. Wenye tulikuwa tumeacha tu hiyo time. Nje ya posho mill mpaka nakumbuka tulikuwa tumesukuta hapo nje ya posho mill tukiongea. Nikiongea ana ananiuliza Ati wewe gapi? Ju ju naongea sio naongea Kiswahili ya Nairobi nini nini. Hey. Anyway. <laughs> so we would come kidogo and then so tumefunga shule but vile tumefunga shule bado tuko Nairobi. Mm. But I I can't remember like there are some details to this particular day that I don't really remember. Mm. Like nimejaribu I think I don't know because it was somehow not a very good day. I think maybe there's a way my brain blocked it. Mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, cuz I thought it's trauma. Yes, cuz okay. I try to remember like hiyo siku ni nini ile happen. Anyway, so um tumetoka tuko home. And then for some reason like I don't really remember ni nini ile happen, but I just remember a very frantic uh, mother akikuja nyumbani mbiumbiu akituambia akituambia tuvaingua haraka haraka tunaenda mahali sio unashindwa tunaenda wapi mama anasema tu afu you can tell she's, is, she's uh, panicked like there's there's something that has that is happening something has happened so tunaingizwa kwa gari tunaenda sio unashindwa tunaenda wapi hatuna dadi mm sio unashindwa tunaenda wapi and it was it was it was around maybe like 10 am or maybe a bit earlier so nashindwa tunaenda wapi tunaenda tunajipata hospitali so tunashangaa tunafikuja kufanya nini hospitali you know parents back in the day mm. or maybe even parents now they really protect their children so kuna information tu hawakupei until tufike bali tunaenda so tunafika hosi so tunashangaa hospitali tumekuja kuona nini kidogo kidogo tunajipata tunapelekwa 
in one of the rooms the wards uko tunaenda tunapata ni baba yetu ako hospitali so yeah. kumbe my dad has uh, suffered a stroke wow yes and guess what it was the same exact day yeah the bomb blast it was on august 7th the same exact day kwa sasa hizi news za bomb blast na kila kitu tunazipata kwa hospitali sasa tuki watch news kwa, kwa kwa tv and you see we still kids I mean classics but but do we when you're a mama mm-hmm. there is a lot that you of course you're not a child child you can uh, understand a few things but bado tuko na bado sisi ni watoto and i remember how we found out eh tuko kwa ward to make it to a kona dad unasikia tu ma ambulance like tulianza tu kusikia ma sirens nini 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 tunajiuliza kwa nini na happen huko nje alafu kidogo kidogo ndio tunaona news so on that same day ndio dad alikuwa amesafa a stroke what yes so you guys are <laughs> in the world well just in the world tunasikia tu mas like tunasikia tu nini uko nje and you have to remember kenya had not suffered that before exactly It's like not, it was a that was a eh, that was we, we something had else. had a terror that was the beginning of our understanding of terrorism exactly exactly so the uh, i- even inside the hospital like the nurses the doctors are Confused. running everywhere it's, like it's pandemonium things like everybody is in a panic vitu zina happen so of course sasa sisi uzuri tulikuwa kwa ward na tulikuwa tumeke kit hapo hmm. and i can't remember how i'm at 6 years you're allowed into a ward i don't know Maybe at 6 there. when you are uh, 12 years sikla hmm. 6 uko 12 years yeah it may be back then but i remember tulikubalishwa kwenda kuona dad so by this time tunaenda kumuona his He can he's okay like he's a bit stable. Oh okay. He's a bit stable. Like ako yuko he can't say much he can't do much. But he knows you're there. But he knows we are there. Okay. Because And... it's his left side yote ilikuwa paralyzed. Oh. So it's funny because his his right side is functioning. So hata akiwaangalia anaweza waangalia anaweza jaribu kuongea but you see because It's... there is one side so sometimes you will speak but uski ni nini mm. uski ni nini kabisa anasema vitu kama hizo anyway <laughs> so inakuwa sasa and that was i feel like that was the beginning of everything now Because you see how I was when I was talking about my childhood <laughs> it's sweet it's sweet the mm. memories are so good like it's excitement now after august 7th things started shift changing like things started changing kabisa kabisa because remember he's the sole breadwinner wow 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 of this family mm-hmm. and he has relocated his entire family from where shago to nairobi shago to nairobi and the uh, the wife is a what house help i mean house housewife wife. yes a housewife meaning she doesn't work she doesn't yes, have a no source income. of income no there's income. no money coming in from her and you've just upgraded your entire family to this life yeah shule poa nini nini and then all of a sudden now you're sick and a stroke is not a joke keep at a stroke recovery time if you if you're lucky enough maybe in one year unaweza come recover mm. and that means you're going for your physio sessions nini 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 it takes a bit of time so does he stay in the hospital for long he stays in the hospital for long richie i think he was in the hospital if i'm not wrong for almost one and a half months maybe two months yo he was in the hospital for a long time but now the good thing about working for the government because yes. kcc ilikuwa ni ni agavam like your salo and like mm. nini yo for some time your money is, still comes in for some time but sasa after two months in the hospital it was time for him to come home and then something i remember richi nyumba yetu ilianza kunuka dawa oh like oh, oh, mpaka is in saidi kiongea naweza kumbuka hiyo smell mm like how ile nzanga tukunuka dawa
But sir, after two months in the hospital, it was time for him to come home. But now he comes home, he can't go to work. Can he walk? He's working on crutches. Okay, so what does this even do for you? <laughs> so, okay, first and foremost, even before he comes home, yeah. this guy before this, when you've been talking about da, daddy, mm -hmm. very only calling him dad, yeah. you've been speaking with a glow in your eye. Yeah. You get, mm -hmm. this guy is Superman to you. Mm -hmm. You know, in fact, I, I I so vividly see the pictures of you guys running to him. Yes. I see him with a nyama. Mm. It, that picture is so clear in my mind. Yeah. He's, and even I, I'm picturing your dad in such a superhero yeah. element, you get? Mm. So what happens, what happens to you seeing Superman is now fragile? Yeah, so <clears throat> I remember because we would go visit him in the hospital every now and then before now uh, the two months were over and he had to come home. Mm. So he comes home and uh, he's literally like he can't like he can't do much. Mm. You know like he's literally at the mercies of my mother. <laughs> like my mom now he becomes the child. Like we are children as well. But sasa anakuwa nika last born wa mom. Unajua yule mwenye ana need the most attention, the mm. most care, the most cuz he can do akiketi ndio am kepo afanye anything. He needs help. He needs help. And the person to help is who now? Your mom. Is my mom. Yeye ndiye ampeleke cho. Yeye ndiye amwoshe. Yeye ndiye amfeed. Yeye ndiye mbebe hapo ampeleke kwa kitanda lale. Yeye ndiyo like there was one specific seat in the house. And he looked too happy to do that. Dear Kitty, it's the same seat he used to yes, <laughs> but sit way life. before. But as I end, Kitty, okay. And then something I remember, Richie, you bet we learn Oh, like oh, oh, mpaka is inside the kionge and is a kumukayo smell. Mm. Like how we learn zanga to kumuka dawa, cause he was on meds. Now from there until. Like na kumbuka, by the way, na sema yuwa richi, I can smell, I can smell it. Ile nza tu kunuka dawa sasa, like, manuka nga tu dawa. So what's this doing to you? You can't talk to him. At that particular time, like he's... He can hear you, but he can't... Yeah, like, even conversations, nini, nini. Then was he depressed? I think that came a bit later. Okay. Now when the reality of things started oh. hitting him. So I think that came a bit later. Mm. So what happens at this time is um, we go back to school because the holidays, I see it's really shy, really shy. But that final term in class six is actually our last term yet we are show at Mwangaza Primary School. So, Yani, you were in Mangaza Primary School for one year. Because remember, ni August, mm. so to me, Rudy Phantom. Yes. But pole pole, reality ya uh, maisha inanza kusinkin pole pole. Because now, at this particular time, he's going for physio. He's going, he's doing all these things to get better. But it doesn't happen as fast. As yep. We, probably my mom and dad thought, was gonna happen like i think they both thought the recovery would be you know mm. like maybe mizi tattoo mm. and then he would recover and then they would go back to normal <coughs> sorry but in africa december and then i realized hey maisha ya watoto nairobi <laughs> maisha ya rent maisha ya kila kitu inanza kukua tricky because as much as the salo is coming in, kuna barua zimeanza kutoka kazini. Oh. Because you see, like... He couldn't fly out. Yeah, like he couldn't... Yes. Like he couldn't do much. Mm. And you see, there's a grace period. There's a good grace period. But by the time we live in Africa, December, I think your reality... Uh, it's over. You're not going to work, back to work anytime soon. Like that is not going to happen for you. So if you're not going back to work, tunafanya nini Nairobi? I feel like that's the conversation I had in my bedroom. Mm, Bila mm. sisi. Like, tunafanya nini Nairobi? 
tunaka Nairobi tukifanya nini I think it would be better for you and for all of us if we went back to Shago na tukafanya nini tuishuko So the other thing I didn't mention Richie is from class 5 dada alikuwa ameanza kujenga sasa ile nyumba Mm, mm. Yenye, sasa tumeishi yes, after yes, si, si stone yes, hapo <laughs> yeah. so tuli, dad alikuwa ameanza kujenga and so you know that life was really good this how he was um, building in Ushango was a massive five bedroom house it was a massive house Kai. a five bedroom house so alikuwa ameanza kujenga hata in class six, nyumba inajengwa so by the time he's getting a stroke imebakisha kidogo sana ishi. Mm. So what does my mom do? Mama anaendelea kuimaliza. So from the money that's coming in from we need a house. Yes. Mm. Do I think after two three months mama aliona by the time dad was coming back uh, home from the hospital mm. I think mama alikuwa ameanza kuona he hapa so she was able to complete the house. Mm. But it's not completion completion. Mm. Sile ati nile tu kuna plaster chini dirisha zimeako zimewekwa hakuna hata plaster the, the original house plan Mm-mm. it wasn't the original it was plan. for let's just move in exactly so by december iko things are not working at wizi ka nairobi we have no reason to stay in nairobi now because we will have a job in it time soon so what happens richi tunarudi wapi ocha kibirigi na tunarudi shule gani Kibirigwi primary school no way yes hata see your private mm-hmm. kai 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 no to a private school kibirigwi primary school na sasa sasa hii class 7 so mimi naenda class 7 sasa mm. so we moved back home kabisa nikitoka Nairobi vitu zikabebwa na tukarudishwa Kibirigui. When you think of yourself when you you know it's hard to ask you what were you thinking then because you are realize like you're you're in class 7 even age wise but when you think of yourself now and you remember that time you can maybe articulate better you can be like I mean ilikuwa mess hata sikujua but so what, what what tell me what that your life will go nenda unaenda juu slowly most most everything is just it's the trajectory near ni mlima on your climbing it's yeah. like you've been brought back to the beginning mm. Pap. what does that do to you <laughs> wah which is the first time guys in the same what were you listening sana but i never i have never answered anybody because hmm. people ask me judy what happened to your fingers have you ever looked at my fingers uh uh-uh. They look like this. Whoa. <sighs> that is the first time ni mese my story. Sijai. So when you ask that question of what was that doing to me? This is what it was doing to me. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. sikwa najua. Mm-hmm. Me I just thought it was just a bad habit. when you think of yourself when you you know it's hard to ask you what were you thinking then because you are realize like you're you're in class 7 even age wise but when you think of yourself now and you remember that time you can maybe articulate better you can be like i mean ilikuwa mess hata sikujua but so what, what what tell me what that your life will go nenda unaenda juu slowly most most everything is just it's the trajectory near ni mlima on your climbing it's yeah. like you've been brought back to the beginning mm. Pap, what does that do to you <laughs> wah which is the first time guys in the same what were you listening sana but i never i have never answered anybody because hmm. people ask me judy what happened to your fingers have you ever looked at my fingers uh uh-uh. They look like this. Whoa. Unaweza tell kuna yes, na kanika uh, kuchomeka nini uh, nini. Uh. Richi So it's later and now after therapy and what not. Hmm. 
Hey, si tulishizilia. Come on, haribu makeup. I saw the letter. So these are my thing actually this day is your nyesha. I only try to hide them. Mm. But zinaka hivyo. And I started biting on my fingers, not nails. I don't bite my nails. On your fingers. I bite my fingers. Like I could learn them. Like I did this Richie and Nyama comes off. What? And it's way later that nearly understand kumbe that is how I processed. Oh, that trauma. Wow. Like that is this is what I started to do when things started to go wrong in our household. And this is how I I processed my trauma. Watu wananiuliza anga cuz I do stories on my Instagram. Yes. And I use my hands a lot. So wanaangalia wanasema So watu wanauliza watu wanao and I have reached I have never answered anybody. Like you ask me that question and I'll just ignore. So now after many therapy sessions mm-hmm. and later I came to understand that is how I processed that trauma so i started biting my nails biting the skin on my fingers not my nails i don't oh, bite my nails yes my knuckles yes my knuckles my knuckles yes yes so i don't bite my fingers my my nails they kuna jua tu kula nails i don't do that zangu nilikuwa nakula knuckles so now kumbe from when my dad got sick and everything that happened and now as going back to shago na najipata nimerudi ile shule ah yeah watu wanaenda yeah, yeah, bado yeah, yeah. bila viatu cuz bado shule watu wanaenda bila mm. viatu i think in my young mind cuz I, I i wasn't I, i wasn't able to express everything mm. i was feeling mm. using my words nilianza kukula huko so my knuckles are dead like i don't feel pain what when i because of cause how much you killed them then yes like i don't feel pain woke you maybe una that always jaribu ah siwezi mimi i bite and i don't feel pain so nimezikula over the years baka yo <sighs> that is the first time ni mess my own story sijai so when you ask that question of what was that doing to me this is what it was doing to me mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. sikwa najua me and I just thought it was just a bad habit. Kai kai kai. And then something else started happening. Actually if you want to go back in uh, get my school records at that particular time because even school has started declining like nanza tu kwenda chini pole pole kwenda chini and the thing that my teachers used to write was well, she's a bright student but kuna kitu inamsumbua like the parents need to talk to her like kuna kitu but you see i'm young i'm still very like in class 6 nini unajua about mm. your mental health and all mm. those things you mm. don't understand mm. much like welewe nini una feel it's not like today where the psychologists exactly. and all of these other who can help process. you understand mm-hmm. what is happening so there was um, my my report report cards from actually like my third term of classics because that is what uh, when now nakula huku kidogo kidogo ama cycling bila nilikuwa na kwa tu mgonjo tu nilikuwa naenda shule na sikia kufaint kumbe ni ni akili inasumbuka mm. but hakuna mtu wako na nobody even an outlet all of these things exactly. are just happening in your head yes so i'm feeling all the feelings but at a siji kuzi process is siezi zi sema verbally siezi explain ya watu niwaambie i can't tell my mom cuz she's also going through hell at mm. that particular point you can't talk to your dad i can't talk to my dad your siblings are probably going to the same thing exactly so i remember my report cards zilikuwa zinaandikwa hivyo so she's a bright student uh, but she's always sick like she gets sick quite often did you become quiet I think I did. I think I did because I remember I wasn't like you 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 don't know that mm. is what you're doing but I remember just being by myself a lot. 
na kunyamaza tu like siku ana story mingi na watu mm. but kumbe ni kumbe ni ni trauma kumbe ni shida za nyumba zenu za home za nisumbua ndio si shida ndogo like you know you've talked about it i'm like this can't be where the story is going ukweli speaking this story ni <laughs> elevation right, elevation going, elevation yes. yeah so okay you go back into you go back to the beginning but at an older age yes and now you're in class 7 yes. grade starts going down mm. around there people are probably even talking about your family uh, everybody is talking about my family come on you and you are the talk of uh, our small village like you and you kusema i have all of a sudden you're back here and back to the primary school apo apo ndio merudi you can okay. imagine you know a few minutes ago you were telling me how when you were coming from Nairobi yes, ulikuwa naongea let's finish that we leave kikuyu like bro <laughs> kiniongelesha zile unaniambia and now i'm back to not even those guys the same school with the same guys oh when you just a few months yes. ago ni kwa naambia si elewi kile wananiambia back to the guy, same school and you had to vibe here too how was your mom now in this time i think for my mom i felt at some point it was a relief having to go back home because then she has people mm. that she can ask for help unajua like at least you're back to your family community, members yes. maybe your community so uko na watu wanaweza kusaidia and like when she was in Nairobi all by herself doing everything by herself and with four kids to look after mm. so i feel for my man to some extent kidogo to there was a relief. bit of a relief and also i think the brilliant the most brilliant thing my, my dad and then partly my mom had done is to start building your nyumba mm. cuz i don't know how a guy uh, now on a wheelchair 24/7 tungepanda mlima ya kwenda kuishi ile nyumba ya mbao ah yeah 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 okay i don't know vile sasa and what about the income from the posho meal so the posho meal is still functioning okay. and at least now we are back home so mom oh, food mom 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 is back to her nini, nini, normal nini, environment nini. at least sasa hapo anaweza iza ku handle a few things because hmm. you see, remember shagusha go you have your kashamba you have nini hmm. there you can manage a few things and then you see we are back to kibiringi primary school where school fees is nothing uh. so na feel there was a bit of relief hmm. as much as it was a downgrade like a proper yes there was a bit of relief for my mom okay but then richi I'm only in Kibirigwi Primary School for only one term. Ah, where is story? The book, the book was serious. <laughs> yes, I'm in Kibirigwi Primary School for only one term, uh-huh. the first term of class 7. And then second term, I relocate to Eldoret. So after Apple for some reason I think even after a conversation with my mom I think we started making peace with the fact that he might pass on not be here with us for much longer like because we could all see like kwa alianza tu kuka yani he's not okay he's really not okay But then Richie I'm only in Kibirigwi Primary School for only one term. Ah, where is story? The book, the book was serious. <laughs> yes, I'm in Kibirigwi Primary School for only one term, uh-huh. the first term of class 7. And then second term, I relocate to Eldoret. So now <laughs> on my dad's side of the family uh-huh. my guka had two wives okay which was normal at that time exactly so kulikuwa na shusho when you shusho now our shusho is the shusho we know and then there was another shusho now from hmm. uh, another side of the family so from your side a sister sasa one of the daughters when you sasa ni sister ya your dad yes alikuwa na watoto wenye ni cousins mm. wetu 
but they were much older cousins mm. like much much older cousins mm. so one of those cousins her name was Flo Flo was married to um my uncle used to call him Baba Vicky mm-hmm. and they were living in Eldoret and they were doing very well for themselves mm. So of course every family member alikuwa shajua history yetu mm. and we have some family members who are offering to help in different ways. Mm. So how Flo offered to help my mom was by taking me. Like taking me in. Yes. And take, I've, yes. I've got her. Yes. And now me being their responsibility. Mm. Like making sure nimeenda shule ni mekula niko na nguo za kuvaa nini nini nini. But the only way they would be able to do that was by me joining them in Eldoret. So that is how I moved schools now again from Kibirigu Primary School to Eldoret Union School. You in Eldoret. It's you literally became adopted into a new family. Exactly. But this family is not even in your geographical location. No. It is in another that time I think it was province. Yes. So we're moving from Central Unenda Rift Valley mm. to Eldoret. And the reason why they are doing this is because they know I'm a bright girl. So they know me going back to Kibirigi Primary School hate this idea. Mm. Like uyu ana need shule poa in his in his proper education because i shule ni kurudi ani kurudi anarudi nyuma. So they offered to just Were any of the other siblings taken? No. What? was just me. Ah wengine walibaki Kibirigo Primary School. Yo Judy. That's you know in 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 instances sometimes people talk about black sheep and the hand of God and things like that. Yeah. It's not coincidental that it's only you who speaked out. That's I'm not true. saying that the, the rest of the story is going to be good, yeah. but I'm just saying that the singling out already shows something about you. Yeah. So okay. So class 7 term 1 umemaliza um, Kibirigo. Eldoret. Tam tu nimeenda. Niko sasa Eldoret Union School. Oh, so this is another. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a pia tena kidogo kuna culture shock. Cuz now Eldoret Union School is your public school but on a higher level. Mm. Na je zile it's a public it's a public public school but, but iko na mm, level fulani. Mm. Ni kama ile Emmanuel Academy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So huku pia watu wanavaa tie, shati, viatu, socks, nini nini nini. Like it's, it's a public school but iko na level fulani. Mm. And I remember and it, this was the most interesting thing about that school. I remember the first time I went to that school. Kulikuwa na watoto wa kila aina. Kuna Wahindi. Oh. Kuna. Yeah. So the first time with now. Eh, no na watu hi, no na ya. Huyu ni Mhindi, huyu ni. And then it was also my first time. Okay, not my first time because in Mwangaza Primary School in Kayole, at least you had I had interacted with people from different uh, tribes. Tribes, yes. 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 But sasa But now you are even in Eldoret. Ay ay ay. Sasa hapo unapata na sasa pia na another level like Kalenjins, watu wengi wa Kisumu, like kulikuwa tuna pudding yes. a mix yes from as in Fruit everybody salad. from yeah and sasa hiyo ni another chapter of my life sasa nimeanza shule mahali kwingine but so this is 99 this is if, 99 if it's after the bomb blast yes 99 yes stamp 2 stamp 2 okay first even before we enter school mm. how is that family do they have kids are their kids are their kids any of their kids okay yes uh-huh. but they have young kids Okay. They have uh, Vicky. Vicky was maybe around what? Maybe 6 or hmm? maybe 7. Like 7 years old. They are mm. they are all uh, small small kids. Mm-hmm. Then there was um Ernest? No. Yes, then there was Ernest cuz kale kadogo kabisa ni Kim kadogo. Yeah, so they have two kids at that time. But sasa ni watoto wadogo. Mm. They are living in a nice house. Like they are doing very well for themselves. Mm. Wako na gari. Ni 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 maisha ni poa by the way. Pia uko. So now um cousin Flo, that's how what we call her even mm. now. Hata kwa simu ni cousin Flo. <laughs> so cousin Flo and uh, Baba Vicky now the husband are business people. Mm. They are self employed. And their biggest business actually was they were um, they had a, a depot 
for farmers trees. Mm. So we don't want to supply masusu juice, bacon, nini nini to almost the entire Eldoret town. Yes. The big um, hotels, Shule, nini, restaurants, yeah. nini we don't want to supply. Sasa huko nayo nilienda nilikuwa on a constant supply of bacon. Sasa juice. Sasa ni kuna kula. Cuz I was there. This, it, nilika huko. Like I was there until sasa nikamaliza my primary mm. yeah, school and they were the perfect hosts. But they nice. they treated me like I was one of their kids. Oh nice. Kabisa kabisa. Hey, like I never breath. ever <laughs> felt. I was holding my breath. I was told you yeah. and I got a chance. By the way, I was like, by the way, please don't tell me now anymore. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm going to kwa sabet yako. No, like they were the perfect hosts. They actually treated me like I was one of their kids. Nice. Children. Like it was sikwai kwa na shida. But sasa richi X, but it, 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 after <laughs> years after years of therapy and what not uh-huh. so something strange started happening when i went to eldoret like whenever i would have something for breakfast in the morning mm-hmm. i would puke oh. like ni kuna kitu hiyo asubuhi ya shule at 6 7 yote mtatoa like siku anaweza kukula anything mm. ningeza kuanza kukula from satano uko but you see huyo si mimi mm. before that mimi nilikuwa nakula vizuri hata asubuhi siku ana hizo mashida mm. but nilikuwa tu na hiyo like nilikuwa tu nako ka shida ka there something sisi kula asubuhi which mm. was very strange because it's not something i had experienced Ever. before yes so nikaanza ku pack breakfast yangu so i would carry my breakfast to school and only eat ikifika maybe 10:30 over uh, break time ndio ningeza kukula kitu it was very weird because it's not that was not me but sasa later i come to learn hey, this is still my body trauma. processing trauma because remember nimeacha babangu mgonjwa nyumbani ah, yeah, 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 nimeacha yeah, yeah. mamangu yes, nimeacha my siblings so they are all where back in mushago tough life tough life mimi nimekuja Eldoret, nimeenda shule mzuri and my life is good. I can't really complain. But in my young mind, kumbe vitu zinanisumbua ni how is my family back home? Nimewaacha huko nikakuja huko kwa nini? You even feeling guilty for for continuing like Exactly. But because my mind can't process that at that particular time, mwili ndio ina inatoa vitu. <laughs> like mwili tu ndio inafanya vitu zake that is so and that continued kabisa i remember until i was done with my primary school mm. so are you are you crying are you waking up at this this time and and you know there's no mobile phone okay i don't know there's no mobile there's phone there's no mobile phone there's no atia you can't ca- i can't phone. call at to find out i can't like i don't know what is happening with them i don't I really you don't. Go, don't you, know. Holidays were ending back. No. You stayed now you you got like umeenda. Niliishi kabisa. Oh. No, Richie, no. Is it time you went si back? Kuj- no. No. Si ndi home. When the home. Si kwenda home. Christmas uko na. Uh, holidays uko na in Eldoret. Yeah. Si ndi home, Richie. Sindi home. Sindi home nimekaa tu. Acha nimekaa until leave. Hmm. 9829 2000. Wow, 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 wow. Umetoka home 99. Right? Mhm. So the whole of 99 mm. and the whole of 2000. Yes. Not the whole of 2000. Just a bit. Just a bit until mid until me. No, until the first week of June. Was it? No, until me. No, there was a holiday there and you didn't leave home. Hmm. So, wacha nikurudishe nyuma okay. kidogo. 
So I don't know what's happening at back at home. I can only rely on my aunt, uh, my cousin and my uncle to tell me. Like whenever, uh, my cousin and my, well, they are cousins, both of them, right? But because they were much older than me, at some point, ni kanzanga kwa ita and kona auntie. Because they are cousins, but ni, they are much, much, much older. So, um, ni meka now until, when was it? It was in class eight, the year holiday, um, April. When uh, I find out, dad I'm ready to see. So, sasa I'm ready to see you. Sasa, I I'm equa on physio ni ni ni, but condition yake it does not seem like it's improving. So, I'm ready ni ni, I'm ready hospital. But this time round. And I actually came to find out later, mm. that's the reason why nilienda home your holiday. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And I teach, akasema anataka watoto wake wati when they were born in hospitali. So, tunaenda, tunamona hospitali, na tunarudi home. Because there was, like, and I remember the conversation at that particular day was, he was, it was actually the day I found out that my, our firstborn sister is not, you're it. Yeah, like she came with my mom. That's the day I found out. I didn't know. Like we and never knew. And who told you your dad? Yeah, it's my dad. Because I remember when he was lying there on his hospital bed, he said, I want you to take care of your siblings. Because do you know you're my firstborn daughter? And I was like, what do you mean your firstborn daughter? I'm like, don't worry, your mom will explain. Because that mama like, what happened to you? So I was like, what do you mean firstborn daughter? That's why it, I, I mentioned at the very beginning, mm. we have never functioned like a blended family. I get to get this win. Because you see, up until that time, had to go to Nimo came with my, we didn't know. Sisi ko tunajua ni. Yeah. And we had a conversation. It was, ili kwa nikama ni mimi anangelesha kwa sisi wote. Ili kwa nikama ni mimi anambia vitu. I can remember, I want you to take care of your mom, I want you to take care of your siblings, Nini. But of course, so I see I'm back home, Nini. I later find out he's actually not being okay. I'm going in and out of yes, hospital. Yes, but that, in fact, he's talking to you mm. like he's saying goodbye. Yeah, he's talking like he's saying goodbye. You see those things, I want you to, yes. I want you to. Those, yes. those are deathbed conversations. Yeah. yeah. And. And you've this, just come back, and now is the first time you're seeing them. Exactly. And actually, he's now he's not in a good state, Richie. Like he's not in a good state. Like unafika kwa yokitanda unamwangalia, like you can see the bones. You know, you blow on them too. Like mtu amenza kukonda, nini nini nini. Like he's not he's not looking good. He's really not looking good. So after Apple, for some reason, I think. Even after a conversation with my mom, I think we started making peace with the fact that he might Pass on. not be here with us for much longer. Like, because we could all see. Like, he's not okay. He's really not okay. Like, apaga, anaenda. Uyu anaenda. Yeah. So... You do you in class eight? I'm in class eight, yes. So there's, there's this bit that I just want to go back to. Mm. <laughs> you come from Nairobi. Yeah. You start this school. Mm. You're, one time later, you're taken. To Eldoret. To Eldoret. Yeah. You've not seen your parents, mm. but you know your dad's condition is, yeah. is, is bad. Mm. The time you're coming back to see your family, mm. you, first and foremost, you have improved. Probably your clothes are better looking, whatever. Yeah. You smell different. Actually, I should have mentioned that. That um, So I, I get home. I alight from the matatu, right? Nashuka matatu. Mm. The first person I see is my auntie from my mom's side of the family. Mm. Like um, my uh, uncle, like yes. brother to my mom, is married to her. Mm. So she's my auntie from yes. my mom's side of the family. And I'm so excited because I'm seeing my family members for the first time in a long time, in a, quite a couple of months. So I see her and I shout, Auntie! And she turns, she looks at me. 
na ananiangalia and then she continues and i'm like auntie and she turns again and she looks at me she looks and she's like julie oh that's my nickname from home yes <laughs> you see how if anybody calls you junior then yeah, you know yeah. if anybody calls me julie then i know you mm. know me from way yes. way 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 back when and the reason she <laughs> she reacted that way she couldn't was because nikwa ni menona so like ala like who ni wewe because i used to but I, I, i was always so petite like i've always been so mm. petite mm. but at that particular time i think eldoret my sausages and my bacon <laughs> because <laughs> was so i had gained a bit of weight yes. and she was she, she was like hi ya unta just go and join me we i felt so good she came and had me in and it yes. was a good time at least yeah so of course yeah so mimi meshangu iko poa uko naendelea vizuri you see it, as much as i'm, I'm a troubled child mm. Cause si juu hivyo ndio that is what is happening inside yes. uh, mimi bado uh, uh, like huko nje mi am okay mm. right una flourish <laughs> ina flourish mbaya <laughs> yeah so i i um see my who my dad like tunaongea hapo 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 nini 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 and then I have to go back to school right cinema is as lazima ni rudi shule na narudi shule na shortly after in june of what year of the same year like 2000 like it 2000 years in class it sisi nimekuja nikaona nini i have to go back now i'm back again i mean i'm um, like a few like shortly after your conversation uh, in june when was it? the second week of june my dad passes away okay yeah let's stop here tafadhali please <laughs> tunarudi There's a saying that I have on this uh, platform CTA clean the areas and I say you never truly know people until you take the time out to get to know people um you never really know people until you hear people talk about themselves everything else is your own assumptions uh, your own de- deductions deduce you deduce you you come up you decide for yourself yani this story of yours we are still at primary but there's so much i'm learning about you mm. one of the things that you talked about is you said it that your mind blocks yeah. blocks things yes. and during the break you called your mom to verify dates yes because you're like originally likuwa this or whatever whatever yes. you get yes. there are things that are not adding up mm. we are And, and I was telling you I'm not even I'm not r- removing the last bit mm. because we are witnessing effects of trauma yeah. of a traumatic event mm. to date that they can even jumble and the power of the mind in in in, in how it can block out things yeah so what I'll do is I'll just give it back to you if, yes. if you want to change <laughs> dates if you want to say here yeah, maybe I was wrong yeah. whatever but what is mind blowing mind blowing <laughs> is just the power of the mind and what it can do in terms of when a traumatic event happens this for me has been powerful to just watch yeah so over the break nimekwambia hey richie pause there we need to go back rewind rewind so do you remember when we started i mentioned at some point that i i feel like there's a portion of my childhood that my brain has blocked because your pre-childhood you remember it like this exactly like to the details and i was trying to like i can't 
like na, nimejaribu cuz I see I called my mom mm. to uh, clarify a few things but ukiniuliza juu ya my childhood like um before nursery mm. I remember things so vividly like I remember my life so well and that's the one if you forgot I would understand eh hey, cuz you ulikuwa mtoto unakumbuka nini mm. But it's so interesting that when things started uh, to take uh, uh, another turn, a turn for the worst, by the upon you kila kitu yangu imekuwa jumbled up. That's when I can't remember. Mm. As in I'll get the date mixed up. Anyway, nimesema tunarudi nyuma. So Richie, I'm going to take you back. Kuna shida. To after uh, so nursery, Kibirigi Primary School, right? Class 1, class 2, Kibirigwi Primary School. So Richi I said class 3. Nilikuwa bado Kibirigwi Primary School. In class 3, that's when I went to boarding school. Mm. That is when I joined Emmanuel Academy. Mm. I was in class 3. Mm-hmm. And nilingia Emmanuel Academy, I was there class 3, class 4 and a bit of class 5. Mm. And uh, class 5 that is uh, which year 1998 now right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. class 5 is 1998 so i'm in class 5 in 1998 19. yes mm-hmm. i'm in class 5 in 1998 so i'm in class 5 first term still in Emmanuel academy na but first na second term actually second term but sasa second term tukifunga shule tumefunga si tuko nafunga um, August mm. mama amekuja kutuchukua basi sasa hii siku mama amekuja kutuchukua anasema tunaenda wapi Nairobi so mm. this time hatujaenda Nairobi bado bado tunaishi Kibirigwi right my dad yes, is yes, still yes, working yes. in Nairobi yes, yes, uh-huh. but, but like bado tunaishi yes. Kibirigwi mm. but this particular time this day that No, no na even dio binyangu na nicheze. So this closing day. Uh-huh. So we are our closing day is today. But at tunangoja tunangoja cuz mom used to come and pick us up cuz lazima mzazi akukujie shule. Mm. Ni imagine atukujiwi shule. Like atukujiwi and, shule. And you can't leave it's boring. Tuna, you can't leave. Mm. So you can imagine. Yes. Atukukujiwa shule cuz I remember Uh, there was a classroom that used to face the gate so your class ndo tulienda tukaka cuz watu walikuwa wanaenda wanakaa hiyo class unachungulia kwa gate one mzazi wako akiingia unajua yeah it's time to go home unakimbia unachukua bag zako you meet with your parent your teachers give you a um, clearance form then you go home right so on this particular closing day leo ndio closing day tumejitayarisha nini 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 tuko ready kwenda nyumbani mm. remember niko na my big sister in the same school na niko na our small sister eh, njesh moyo ananifuata mm. sisi wote at this time washadi tuko hiyo shule sisi wote hatukuji kuchukuliwa shule so siku inaisha inafika jioni na shanga ai do remember there is no mobile phones hakuna njia ya communicate mm. ni nini na happen so sinabidi tulale shule cuz if usipochukuliwa si unakaa tu But I remember it was us and a few other students when you hawako amekujiwa. Mm, mm. Right, so tumelala of course mtukalia hiyo siku juu kama uja kujua na mzazi wako unashindwa na watu wameenda nyumbani wewe umebaki shule unafanya nini. So I remember the following day tunarudi kwa ile class too. We go back to the same class the same window you wait. from morning you there hanging by the rails looking at the gate waiting for somebody to come and pick you up and who do we see? You see my uncle brother to my dad the last born actually in their family his name is tunamuitanga uncle gitari so we see him coming through the gates and you're like kwa nini uncle ni anakuja kutuchukua it's not my mom who picks up us up so tunashindwa eh hey, uncle amekuja kutuchukua kwa nini and anyway, we are excited that there is actually somebody who's shown up <laughs> so we can actually get to go home so, uncle gitari is the one who picks us up But of course we have so many questions for him do. Hey. Dadi yako wapi? Mami yako wapi? Eh, hey, dadi yako wapi? Mami yako wapi? Kwa nini waja tukujia? Nini nini nini? But I remember him telling us actually sasa hatwendi home, tunaenda Nairobi. Mm. And of course that makes us very excited. He doesn't tell us anything. 
So we are very excited. Hey, tunenda Nairobi. Anasema mami yako Nairobi na dadi yako Nairobi. So, tunenda wapi? Nairobi. We are very excited. So, tunaingia kwa matatu. Of course that was the only nini. Yeah, yeah. Tunaingia kwa matatu, tuende Nairobi. So, tunafika Nairobi, tunaingia kwa matatu zingine. Hizi matatu zinatupeleka hospitali. So, tunaingia hospitali, tunashangaa ai hospitali tunakuja kufanya nini so of course we they do whatever they do at the reception he does whatever he does mm. at the reception and then he's like this will so si tunafuata nurse tukienda and what we walk into one of the rooms the wards afu tunapata ni baba yetu akawa kitanda and my mom is seated by his side so tunashanga we are excited to see them because mm, but, yes. but of course we excited alafu nashanga kwa nini dadi amelala and that is when we learn that dadi amepata nini amepata stroke hold on your mind has messed this thing so much yes. that you you were telling us before that you were in a school in Nairobi yes i was not in a school in Nairobi Richie. what i was not in a school in Nairobi Richie. do you know This is not something small that you have you have jumbled up. This is a complete new story. A complete new story. I had to call my mom and my sister was texting saying if, if whatever I need information she can give me because my mind has completely blocked that part of the story. Wow, 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 wow. You know I'm listening to you. I even want I even wanted to interfere and tell you ah you've got your story wrong because babu liko Nairobi. I was like in Nairobi. Yes. So tumefunga shule atuje kuja kuchukuliwa. Tumekuja kuchukuliwa. Tumeenda Nairobi. Tuko kwa ward. So just, I know Judy I need to ask this question again. You've not moved at all to Nairobi. No, we've not. We've not yet moved to Nairobi. You've not yet moved to Nairobi yes. when you found out that your dad was sick. Yes. So oh my god, Judy, you created a whole new narrative mm. about a life with your dad in Nairobi healthy mm. and living a good life yeah this is this is I've, I've, this is the first time in my life that I'm that I am understanding trauma from this perspective yeah this Okay. And you see now it makes sense because every time I have a conversation with Abel like I all in Nashanga nikimuliza how is it that you remember so much from your childhood mm. and I can't the only memories I have is when I was playing football. Uko nikiwa class 2. Ay 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 ay. Na my neighbors na cousins from home. And those memories nazikumbuka. The memories I have is daddy coming with ball gums and yes. biscuits and nyama wow but when things started to change my mind completely blocked nikizo memory za ziko yo this is it's 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 powerful to see so can i just ask a question yeah. and this maybe i'm skipping ahead but i just want to understand mm. so when you went for therapy mm. The therapist now realized that this was this was a, a a place that started bringing up things into your life. Yes. So now she helps you or he helps you unpack exactly and understand why why like why why I am the way I am. Mm. Why I have I do things in a certain way and somebody else will not do the same the, the same thing the way I did it. Mm. Like it just helps you unpack. But you see, but even after therapy, no ne yo block bado iko. Like yo block it's enimeona. Yo block bado iko. I get it. But also I am understanding the you know I've spoken to people mm. who've lost and were speaking with Wamai um and even Izo behind behind the scenes during this breaks i like the breaks because yeah. even as we are learning mm-hmm. remember me I'm, me i'm just a guy who likes having conversations yeah. so he was he was telling me you know i have very many people who when the when a father figure the provider the superhero leaves the family mm. 
or gets sick or gets or, or, or passes on. Mm. How it the, the the gravity with which it affects the family mm. is not just financial. Judy, this is years later. Yeah. Many, many years later. This many. is ther- ses- 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 sessions later. Yeah. You're making me have such empathy for for humans. Mm. Because you never really know people until you take the time to know people. And first of all, I want to start by telling you, thank you for sharing. Thank you, Richie, for giving us this platform. I understand why I've been saying sitting with you and having a conversation with you is actually like a therapy session. Now I understand why. Uh, But I'm not skilled for this. (laughs) I'm I'm, I'm learning. And, And I say, you are teaching me I mean, with this, I've never been in a situation like this. Mm. I'm just, I can't understand the gravity of the mind. What you have made me, my wife is a therapist, by the way, mm. and she deals with children. I, I, I've never understood it. This is a whole new narrative mm. was created that you narrated here. Very, you know, co- right, very confidently. You about the TV, yes. you about, you know, Imagine. You know, really. But I'm like, oh my God, this was the mind protecting itself mm. in terms of protecting you. Okay, so so this situation of when you went and the bomb blast, and mm. well, first of all, was it even the bomb blast day? It was. But it was, you were picked from school. Yes. And that now is information that your mom and your sisters were going to Yes, so many people have been picked Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so then, so did you ever live in Nairobi? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fat check you. Know. Yes. <laughs> check. Yes. Okay, but okay, so let's let's. Wow. Let's stick to this bomb blast day. Then what happens? Because mm. clearly, this is the day that your mind starts playing tricks with you. Yes. The day you see your dad in this situation. Mm. The mind starts erasing and playing tricks. Okay. Yeah. So now, so we are in the world. We are excited to see them. So, but of course, our father is lying in a hospital bed. He's sick to Nashanga Ai. Like, what is happening? So, that is when we find out that he had suffered a stroke. And uh, that's the reason why my mom is in Nairobi. And they are in a hospital, mm. right? And I remember, I remember actually, so the story behind the stroke is this. Dad had traveled to Denmark. Mm. And when he came back, in Nairobi, one of the days from work, anenda anagonga mtu. Nile face me yetu, anagonga mtu kwa traffic. But imagine ni kugonga mtu kwa traffic, ni juu. Ame pata stroke. Na ame lalia. Oh. Yes. So that is when he's now rushed to the hospital. And that's now how my, my mom gets the uh, information. And now she comes to Nairobi. Judy. So Sisi, he time to natoka shule to naleto hospital. The reason actually why they were okay uh, bringing us to the hospital was because it had been a couple of like two weeks. So he had been in the hospital for like two weeks. Mm. So he had made a bit of recovery. So by the time you're seeing him in hospital now on this day, at least a call, anezongea kidogo, like aneza smile, mm. aneza wasalim. Like he knows you're there. Mm. Like he knows to ko apo. Otherwise, wale kwa anase matunge inge kuwani like two weeks before that, atunge kubalisho kumuona. Vegetation state. Exactly. So he's, he's, he can barely recognize us. He can barely recognize us. But at least, uki msalimu, uki yako, he can react. Mm. At an a smile. But his, and his left side is completely paralyzed. Because yaki likuwa left ni gani. Mm. Yeah, like he was completely paralyzed. And this was on that day a bomb blast. Because then how we, we, I remember is because all of a sudden, tulianza kusikia ma sirens, ambulances, nini ma sirens. There was a lot of commotion in the hospital, nurses, doctors, 
So tunashangani nini wakuja wakati wa share TV. Okay. So we are seated in the world. Tumetoka shule tumepata babi yetu ni mgonjwa. So tuna watch news ya kuona the bomb last August 7th. Yani so much was happening in your life. Bam. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So first and foremost, something small has been picked a day after mm -hmm. is traumatizing mm -hmm. for a child. I know it because my I remember we cried. Oh uh, my god. Oh. My siblings and I to lilali usiku tukilia. It 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 is tied to rejection. Mm -hmm. I know it because that happened to me. Mm -hmm. I you see even when you said it started it started yeah. It brought, I'm like, even me, I remember. Mm. And I remember when we were in school, it was just me and one of the, the class eight boys. It's yeah. like, like the memory is so vivid. Yeah. Number two, you're picked and you're taken. And you and the neck, and the first time you're seeing your dad mm. is in this state. Yeah. Then number three, the world is ending in from your world. Yes. Bombs and thingies because of the, what has been switched on. Mm. I get where your mind did that. Mm. So let me now ask this question. Mm. So you really didn't come to Nairobi because it was a plan? No. That was even a story your head gave you? Yes. You came to Nairobi, you moved to Nairobi because your dad was sick. And you moved to Nairobi so that my mom could can take, take care, care of, of my him. dad. This is something else that we've witnessed. It, this wasn't a planned... Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's a lot. So so in my brain has sort of painted <laughs> the the perfect picture uh -huh. of what could have been or what the child in me wanted. Wanted. But Kumbe things are completely different. So we moved to Nairobi because my dad was sick and my mom needed to take care of him. That's even why the smell that you remember. Nidawa mm. took Oh my God. I know. Even me, I'm, I'm, I'm blown. Let's take a break. We'll be back. Wow. Hakumbukangi kabisa. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now, oh my God. Like now I understand why. Why I am my mother's child. Mm. a lot of CTAs and you're probably wondering why I keep cutting. I keep cutting because this is an unfamiliar territory. It's unfamiliar territory for myself, it's unfamiliar territory for the guest, it's unfamiliar territory for the, the guys in the room, Wamai and Aizo, who are doing an amazing job with the camera work. Um, this is what I tell people on CTA. I tell them, you are my first priority. Whatever you do not want to talk about, me, I'm not here for the audience first. I'm not here to grab Udaku. Mm. I'm here to honor you first. You, when I put you on this seat, I am putting you on this seat to tell you, thank you so much for the contribution that you have made through your life. And therefore, if there's anything you do not want to talk about, I will make sure that it will not be added into this place. I also ask that as you come onto this seat that you give and you're vulnerable, so that those watching can take from the value of your life experience and apply it to their life. So the fact that you have allowed this all to be in it in its rawest form, yeah. I start by saying thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> for myself, for the guys in the room, and for those who are watching. Thank you for the level of vulnerability because you are finding out these things now. Yeah. So my question is, how is it making you feel as you're sharing and finding out as you're sharing mm -hmm. that 
all of these, these things are happening. It's interesting because I, I thought like maybe speaking about it, what I would feel is pain. Mm. But Richie, what I'm feeling now is relief. As in what I'm feeling is because I think I'm now remembering it the way I was supposed to remember it. But I also feel maybe it's because I am now my brain is now ready mm. to process. Like I'm in a safe zone where now mm. I can process. Without it destroying you. Without it destroying me. So I don't feel pain. Honestly. And I think that's the reason why I'm not crying. There are mm. no tears. I mean even Leah. Richie Akoku Mate Mapared. Yeah. But what I'm feeling is relief. Mm. Like Let me tell you, Judy, this is so powerful. Yeah. One of the most powerful things that have happened, first of all, you've made me understand the mind. Mm -hmm. You know, we think, we think. Yeah. In fact, that word, we think. I, you think you control this gadget. Yeah. Between the prime real estate between your two ears. Mm. You think you have control over it. Yeah. Kumbe, um, multi-personality, or what, what's it called? You get... All of these are protective mechanisms mm. that this powerful thing called the mind can have. Uh, you know, if, if you see a car running into you, there's an adrenaline that can that is kicked in and whatever. Yeah. So even in trauma, like I have seen it live, mm -hmm. what has happened to you. Yeah. Okay. So what then, let's continue this story yeah. at your pace. Mm. What then happens as we continue with this thing. <coughs> Eldoret is no forget even Eldoret, not a Nairobi. I, I, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> imagine. So I Abel, are you finding out this with us? <laughs> I'm sure he is. I I don't think he knows this version mm. of the story. The version he knows is the one I had told before. The one that my brain had created. I can think, and even your daughter, first of all, I'm so happy your daughter gets to watch this. Yeah. Part of the reason why I love doing CT is that mm. you have something to pass on to the next generations. Yeah. They get to know who you are. Actually, mom Booth doesn't know this version of her mom. She doesn't. Yeah. And I'll make sure she watches this CT. Okay. Yeah. So where, <coughs> we, where we are to this story is this hospital. Your dad has been there two weeks. You guys have gone that bomb last day. Yes. Okay, continue. So, of course, we get to chill with um, now mom, dad. We are all there. And I think because of everything that was happening on the day, the hospital wasn't even um, strict on time and everything. Mm. So, actually, what happened, we were told to stay there. Like, usitoke nje. Usitoke mwende anywhere. Nini kaeni hapa. You have to stay here until... Uh, the situation uh, comes down and we know, even for your safety, mnatoka paji mfike home. So home now, the home you're talking about is dad's house Komarok. in Nairobi, in Komarok. Okay. That's the home you're talking about. So we stay there. We stay in the hospital. And I remember they truly come back at Gioni Kabisa. After Vitu Zilko Zimetulia, now there's a, a few matatuzi and there as and in fanya operations. But I remember on the day, it's actually one a driver from KCC who came to pick us to pick us up mm. and take us to now dad's house. Mm. And we were all able to go together, even my mom. So mm. to us what is to kenda kwa nyumba ya dad. And that is how we found ourselves in Nairobi without hata nguo, hatuna nguo kwa ni mama alikuwa anajua sasa ati organize nguo za watoto zikuje nini nini nini. So it's my uncle who actually went back to uh, Kiberigu Kiferegwe collected eh akapaka nguo za watoto akazileta Nairobi and Richie, that is how we moved from Kiferigwe to Nairobi the real story <laughs> it's the real story <laughs> of how we moved because now my mom couldn't leave uh, my dad alone yes and of course watoto wake anawacha ushago wake na nani of course there's family there mm -hmm. but her children need to be with her yep and the house was big enough to 
for sisi wote mm. that is how we moved from Kiferegwe to uh, uh, Nairobi and also that is how we moved from Emmanuel Academy to to Mwangaza Primary School kosi tulikuwa tumefunga shule ya second term yes. ya class 5 yes even though we never went back to Emmanuel Academy Ah, yeah, yeah. That time ili tupata Mungaza Primary School in Kayole. He, 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 yeah. he, he. So you know a sudden sudden change. Mm. Sudden unpredictable change yes. causes trauma. Mm. That's what that's what I'm, I'm in my head um, processing. You yes. get especially negative. Mm. Negative, you get. Yeah. Okay. So so in this space mm. even going to this new school mm. it's not a t- from a p- perspective of joy and mm. happiness and whatever it is sudden change your mind is now beginning it's to sudden change whew, whew. yeah okay so uh uh-huh. yeah so um my dad is in the hospital for almost the entire school holiday right now school holidays in kwanga like a month and a f- Yes. Like a month and maybe a week or two weeks. So the entire time he's in the hospital. And just before to fungue shule, I think maybe a week after to mefungue shule, that's when he comes back home. Like mm. after almost being in the hospital for two months, that's when he finally comes back home in Nairobi. Right? Na sasa inakuwa ni my mother na mtoto wake sasa last born. Because now my dad <laughs> became my mom's yeah, 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 last born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the one who needs the most attention, the one who needs the most help. So my small brother, who's now my brother uh, Kabang, was born 1992. Mm. So how old is he by now? This is 98. So he's barely six. Six. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, for him now, this is when uh, maybe school is starting with yeah. all those things. Yeah, and uh, now we yeah, are in school. Dad is home. He's going for his physio sessions. Nini nini nini. But it's just him and mom now. Some wapambani. And now it makes sense when I say the one thing I remember about our house in Nairobi was the smell of dawa. Dawa. Because you na kumbuka richi like na kum. You smell. Ni kama nize smell size. Mm. Yo nyumba ilikuwa tunanuka dawa. And of course it's from dawa za dad. Yep. The hospital ina kila kitu. So eh So in that school for only one time. Two. No 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 no. I was there now for now this is how you see the other story my brain had. <laughs> yeah, your remix. <laughs> constructed. Yes. No this is the true story. So uh we are in Mwangaza term 1. Uh, I mean the final term third term uh-huh. na tunaingia pia class 6 mm. but sasa class 6 tunafanya just one more term in that school by end of term 1 of class 6 out hapo ndio sasa ile story ya kurudi ushago ikaka mm. cuz sasa there is finances no, yes finances the mom, is mom cannot be able to pay the rent anymore shule ni expensive remember it's a public school mm. but ni public school pay kona si kama ile like kifereko yep. primary school so inafika mahali na as in they both realize uh, he's not going to go back to work anytime soon it's time to go back to ushago right but remember the ile story nilikuwa nakwambia walikuwa wameanza kujenga nyumba hiyo mm. story iko hiyo ni kweli walikuwa wameanza kujenga nyumba na sasa by e class 6 by e end of term 1 we now they are making the decision to go back to ushago in nyumba ya at least mama me manage kumalizia malizia si ile at proper yes. finishing but at least it's livable tunaweza enda uko na tuishi so end of term 1 we go back to kibiri kwestena tunarudi kiferegwe and we go back to kiferegwe primary school mm. right so um tamani yes. neshanga april right si ndio watu wanaenda yes, yes, school yes. holidays so tumerudi na tumerudi eh, so term 2 this is 1999 19 no class 6 is 19 19 because if it's no, bomb blast 1990 if it's bomb blast and then bomb blast was august and then you went 
So 1998, we are in class five. Can you see how your mind yes. messes with your nini? Mm. Yes, correct, 1999. So, to me second term, tunarudi sasa tunaanzia wapi Kibirigu Primary School. Mm. Kwa sasa tumerudi home sisi wote. Yeah? But dad's condition is not getting any better. So he's going to for physio, he's doing all these things, but his condition is not getting better. Like mm. he's not getting better. He doesn't seem like he's getting better. I get it. Because this time he's in and out of hospital. Mm. Like at Engi, at the hospital, he maybe two, three days. He is better. He comes back home. Ana kaka tena kidogo, ana rudi. Na sasa item to kiwa when we went back to Ushago. Ile hosi tunenda in itwa Jami Hospital in Kokaratina. It was actually like the private hospital in like the best yep. hospital you could ever go to kiwa Karatina. See on the hosi ana enda kidogo ana rudi. Ana enda kidogo ana rudi. But Do you remember that story? Yeye niko anasema ati nilikuwa sijui April holidays nimetoka Eldoret nimekuja nyumbani. Mm. On one of the days yenye dadi ameenda kawaida tu sisi sasa si tuko primary hapo home so tunamwona ng'a kila siku yep. si tumeenda shule tunarudi home jioni dada ko amerudishwa hospitali. So uh, ana ambia mamangu ukikuja kesho hospitali naweza taka ulete watoto. Mm. E, come with the kids walete tu na hiyo conversation yeye nilikwambia now when we went to see my dad that is when he uh, I found out even like ni mom my uh, big sister came with my mom like that was the first time nilikuwa na ski story we didn't know as we, we I didn't know that story this is and that's the reason I was telling you we never functioned like a blended family si tulikuwa ni tunajua ni mo is our big sister and that's it so on this particular day that's when we have that conversation when he's telling me take care of my of your siblings take care of your mother but by this time because of a time you know na in situation two yake in ndai ki deteriorate so he's lying on the bed and you can see mifupa unajua like ni kama mwili miisha ni kunezo na mifupa like his his jawline is so like ni kama iko project unajua vile unaweza ni unashindwa hii yeah so pole pole and especially after that conversation unaweza tell yeah hapa hapa kwendi vizuri sana and i remember very well because it was not, it was on saturday when we went to see him it was not a school day because mm. nakumbuka siku tuliamka tukaenda hosi tukamuona nini 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 so you've not even gone to eldoret no i am yet to go to eldoret hey, this mind thing is insane that is in eldoret so um <clears throat> Yo siku tunaenda tunamuona and we spoke and I remember even there's a him. Do you know the golden bells? Mhm. Mm. Ile ya PCA. Mimi ni wa PCA. Yo ndio tulikuwa tunatumia kuimba kitambo the golden bells ile ya green. Kuna him hapo and I can't remember that him. But it's a him that he loved. And I remember yo siku alituambia tumwimbie hiyo him. I can't remember. I'm sure if I called my mom she would remember. Mhm. Na tukaimba kaimba yo him na after hapo ikakuwa okay tuko sawa see you tomorrow it was on a sunday so alikuwa anajua tutaenda kumuona yo sunday but for some reason that sunday we didn't go but my mom went but as the kids we didn't go but on monday to kill the home from school ndo tukapata home kumeja watu hmm unashanga kwa nini kumeja watu all our relatives are there aunties and goes from both sides of the family nini 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 so ndo tukapata kumbe my dad passed away that sunday after my mom had left the hospital mm. your journey he passed away saturday you were with him yes he talked to you on sunday, sunday we were meant to go see him but we did not so my mom went but that was siku he passed away so on monday when we went back home from school that's when we found out i have a feeling my mom found out but she didn't she didn't want to tell us mm. na feeling ni kama she knew but she didn't want to tell us so tulienda tu shule kawaida tukirudi home june ndio tunapata watu mm. and that was on june 
16th, the year 2000. Mm. Yes. Okay. So he's gone. Uh, the Mazishi was. Uh, so, first and foremost, are you seeing also how 99 has sort of been blocked out of your mind? Yes, completely. Like, completely. 1999 for you is. is your mind has protected you. Yeah. Because you've talked about the bomb blast period, mm -hmm. you've talked about whatever, but this 1999 period, and I can imagine it's because your dad is, you're seeing him, your mind doesn't want you to remember him in that state. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this has been a tough one to go through. So I think all this, so then the good memories I had of Nairobi and the fridge and the cooker and the what, I think it's the few times we visited him. Mm. That is what I remember when things were good, not this other time. So... This the, begins a new chapter. A completely new chapter. Like, now these are... <laughs> I feel like now this is when life began for mom and her four children oh and remember do you know by this time my mom is so young the, by the time my dad was passing oh my god Richie. just realized how young she was do you know when my dad passed away my mom was my age she was 36 years old wow oh my god she was so young with four children okay, okay. oh my god Oh my God, because mm. I turned 36 in November. Richie had mentioned November 21st. Yes. Mm. So when my dad passed away, my mom was 36 years old with four children. The youngest being eight years old. Sorry. Was he even eight years old? Maybe seven. That has done mm. Because mm. my brother, the last born, my brother doesn't remember his dad. Mm. He really does not. Mm. And you can understand why. Yeah, because he was very young. Like mm. Hakumbukangi. Yezo. Wow. Hakumbukangi kabisa. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now, oh my God. Like now I understand why. Why I am my mother's child? Because mm. I feel like now this is. You remember when you asked me what, how I remember my mom mm. back in the day when we were young, and most of the stories I, I would tell were about my dad, mm. and the biscuits and everything. Mm. And what did I say about my mom? That you are her. You are. You are. She's. She, she was like I remember yes. her milking the cows, yes. going to the yes. shamba. Yes. Like just her being mom. Mm. So, Richie, this chapter we are about to get into. Now, here, ask me how I remember my mom. Because now I feel like now this is the story of my mother. Wow. wow. And her four children. Julie, do you know the reason why your dad passed away? So, I was like, what kind of a question is that? Tell you, on a stroke. So I was like, he had a stroke. I can remember there was the stroke, but there was something else. Oh my God. So, I can remember when you're old enough, maybe have that conversation with your mom. So, Richie, this chapter we are about to get into. Now, here, ask me how I remember my mom. Because now I feel like now this is the story of my mother. Wow. wow. And her four children. The last born at this particular time is seven years old. Jesh uh, is nine or ten. I am in class six, I'm 12. And my big sister is in class eight. She's 14, 14, 15. Mm. There's no adult there. 36 years old. A woman who has always been a housewife. 
this is the new chapter now this is when so here now sasa hapa tunaweza ongea sasa now you can ask how do you remember your mother okay <laughs> so um, we've buried so uh, yes. he's passed he's passed away on the 16th of june right the mazishi was that following week on friday mm. and sit satumzika and let me ask this question mm-hmm. your mom is living at the bottom of the hill yes in your dad's yes uh, uh, uh homestead yes. what was gawanyard for you yeah okay yeah sasa hapo ndo tunaishi so my so we bury him and that's it right mm. like my dad's chapter sinika tumefungia hapo mm but had to say fungi hapo sasa ndio tunaanza story sasa ndio tuna tuna like now we see dad in the new chapter so in, in his absence you but see. how you feel the impact of his exactly. absence exactly yes so tunaendelea na shule sasa na maisha 2006 right? 2000 june 2000 yes june mm. like tunaendelea tuna maisha sasa after hapo so we things go back to sort of normalish like we know now he's no longer here but of course you see him every morning cuz his grave is just up juu ya shamba unayonanga tu hapo asubuhi ukiamka and it's now mom and her four children cuz see everybody has a life mm. kwani watashinda hapo wakiomboleza na wewe so now people go back to their lives <laughs> that's why nabaki ni mama na a woman who has always been a what housewife a housewife and now has to fend for four children all under 18 for all under 15 yes that's it <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah like sasa upon your sasa life with mom begins so i remember uh, my dad had a bit of money in the bank right from what uh, from the stories i gathered later on was that my, my dad at that particular point he had about 2 million in the bank 2 mm. million that time was a lot I, that was a ridiculous amount of money you need pesa to survive nayo kama watoto wake na bibi yake for quite yep. a while comfortably right but not so long after my dad after tumemzika like no. it was barely a month after tumemzika baba yangu the no. in-laws came knocking ah no, no. yes richie the in-laws came knocking and the in-laws i'm talking about is of course on my dad's mm. side being led by my grandmother yes and my dad's um oldest sibling okay yes. what does this mean when you say they came knocking they came knocking they came to tell you get out yeah is it wamekuja wamekuja mali ya brother yao na ya mtoto wake so shosho is saying amekuja uh, mali ya mtoto wake na uh, the sibling anasema amekuja mali ya brother yake but now there was a reason behind it a reason that we only came to learn about like maybe in the last 10 years na ni mama yetu alitukalisha chini kutuambia uh-huh. and it's not because my mom volunteered that information it's because i happened to go back to that hospital that my dad used to go to go to mm-hmm. the jami hospital and i met with the doctor na tukakuwa na conversation i don't even remember tu nilikuwa nimeendea hospitali kufanya nini ndio tukue na hii conversation na yeye wacha nianzie hapo ndio turudi hapa mm, mm. kwa mama ndio turudi ujue now we understand the source of the kills but then you didn't then we didn't mm. Compl- like we did not know tukua tunashindwa ai what's going on like all of a sudden kwa nini mmekuja na hizi nini zote so I remember one time having a conversation with this doctor. This is years later. You said the last later. 10 years. No, actually no. The conversation with um so with my mom about 10 years ago. Okay. But the conversation with this doctor ah 
I had some period, uh, I had some cramps okay. during my period when I was in high school around form two. And uh, my mom took me to the same hospital, your Jami hospital. And I'm, uh, the doctor who was treating me is the same doctor used to treat your my dad. dad, right? So after we had uh, had the conversations, Nina can you pay dawa? Can you just no more, whatever, whatever. Uh, at the very end of the conversation, Kuna kituali niuliza, kani niuliza, Julie, do you know? Julie, and you yes, said Julie, yes. yes. Julie, do you know the reason why your dad passed away? So I was like, what kind of a question is that? Sali kwa na stroke. So I was like, he had a stroke. I can remember there was the stroke, but there was something else. Oh my God. So, I I can remember when you're old enough, maybe have that conversation with your mom. So this conversation with my mom happens about 10 years ago, right? 10 years ago, ni juzi to see it humble sana. So, Richie, the reason for all these kids was because kumbe my, my dad, had HIV and AIDS. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the reason why he could not recover from the stroke. You know, even when you talked about the stroke, my grandfather got a stroke. Yeah. What you're talking about happening to his body and things, I'm like, with stroke, that does, does that happen? Sound like a stroke. Yeah, like that, like. Because actually, the treatment for a stroke is physio. Yes, I'm like, why is his bones and things showing? But I was just like, okay, maybe me surgery. Yeah. So, Kumbe, in addition to the stroke, he had AIDS. HIV and AIDS. Mm. And so, the one month after we had buried my dad, the reason for the kills is because my relatives on my dad's side said the reason my dad got HIV and AIDS was because of my mother. So, walikuja kutoa in their words and quotes. I don't know if they're allowed to say this. No. Walikuja kutoa malaya. Kwa nyumba ya? Ya mtoto wao, the shushu, na kwa nyumba ya brother yao. Oh my God. Yeah. But you see now, these, thing, these are things we are learning. Yes. Juzi too. Because we could not understand the change of heart. Like shushu, shushu. Me, I loved my shushu. Like my during my childhood days, mm. me, my shushu was my. Be- I loved my shushu. I used to look forward to going for sleepovers at my shushus. And remember, we live in the same okay, homestead. Okay, okay, so kwa shushu si yeti nenda mbali ni kwa tunati mbaya. Like that is that used to be my favorite place. So how are you telling me that now my shushu ni yeye na kujia kuturu shanje? Na nakuja kuchukua sofa sets, gas, mtung, like mtungia gas, kuka. Like, they literally came for everything in that house. When you were there? Eh. And I your remember to go class? Six. Twelve year old, fifteen year old, ten year old, and a seven year old. So the kills that started after my dad had been buried. Kumbi likuwa niju walisema, my mom di alipatia, dad nini? HIV. HIV. So, wakakuja kufanya nini? Kufukuza uyu malaya. Actually, walikuwa na muita malaya. Wakukuja kufukuza malaya kutoka kwa boma ya? Ya baba. Ya watoto wa. Kwa sasa wanasema, this entire time my dad was in in was away working in Nairobi or he was out of the country my mom was doing what sleeping around yes kai 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 so just to <laughs> just to uh, is it clarify that information my mom hakuwa na aids so it's clear yes like my mom ajai kwa either way sasa hizi miaka zote ameishi tangu the mm. husband passed away my mom does not have hiv and aids she never had hiv and aids so this man so it is clear was relevant when you in nairobi nairobi <laughs> yes. nairobi likuja na vitu za zake nairobi likuwa na vitu zake so richi the chaos begin don't tell me you become homeless the now the chaos begin and we are thrown out of the, our house 
and uh, they actually came one morning na wakatutupa sisi wote and imagine and well itakuja ku explain later why and from that interview it's good you didn't watch your interview Lynn mm. Lynn Gugi cuz now it explains cuz we with Lynn we didn't go this deep it explains why i said whatever i said in that interview so uh, please go and watch the interview after this <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so um we are thrown out of the house actually one morning when akuja we are thrown out of the house na mimi sikuwa naamini nikiona shosho yangu like ni yeye ana tutoa kwa nyumba shosho yangu my bff my bestie the person i used to love so much you're 12 Yes, siko na mimi huyo ndio mtu anakuja kuturusha nje. So we are thrown out of the house, but my mom side of the family ilikuwa na yeye, like ili si mama oh, na yeye. Good. So we went back to my grandparents house. So they took that house that your dad had built. They took it. Na walienda kila actually waliingia wakaanza kujiga kila mtu. Wao anasema sofa set ni yangu. Yeye anasema mtungia gas ni yangu. Yeye anasema vikombe na nini pale kwa ile unajua sisi wote tulikuwa ngana. Yeah. What is it called the cup the cupboard for? Yes. The vikombe na sahani za wageni. Kuna mmoja anajiga wewe hiyo. Hivyo. So tunarushwa nje ya nyumba na we end up going to back to my grandparents house my grandparents like my mom and my like uh, mother to my mom yes your mom's me. side of the family exactly my mom's side of the family na tunarudi huko but hatukuka huko for long we were there maybe for for like a week cuz now this is something that none of them knew at a since when you had okay we were kids so probably we would not know this mm. but do you know at some point when my dad got sick and i don't know cuz hiyo ni hiyo this story tunakamkujua like at the end of the no mm. so during this time my i don't know if it's during um, the time when my dad was sick or it was maybe slightly before my dad got sick they had actually done a civil wedding mm. so my mom actually had a Papers, marriage certificate. certificate showing that she is married to my father and she's the right owner of everything in yep. mali yote yenye babangu alikuwa naye do you know tume tulirudishwa home na court like court in your like ilikuwa a whole story court ndio iliturudisha home and i remember we were into the into the compound yes where we are not wanted richi i remember very clearly hiyo siku sijawaisa hiyo siku the specific day that tunatoka tunatoka eh, kwa shosho sasa tunarudi kwa nyumba yetu tulikuwa mpaka na makarao like we had two cops and somebody from the court wao wametuleta kwa kikisha tumerudi kwa nyumba yetu na kuna mtu ametusumbua walirudisha vitu nothing sasa acha nikwambie that day it was drama upon drama richi because you know what happened so we got remember we all Fungu, yes fungua nyumba tulianza na nyumba ya shosho wanafungua nyumba mama anaingia aliambua chukua kila kitu yenye ni yako na wao ndio wanaambua wazibebe na makarao wao wao waambia vile uliibeba kutoka kwa hiyo nyumba unabeba hivyo hivyo uirudishe so imagine that is what happened like my mom tulienda alipelekwa na makarao to each and every na huyu mse wa koti like to each and every house akiambo anything that is yours zenye walikuwa wamechukua una wana wanabeba actually si mama na beba wanaambua hivyo hivyo vile mlizitoa kwa ile nyumba yake hivyo hivyo ndio mnazirudisha but you can you imagine hiyo ni maisha gani anaenda kuisha do you know i can't even imagine at night how did you sleep So imagine for about 2 to 3 days we had cops every night. Kaiko. Walikuwa anakuja kutukalisha every night because the fear the fear of living in that house was just ilikuwa too ridiculous. Do you know we used to sleep eh, all of us we used to sleep in my mom's bedroom like on my mom's bed. Sisi wote watoto wote wanne mm. na mom tulikuwa tunalala kwa bedroom moja. Mom hanged for them the thought of CC kids sleeping in our bedrooms. And you remember I said it was a massive five yes. bedroom house. Mm. Like it was a massive house. Like every child had a bedroom. 
because ilikuwa bedrooms za uh, ya dad na mom na bedroom zingine nne sisi wote tulikuwa kila mtu alikuwa na bedroom yake this is like sleeping in war yes at any moment something can happen yes how are you even going to school where are you even playing can you even play with your friends can you even go to the neighbors can now, you like that's, now that's the most beautiful thing watoto wajui no uh, for some reason mom so my mom has always been a very like a good person mm. you know those people who are genuinely roho like, safi too roho safi good people and she was known for helping anyone who came to her with a problem mm. so ni ba leo amekosa unga ya kupikia Kujia. nini anajukinda kwa mama juli utapata saba ya watoto wako so my mom had built a very good community around her away from the relatives mm. she had built her own community ya neighbors na kila mtu okay. so even when all these things were happening the community walikuwa wamemshikilia ah okay so even when the cops went away cuz when makara wataku mm. nini hapo the guys who were protecting us were our neighbors i understand why you say where is Nairobi na ujui ni bazi yako exactly I so they actually formed a proper nyumba kumi. Hiyo time atakuwa na nyumba kumi. So there was a proper nyumba kumi and this nyumba kumi was to safeguard this family. Cuz now who our worst enemies ni kina nani? Our relatives. Wenye mmoja anaishi hapo mmoja pale mmoja pale. So ilikuwa ni my neighbor but they actually they formed a group na wakahakikisha mama kuna namba ya each Uh, neighbor. Me, eh, each neighbor and especially now the men like the uh, each man of all mm, the houses up oh mm, mama alikuwa na namba zao but you see cuz she had built remember my mama's amishusha go all her life like there was only that kidogo stands where she was in Nairobi to yes, take care of the uh, sick man uh, uh, uh. but i tell if amishusha go so she has like it, she had formed a very good bond with the neighbors So he, when she needed them they really came through. Did those guys ever try anything? Oh, what she? Oh, Una kwa story tu ndio inaanza. Ah, mimi sina haro wiki tu. Richie ndio story inaanza. So But you see remember there's no income, there's no money. Oh, Richie didn't tell you. The 2 million in the bank. Ah, oh, don't go there, please. Yes. The in-laws when they came to do what they were doing they actually managed to get the money from the bank. So, he, when she needed them, they really came through. Did those guys ever try anything? Oh, what is it? Una kwa ni story tu ndio inaanza. Ah, mimi sina haro wiki tu. Richie ndio story inaanza. So, mm, we are back home. Even with uh, the insecurity and the fear and everything else, we managed to go back to school. Bado Kiferigwe Primary School sisi wote, yeah. right? But remember, Judini is a bright girl. Yes. Is a bright girl. Right? So, nini yake na yeah, yeah, I'm already sure na nina nini. And you can imagine if in those other schools I was top 10. Hapo nitakuwa number 1. Ah, chapter. Hapo niko number 1, number 2, number 3. Like singe kosa top 3. Na hiyo English yako. Na hiyo English yangu. Yenye naringa nayo yenye sikiki kuyu mnaniambia nini. Yeah, so Judy is a bright girl. Eh, so but tunaendelea third term shule si sarkasi yote sasa ni ya second term. Third term tunaendelea vizuri but remember. Bungo goja hata kabla tuingie hii whatever. What now is this doing to you? You know Judy, I'm hearing your mom. Mm. Your mom, your mom, your mom. And I understand your mind maybe yeah. even has blocked these things yeah. off. But this is your show show. Mm. This are your uncles and aunties. Your dad has just gone. Yeah. What is this doing? So what that is doing to me? I know I mentioned it to Kombele, mm. but is it Nikon? Oh. This is what is happening at that So it, time. this thing didn't just stop at because you're of your dad. No. Now it's even continuing with new new things. Exactly. So actually so it turns out Richie E E shida yote ilianza after my dad got sick. 
Oh yes, yes. So that is where now all like my biting my knuckles. Nini zangu zilianza hapo. Do you still do, have you stopped biting your knuckles? No. You haven't, eh? Mm. It's me habit. It's a it's a habit now. But tutafika hapo I tell. You. Okay. Hey, okay. So, uh so tuko tuko Judy's a bright girl. Yes. So, fanta mina kuja bado tunaendelea kusoma. But now the good thing about my so there are two sides of the story of my dad. So there's my dad's side. Remember I said we had two, two shows. There are two shows, yes. So kuna shosho uyu the immediate the, the first wife, mm-hmm. the main wife and her children when you want to yeah. traumatize, ah. right? But there's that other shosho with the her siblings. But as I that shosho ako side yetu mbaya like I... yeye ako hapa anatushikilia mm. like the kids everybody is now on our side so at least we have that side we have my mom's side and then we have ne- the neighbors right so they keep checking on my mom that side of the dad the side shushu, of the family yes. the second yes, wife yes. the good shoshu So the good show show and uh, check up on us the kids nini wote wako hapo wako invested cuz now they were our cousins but they were older much much mm. older than us right so the housewife sasa imebaki endelea na maisha third time comes bado tunasoma 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 so the good show show right had a daughter mm. and the daughter now head the cousins yes. one of the cousins your cousin flo uh-huh you probably mention going to story cousin flo exists this is flo exists and exists yes. eldoret to lienda <laughs> so uh, actually hiyo ni mama amenikumbusha so come end of uh, the year now classics end of the year uh, third term uh, cousin flo anasema eh hey, cuz sasa wanajua I'm a bright I'm, I'm a bright student wanataka kuona kama kuna vile wanaweza kusaidia mm. eh so there was that conversation of tuchukue Julie tukaene Eldoret cuz walikuwa naishi Eldoret mm. na tumfundishe na kila kitu ndio mama aweze kufocus na the other three children mm. at least akuwe na one one burden less exactly, burden exactly yes. yes so Mom actually mom mom I am it was not an easy conversation cuz an actually am mtoto wake aje aende but you see remember there's no income there's no money oh Richard didn't tell you the 2 million in the bank ah oh, don't go there please yes the in-laws when they came to do what they were doing they actually managed to get the money from the bank but this later it came to like it was a proper court case because mm. walikuwa naulizwa wa, our extended family walikuwa na walipataji walipata Aha, access a jeze pa, pesa ni hiyo pesa inafaa kwa ni ya bibi mm. anyway so it turns out it time you tell dad and yeah, there was a lot of shenanigans going on your time it time dad ni mgonjwa So uh, apparently kuna time shosho angekuja mchukue ama the brother ama the sister angekuja mchukue Same. ati wanaenda kumbe during one of those days awalienda kwa bank na akasign over your ah. account to shosho and the older sibling huyo now the sister to my dad so when when after he died they just went and withdrew exactly they went and withdrew all the money so now so my mom now a housewife is starting from scratch And you know the first job my mom gets huh. kufagia soko what kufagia soko ya kanjo cuz she's a housewife yes she has not worked no papers, a day in her yes. life no papers so ananzia wapi si ni vibarua atafute vibarua so the first job my mom got and actually it's the job that sustained us over quite some years it's just that because she was so good alienda kipanda to the first kidogo kidogo mm. right so the first job my mom gets ni ya kufagia soko so hiyo ndio mama namkas we alienda nafagia soko anapata 200 she used to get 200 per day from kanjo na it was good jua alikuwa anamlipa per day mm. so hiyo ndio angeenda kuja na nyuma ya hindi na mbosho tupike gideri ama nunue unga na na sukuma tukule like that is how now we started surviving mm. Eh uh, Antiflo. 
eh kazi kazi mfuo ana ana kazi mfuo okay. ashaanza conversation mm. but mom is a bit and i can understand she's, she she wants to protect her children exactly she she knows she needs the help she desperately needs the help but hauni vile ni mtoto wake as in ana mtoto wake anaenda ana let go aji najua anahitaji usaidi dizzy but sidhani nataka kumwachilia so apparently the conversation starts in uh, december but mom is a bit hesitant So anasemwa changangane aone mali itafika. Cuz you see ki free good primary the school fees is nothing. Mm, mm. So anaweza tu ushikanisha hapa na pale atafute pesa za kulipa school fees. So now we are in the year 2002. Mm. No. Right? 2001. 2001 yes. In class 7. So yes, 2001 class 7. Hapo uko correct. Yes, 2001. <laughs> now sasa ni correct. 2001 class 7. Uh first time my mom bado anafagia soko nini nini and now the Like if you were to ask me some of the good memories I have during that time because they are not many mm. I would say lunch time So Kiferi Good Primary School you carry food from home mm-hmm. right but my mom for some reason vile tu alikuwa anangangana na viatu tukue na viatu hata kama issue leo watu wanaendanga bila viatu vile tu alikuwa anangangana kuhakikisha tuko na viatu hivyo ndio alikuwa anahakikisha anangangana kuhakikisha we have some hot lunch My mom alikuwa anakata tubebe chakula baridi na kule mm. lunch. Ha hiyo kitu ipo inamfurahisha. So some of the best memories I have is of mom coming bringing us lunch. Eh almost every day. There are few days tulikuwa tunabeba but most of the days alikuwa na tuletea. Na sasa lunch yetu ilikuwa nini? Chai na mkate. Let me tell you really if you think about it now unaweza una guy chai na mkate na ndio mlikuwa mnakula lunch back, back in the day yep. when everybody else is eating cold githeri sisi tunakula mkate na chai so it was sort of a like a treat treat mm. like a proper treat from mom so some of some some those are some of the good memories i have because if it was lunch na tatakuwa tumebeba my mom would make tea and mkate na alikuwa anileta kwa office ya deputy uh, headmaster afiki fika lunch time tunaenda tunachukua tunakula alafu tutarudisha tutaenda home na the utensils after but even imagine knowing that your mom comes to see you every day yes you get subliminally yeah na hatuko tunamuona kwa ngekuja tu drop ya ende but knowing that alikuja kutuletea yeah. hot lunch that was something so first term but it class 7 to go kiferigo primary school but now my cousin flo but when i insist and i call mom and my my mom now can feel the pressure because what to one is mchezo alafu the pressure inazidi akijua huyu issue le hamsaidi issue ina mrudisha nyuma and i can't i can't i can't do much for her exactly there is nothing she can do for mm. me so what happens is that she finally agrees so anakubali okay ni sawa anaweza enda but sasa anakubali class 7 term 2 so that is when i go to eldoret okay okay okay, okay let's take a break here <laughs> we are going to hear the real version of the eldoret story yes. yeah ngine ilikuwa tu remix yes <laughs> yes so, so now class 7 mm. uh, second term second term i mean 2001 is when you pack your bags and go and live with cousin flo yes. in eldoret yes okay we'll be back in a bit never really know people until you take the time to get to know people let me tell you judy sikujui yeah. <laughs> i i you, you, i thought i did mm-hmm. and not to say that i didn't know our version of you but it's amazing when i hear the foundation of where it is that you've come from yeah kuna swali aizo hapa aliuliza yes aizo is one of the amazing guys who's capturing Uh, is one of the camera guys mm. uh, if you need services from him info there wama is also there if you need services uh, info check mm. check the description wapati uh, wase kazi very important i also asked a very interesting question cuz that yako ndani story eh mbaya uliza nini yako 
Posho ni lende. Kwa nini mama anafagia soko? That was the question from my zoo. What happened to the posho? Kwa sababu kuna kaposho Yes. Okay. And then after that now we are in Eldoret. Yes. So, do you remember when I said uh so before mom gets sick. After the posho mill building. Building. Yes. Yes, actually ni building. So, before mom gets uh before dad gets sick. Right? Ndio ameeka posho mill. So kuna kabiashara huko ushago. So mama nakamwa ngombe zake asubuhi anafanya fanya nini alafu ako na kabiashara anaweza kuenda kuangalia huko kwa posho mill, right? But then dad gets sick. And what happens? So to be moved to Nairobi because mom needs to take care of that. Eh of dad. Yes. Ile biashara ameachia nani ya run? Don't say siblings. Who's running the biashara? Don't say brother or dad. Brother or dad. Usiseme hivyo. Ni hivyo. And it's the brother who actually came to pick us from school. Yes. So what happens cuz we are in Nairobi for how long? for quite for over half a year mm. to go to Nairobi. By the time let me tell you by the time you're coming back home the posho mill and any other biashara including the butchery uko nyuma is non-existent. Ay ay ay. The in laws were kwa maimali wa maimaliza. And this is the thing we found out cuz now it got to a point you remember now when I say dad is uh, buried mm. the chaos begin. So part of those chaos wa now the uh of that building yeah the ownership of the, the building the ownership of the building so because of like my mom was going through so much so kuna vitu alitupia mkono unajua zile za kesema kama mnaitaka chukue chukueni so that is one of the things my mom released cuz it was in my dad's name but for some reason i think the mchezo they played with the bank is the same mchezo they played with But for that one I remember very vividly my mom just let go. Like she was not willing to fight for Izo. But they were actually for any property my ma- my dad had. Juzi is Juzi is maybe 5 6 years ago tunapigiwa kuambia mom dad alikuwa na shamba Eldoret. Kai tunakoliwa kuulizwa kama tufanye nini na ikiyo shamba ifanye. Do you know my mom aliwambia si sema ifanyeni kile mnataka my mom called us oh her kids akasema kuna shamba ya babeni called Dorit mnaona nje but trauma richi trauma by the it was any mshaijibu in unison ay 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 sisi wote ni chi we were like we do not want it na hatuji hata nini ni happen ya shamba ile Dorit so it was the same situation with uh, the posho mill so when i say my mom is starting from scratch na kazi yake ya kwanza sasa ni kufagia soko it's because it happened exactly like that she had absolutely nothing to her name nothing the only thing akonayo sasa for sure the four children goti mesema ni the four children and, that house. and the house is your mom still in that house till today no the story is Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then here here is what here is what has hit me even so had mm. you're 36 mm. it is like you today Imagine. with all you've built with abel Imagine. all you've built all your savings whatever mm. add three more kids mm. una unaanza from everything you start from scratch from scratch your mom is yeah. okay sa tuendelee mm. kutoka eldoret yeah so Nimeo second term class 7 nimeenda Eldoret. So I join Eldoret Union School. A very good school. My cousin Flo and the husband were the best of the hosts like even until today. Mm. They in it is very good. Like we have a very good uh, relationship with cousin Flo and the husband. So life there is good. Eh wana nipeleka shule, shule iko poa. Sasa so tume, tumerudi. Sasa si ndio nakuja hapo. Okay. Sasa tumerudi kwa socks <laughs> na shati na kadres na viatu mm. yani like tumerudi sasa tunavaa vile tunafaa kuvaa yeah but now something happens richi na nilikuwa nimesema ile yeah, before story ya ku vomit so um of course I'm, i was also a bit hesitant i didn't mind that na pele kwa shule mzuri na nini na nini but of course deep down the baby were brought up 
especially our generation you don't complain you don't ask questions vile tumelelewa sisi tulilelewa or rather mimi vile nimelelewa i think maybe ni kukua from shago na nini mzazi wako akisema kitu unafanya hivyo who complain na ulize maswali na nini na nini so deep down i think the fact that I was leaving my mom and my siblings to go to somewhat a better life i think ilikuwa inanisumbua guilt yes. exactly but you see my young mind is not able to process mm. that that is what that thing is so the way um and you know the drama exactly that yes so at any time yote tunaenda the thing in my head which i didn't know was in my head at the time ni security yao mm. so nashindwa sasa nimeenda nimewaacha wata survivorji mama ta survivorji wanaendelea aje security ya mahali wa unajua oh, and your dad had told you take yes, care yes take care of you but you see these things it's after many years that now it start making sense and here now having this conversation with him ndio naanza kufungua some of these memories so um i get to elderet and something weird starts happening the vomit so i can't eat anything in the morning like you between at cuz we used to wake up at um 5:30 so i'm ready by 6 i have i'm supposed to have breakfast mm. leave by 6:30 to catch a matatu cuz from my auntie's place to the school i had to catch one matatu mm. and yetanifikisha shule na uh, another matatu back home mm. nilikuwa natapika like nilikuwa nakula asubuhi natapika serious So kafika mali by the singeza kukula asubuhi and that was something very weird cuz just a few months back nikiwa kifirigwe <laughs> primary school ma breakfast ya mamangu ningekula vizuri sana kwa ni ngwashe tunakula asubuhi ama nikamkate lakini ningekula asubuhi sana same same time so it's weird that nimekujuku and i'm not my body is not able to process breakfast in the morning nikikula tu breakfast na kuwa mgonjwa so nikaanza ngakubeba breakfast na kula saa tano so kumbe my because uh, my brain is not able to process these things i'm not also able to express my mm. feelings verbally sisi ongea ni seme mwili yangu ndio ilikuwa inaniongelelea but you see nobody nobody was equipped to understand that yeah. not my cousin so not the husband nobody was equipped to understand mm. this is a troubled child huyu mm. mtoto wako na mentally she is a troubled child but my cousin flo in my uh, my cousin like baba viki that was what we used to call him were really good to me like they were the best of hosts mm. like i really can't i would if i i can't complain about anything the entire time i spent with him with them because they had two children i mean somebody had viki and ernest at that particular time they were young they were mm. still very young kids but they treated me like i was a part of the family like i was actually one of their kids yeah you know what's mind blowing about this story mm-hmm. i have never had a cta where we have spoken from like 10 what's the time now am i around 2 <laughs> to something and we are still in primary what <laughs> <laughs> to jamika high school what? i'm saying that because mm. I'm trying to I'm trying to be like hold on in this whole time yeah. I've not had you mention mm. my good friend Jackie who to likuwa nayo my good friend whatever mm. like you've not at all mentioned yeah. somebody else out of here mm. one is because vile mm. unapelekwa uh, different schools yeah. two it's because of the madness that is happening in your life mm. you get yeah And then three I'm like okay also people form a lot of these b- good relationships mm. in 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 high school is yeah. now maybe where people start remembering names of other people mm. but I'm like I, I I I'm not even interested to know how um, school was for you because mm. of and just to know that you are going to school alone is like whew. yeah so class 7 yes you continue yes Newtown and... Eldoret Kabisa Maliza mm. then now you go to class 8 yes So I'm still in the same school, right? And uh closet is good. Uh, nothing much is 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 different uh, in that year. The only thing is of course uh, back home si ezijua sijui bila wanaendelea. The only person I can rely on for any information uh, about my mom and my siblings is my auntie. 
is my cousin Flo or yeah, yeah, yeah. the husband whenever they get to speak to them right so mimi naendelea tuna maisha kama kawaida and i actually do very well ne classic nika perform vizuri sana and believe it or not <laughs> actually no before i get there so do you remember that story i told you about my auntie and me shouting at her nime uh, alert matatu yes yes i'm shouting at my auntie but hani recognize yes imagine that is when i went back home after kcp wow yes cuz this entire time you have been away yes i have been away you left you didn't come exactly. back exactly i never used to go back home cuz it was a it was a journey mm. you can remember nikisema nairobi to karatina to nairobi like na feel oh my yeah. god so you can now imagine from eldoret karat as in kiferegwe yes all the way to eldoret mm. that was a, a whole day journey mm. so i never used i actually i honestly richi if i ever went back home i can't remember me don't remember yeah. ever going back home what i remember is that day that i alight from this matatu i've done my kcp i'm back home with my mom and my siblings and i alight the first person i see is my auntie and now this me shouting at her and she's looking at me and wondering we must stand and nani anadita hivi na nguvu and i assume because you know it's ni kwa barabara it's yes. a busy road the other mm. people she assumes maybe ni auntie mwingine anaitwa ndio sasa anaona haya julie because i go back home and ai tunyama tumeongezeka wanasema <laughs> kamwili kameongezeka <laughs> mm cuz uh, cousin flo really they really took care of me so i'm now back home sasa tungoje nini results uh, i'm happy to be back home with mom and my siblings that will get results for that? context of time this is 2002 yes okay 2002 so the results are out since it was not talk this january you tell me to suppose mm. not talk yeah. like i think uh, january yes. see december yeah. zilianza kutoka december not so After, long ago yes, yes. yeah so it was not talk january because you know kuna christmas then jan unajua we So the results are out uh, KCP and I have performed very well. Uh, I had 398 out of 500. What? I was actually the first class ya kufanya 500. See oh, the classes yes, before yes, yes. it was uh, at 700. Uh, so it was the first class ya 500. HOP? Yeah. <laughs> I had 398 out of I was like but do I say Yeah, like, I was I like it on it. Yes, oh, 39 I missed 400. By um, five marks eh? by two marks two marks two points all all yes it. so of course mom was so happy everybody was so happy unajua nilitwa shule gani please tell me alliance no my girls ah, okay. Ka- my my girls eldoret no my girls see sasa i was in oh, eldoret yes, yes, okay. you know the way you do the application mm. is let's make when you from so it was one of the schools i had applied for no 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 time ni national it was a national it is still a mm. national school if i'm not wrong Yeah but imagine my mom akasema hataki nirudi hiyo pande tena. Cuz alikuwa na feel ame ame miss. Mtoto wake amerudi nyumbani. Mm. Wacha tu abaki huko. So uh, my mom had to go and uh, look for now another school. Juu sasa yenye nimeitwa siezi enda huko. Na mm. shule zote zilikuwa za Rift Valley. Yes. So lazima sasa nitafutie shule yenye naweza enda Central. So my mom goes to different schools I even at some point because she had even considered Nairobi. I remember there was a conversation about Pangani girls because I was qualified to go to Pangani girls. Mm. But pia hiyo akasema, "Hey, Nairobi asha." Ni ngodoka. So there was that then the next school as I was actually accepted into was Bishop Gatimo. Mm. Gandu. That's a very mm. good school. It is. But there was a catch. I had to wait for two weeks. Ndio, whoever doesn't report they take their slot uh, slot but my mom was like hey that is risking it what happens if everybody reports na mm. tuko shule two weeks wewe na uko nyumbani ukifanya nini and that's how she ended up in Giriambu girls high school mm. and uko ni wakanichukua swish eh because you see that was a provincial school mm. but my marks were qualifying me to go into a national, national school so there they were like Bring her. Her. bring her yes and that is how i ended up in giriambo girls for four years wow <laughs> and 
and that's how she ended up in Giriambu Girls High School. Mm. And uko ni wakanichukua swish. <laughs> eh, cuz you see that was a provincial school. Mm. But my marks were qualifying me to go into a national, national school. So there they were like bring her. Bring her. Yes. <laughs> and that is how I ended up in Giriambu Girls for four years. Ah, finally. <laughs> for four years somewhere. <laughs> I never changed schools. I was in the same high school for a good four years. Okay, let's yeah. enter high school. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, you start 2000 and what year? 2003, right? Yes, 2003. 2003. 2003. Four, five, six. Yes, yes 2003. That's a time to Kosawa. To Kosawa, right? Remember if I check in to Yes. So, 2003, and it's so weird, Richie. What did I tell you? I told you after class eight, my memory will come back. Because mm. here now, I remember things. So you get to your brain a trauma. Yes, it was just for that season. Right, it was just for that season. But it was so foundational, huh? Yes. It okay. was. Yeah. So I mean for one uh now I have even more reasons to work twice as hard. And were you conscious about this? Were oh, you entering I was, being like Oh, I was. I was because now you remember Eh mom hiyo nilimwacha akifagia soko mm. and by this time bado anafagianga soko mm. but you remember kungekuwa na um, time ya elections kulikuwa na what they would they would, uh, as in they would like hire people yes. to come and uh, do like do the small small is was a what are they called there's a name police station returning things. officers oh yes 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 yeah, uh, they are called returning uh, officers uh, uh. yeah i remember mom used to get that job but when the elections ni after how long Yeah. So my mom like the way we survived was by mom getting some very odd jobs here and there. I remember at the her longest serving job was Zio Yasoko. But sasa from kufagia alikuja kidogo kidogo akaanza kukwa yeye ndio supervisor. Wa wa fagiaji. So she's the one now. Oh, and you see even pole pole yeah. kwa mshahara kanaongezeka. And then at some point tukafungwa kabiashara akafungwa kabiashara kakuza kerosene mm-hmm. but that was the most that was the yani kuna siku tulikuwa tunaongea story na mamangu tukisema guy yani i can't imagine i put my kids through that so richi ibiashara ya kuza kerosene mm. iko ndani ya ama um aka mbao house mm. and the way the kerosene is being stored is in tanks mhm na jozile tanks za chuma yes like zile yeah, za nini I even, I even so ni mtu wa lori anakuja the way they nini wana empty wana emwekea like tanks tatu hizo kubwa za mafuta and then vile ka shop kako kako na dirisha so hmm. mtu akikuja kununua mafuta ni ananipatia chupa yake na mchotea mafuta so sisi tulikuwa tunanuka mafuta ya ta 24/7 so ana namchotea mafuta alafu unampimia una siku na ile eh, nini ya measuring cup ya 1 liter mm. so you would pima with that kana nataka half a liter mm. that's how we used to send um kerosene but Richie, can you imagine how dangerous I know, I know. that business was like if anything right. yes like kitu kadogo tu hivi ai jua kidogo tu yani inali <laughs> inalipuka mbaya. So unaweza kutukua tunaongea na mama akisema yani si easy I was putting my kids through that. Cuz you be a shara but at the same time but at the time what she just do what you got to do. All she she needed to feed her children. That is all she cared about. You know yani um let me tell you your mom is a hero. Mm. You know when you hear about people who I will cross the ocean for, for you. you that's her. <laughs> Kabisa. This is real talk. Yeah. Yeah. This is love. Yeah. Are you and your mom tight now? <laughs> Do you know Richie, my one prayer to God is to keep me long enough. Long enough to see my mom live the life she deserves. That is the only thing I need. Na macho zinataka kutoka sasa hizi. Like that is one my one prayer in this life is to keep me on this earth long enough to fulfill the desires of my mom's heart. Mm. Like kum fanya aishile maisha ana deserve. Mm. Cuz in her later years now she she deserves to live a life 
full of peace, mm. full of happiness, full of joy, full of money and the soft life. Yes. She deserves it 100%. So mombi yangu tu kwa Mungu inakuanga please. God give me the tools I need kwa kisha huyu mama by the time she's going to her grave her soul is at peace and is happy nikachibio richi mimi niko sawa people talk about legacies what legacy me that is what i want that is the only thing that if i fulfill then i know for sure i have done my part okay yeah oh my let me show you what we do i love cta <laughs> so this is what i'm going to do is it machozi ntazikaza hadi tatoka Let me tell you one of the things that God has done with this city mm. with this new platform is he gives me convictions so Judy mm-hmm. what is an mpesa number that i can send send you to just start a soft life for your mother Oh no, 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 it's no no. What? what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, but oh so you want God. your mom to live soft life. Me I have a few coins on my phone. See mom. But I have an amazing community. So, this is from me and my wife to begin. This is for your mom. This is what I say this is for your mom. What I'm sending is for you to spoil your mom with whatever it is that I have. Sir So please give me a number 07 Na si number ya CTA na si number ya Adam Tour I want these chums to come directly to you Please give her some something So Yeah I want these chums to come not just from me You have done a lot for so many people. People don't even understand. So let's start today. Oh my god. I keep saying haba na haba ujaza kibaba. So me I just do what I can and anybody who's watching will join me in doing it. Soft life. Soft life yet. Yes. Yeah. Sit na ribu makeup pretty. Nisa Then no makeup. <laughs> Give me a number. And I don't want it connected. I want it I, I want it Oh, hold on. But that that's not a pay bill. No, there's 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 I, I don't want it to mix with with Abel's chum. So don't give me something. Can I give you a number? Or yes. I can give you a number. I, um, Do you have a number that can, I can give? Because I'm, I'm I don't know if I can give out her number. Or maybe her number would not be for the sake of yes. her privacy. Yeah, for, 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 especially it. for her privacy, I don't want. Yeah. So I want it to come to you. Mm-hmm. From you, we know it will go to whatever it goes to. Okay, so there's a number then I can give. The okay. number is under my name. Aha, wonderful. Yeah. So I uh, will it will it get confused with no, 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 Mkuru's no, no, no. number mm-hmm. chums. Mm-hmm. Mkuru is yako. In fact, the way Mkuru, to us in usai. To na to na the soft life. To us in usai. 07 07989869596597927 itasema jira natacha wa kuona kama nime send i'll show you oh, oh yes it it says judy murethi j u d y m u r e i t h i judy murethi can i just start my just i just put a g oh my the beginning God. of soft life but oh. i will say the number again The number is actually on the screen. Wait, oh I'll show my you. god, Richie. See that oh my god, you, you, you can't things can be done now. Okay, Richie, I saw, I saw the power doing. I've seen the power of a community. So Richie. the number is and the good thing about it even if you are abroad ni hiyo hiyo tu utakuta tu mia na sendo. You get. Just tell me the number again. 0798. That means I give again. <laughs> the number is 07 So, the number is on the screen, the number is in the description. Yani you can't be sharing a story like this and we are just here chilling, nothing. 
my so, god Richie. so there's a two g's that has come from us guys oh thank you oh, in fact it tell me your transaction failed it says that when you send the same number to, when you send the same amount twice safaricom mm. gets confused so this time i put down there's like a hundred you have to withdraw Mm. Okay. Richard, do you know what you're doing? Well, to soft life, soft life doesn't mean if I knew. I feel like I need to say this. Do you know as of this moment, mm. right now? Mahali mam anaishi saizi. But no, I feel you need to continue with the story for people to understand. Hakuna shida. Let's continue the story. Mahali tuko saizi na what is happening in my mom's life and i feel like what you did just now is the reason why i'm sitting on this chair mm. i didn't come here for me i didn't come here to talk about me to share my story i came here for my mom richi i came here for my mom mm. okay i just said that to keep you come on <laughs> okay Let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let me tell you I've done many CTAs. Many over 70. But this one today it's it's different. Ye without a doubt it's different. But before I go on mm. we are helping your mom with soft life. <laughs> Number <laughs> 0798 This is me sending. And mm. one of the things that I like telling guys mm. first and foremost this is not planned. Yeah, it wasn't. I'm just I'm being honest. This is not planned. Mm. We didn't say oh, we are going to do we Missy could do I did know nothing of this thing. I'm mm. finding out. But one thing that I'm very cognizant about in this I, I operate on conviction. Mm. If I get convicted in something I'm not going to let that conviction pass yeah. me. Number two, I'm not going to ask anybody to do something I'm not doing. Mm. That's one thing I've said with CTA. Yeah. If I'm if if I'm asking people to do, I'm leading, I'm in front. Mm. You get? Yeah. So Judy just randomly said she one of you said in this you said something so powerful. Mm. In this life I I'm asking God, please mm. let me live long enough to see my mom live the kind of life she deserves. Yeah. Mm. I have no idea what that means. Mm. I have no idea what that is, but I know you do. Mm. So because I know you do, me I'm going to help you with the little coins that I have mm. to to enable your dream to be done. Yeah. You get I can pray for you, but I can also just action for you. Yeah. And the thing that I like telling guys, there's no amount that is too little. Mm. If 1 million people give 1 million shilling, yeah. one shilling, mm. that's a million shillings. If 1 million people give 10 shillings you you and I so yeah. what the impact of people small giving or big giving yes. during covid yeah Kroba has seen mm. the impact of that thing yeah. you get so 07 sa sa I can't put 1000 again because I've already put it twice so it's say to 1200 <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I like this. In fact, it should be soft life for Mama Judy. Any soft life for Mama Judy because yani ah that's to roll. And and I and I don't know what is to come, but I have a feeling what is to come mm. will be of value or will 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 understand it. So anyway, nimepatia. Where we at right now? Okay, it is gone. Yeah, mm. Amanda. Done. Where oh, we at to the story right now? And let me say something. Yeah. I'll never forget one time when i when during covid when i started this giving thing mm. i've never told this story when i taught you guys about uh mpesa yes. pay bill till mm. nini, nini. so even me i started doing what i was teaching you and abel yeah one day i checked my phone 30000 shillings has been deposited you know who gave it judy and abel 30000 shillings to during, the way of us saying thank you during covid yeah So yani you deserve every single coin. Thank you. Tondele. Haya, I'm choosing to kitchen. Atuaribu makeup tena rich. Good morning makeup. 
Yeah, so now we are in form one. We're in form one. And there's something very crucial you've said. Because mm. you're like, hey, in order for life to change, mm. masomo. Yes. It was clear for you. It was very, it was very clear for me, Richie. Extremely clear that I needed to do my very best in school. Because I knew sasa hapa, my mom, like she can't be sacrificing, waking up at 6 a.m. Kwenda kufagia soko, soko anapata miambili, na mi niende shule kucheza. Yeah. I knew sasa hapa, mchezo kando. You need to, whatever you've done in the past, thinking you are good in school, sasa hapa, you need to do even better. Because uh, my dad's, uh, the, actually those were his last words, right? Yes. The, when take he was lying on your... the bed. Yeah, he said, take care, of your, take care of your mother, take care of your siblings. So I knew I had a big responsibility. Because mm. I was like, my mom was like, I'm going to go to the house. But a few years later, I'm going to go to the house. In a few years later, I'm going to go to the house. Anyway, so now I'm in Form 1, right? Name the school again? Uh, Giriambu Girls Giriambu High Girls. School. Mm. Yes. Uh, so, when I Form 1, of course, it's a struggle. Because mama bado is going to go Even if I'm a panda kachio, sasa, like she's a supervisor, mm. it's not like she's getting 10 times the amount. Yep. Actually, I think from up, maybe I'm going to maybe 300. It's not like you are getting a lot more money. But remember, bado is going to go So, by this time, my uh, older sister, my elder sister is also in high school, right? Mm, mm. High school. But here, I'm going a day high school. So, she would commute. Okay. And then sasa kuna mimi. Sasa so, by this time she has two children in high school. Na school fees ya high school si mchezo. Mm. I remember mine was like around 35,000 per year. Wow. But let me tell you. Per year. Unajua hiyo time ungefikiria? No 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 no. Per year. Was it per year? Was it per term? Then she had to pay a rich. To pay a? Yes. Unajua bado ni government school. Thank you Kibaki. Yes, ni shule ya Gava. It mm-hmm. is around 35,000 per year. But even that was too much for my mom. Like it was too much for my mom. Wow. So, uh, she started applying for bursaries. Kuna walikuwa si constituency walikuwa ngani kitu walikuwa na peana bursaries, mm-hmm. bursary fund. Mm-hmm. There was a bursary fund. So if your child was a top performer yes was a top performer you would apply you you could apply for some bursary and so my mom did and Richie, that is how I was able to join form 1 because the bursary came through and ilikuwa pesa ilikuwa pesa mzuri i think she got i think it was good money i think ulikuwa unapata kama 11000 or they are about yeah. Yeah, but, but you it's see, not the full fees. It's not no, it was never this full 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 fees. Mm. You still need to hustle uh, to for, top up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But so they would give you the bursary for the whole year. But wana kupatia hivyo kidogo kidogo. I think the, at the end of the day it would be able to pay like almost like a three quarter of the school fees. Okay. But bado kuna hiyo kwota yenye you need to hustle for. Mm. So uh, that is the uh, remaining quarter of the school fees plus sasa my upkeep in high school si mm. kwenda shopping mm. like na sasa sisi kwanza ngiriambo at that particular time hakukuwa na restrictions za shopping like people would hey acha nikwambie <laughs> kuna mtu alikuwa ana dropiwa na wazazi pale wake na pale na na bands acha eh na so uh, box moja ni m- vitu za shule box nyingine grab ni grab <laughs> grabo kwani cha grabo Let me tell you. Sasa judi hapo hiyo time. Yeah yeah. Cuz I think the good thing with everything we had gone through was mimi si kwa na shida ya vitu kama hizo. Mm. Like if my mom could only afford like the a small BB and a bread, mm. one uh, loaf of bread and my uh, toiletries. You're good. Me I was okay. like I never Like it, it never used to make me feel bad jealous bad at jealous sama nasikia hii mama unacheza maybe mimi si kwa hii like whatever mama would afford nilikuwa namwambia asante mama whether ni kidogo ama ni mingi like whatever she could afford mimi nilikuwa tunamwambia mama asante hata mimi buy a blue uh nilikuwa naona hii mama umejaribu but you see it's cuz i know the hustle she's going through to be able right, to man. afford these things but i think ni mashida richi so unaona mashida tumezikula tangu 
class 5 tumekula tu mashida <laughs> so the story ilichukua kata nyingine so i but then that never used to bother me at the feeling like oh my mama the guys are doing better than me it has never and even up until now those are no things that bother me mimi niko to saw vile niko so uh, my mom would do a small shopping but let me tell you she would hey she used to like she would make sure at least we have atakama in the smallest of quantities we have a bit of everything mm. like kama watu wanabebanga biscuit wewe anabeba carton okay wewe nitakubai aka packet kamoja mm. so you see she's trying like i have a bit of everything not in the same quantities but yep. iko and uh, that is how i survived through my high school i feel like high school that was the routine cuz mimi nimesoma na bursary nimesoma na bursary until nikamaliza you know we complain a lot about Kenya. Mm. We complain a lot about this government. Yeah. But we need to say thank you. True. Where oh. where things have oh, yes. been oh, yes. where things have been done right. Yeah. I don't I don't doubt this corruption. I don't doubt the negativity that people speak about. Yeah. But we have to balance our tongue. That's true. You get what I mean? That's true. Yeah. Bursaries took you to school for 4 years, Richie. Not one year, not one term for 4 years. That is how my mom was able to put me through high school. I sat down here with Savara mm. before you. Mm. He said help took him to to uni. Yes. These things are positivity about the government. Mm. Do you get sure. what I mean? Kabisa. I'm not guys, listen, I'm not just eh uko at what's Kenya Kwanza or yeah. these other guys fans mm. or UDA. I'm just talking about mm. the reality of life. That's true, yeah. There are countries where these things are not even on the table. Yeah. You get. Mm. So but in high school mm-hmm. at least i'm going to tell me rafiki moja uko nayo oh so in high <laughs> school i'm going to be market sing oh i can say at least one one friend that i'm still in touch with and we met in high school her name is sandra mm. sandra bado tunongeanga ig tuta uh, nini hapo atanish yeah. tu hapo tunaongea ongea but yeah that is the one friend i can say i was i i had in this I'm still in touch with yeah. from high school and was, it, Guinea, was it that you were just head down kusoma did did you know what you wanted to be in life ama those are not luxuries nataka tu kupass eh so i was very good like very good in languages mm kiswahili na english yeah. oh i was like hizo zilikuwa nga straight a's like they were guaranteed hizo yeah. oh, si kwa struggle <laughs> nazo yeah So uh, back in the day when you were good in languages you could number one as a kwanini news anchor oh oh that was the thing oh yeah, oh, like if you are good in languages yes you could number um if you're good in languages then you could be anything to do with news and tv unaweza fit huko cuz you could say ah news anchor you just need to be good in either swahili yeah. or english that was it So from form 1 after I joined uh, Ngiriambu there was always that conversation even the teachers kept telling me where we na TV na news na ama journalism just that, that whole world. sector Miyako. that world oh ni za fit vizuri sana huko nice so uh, and were you participating in the drama festivals uh, were you now becoming um outspoken were you were you beginning to put yourself in front oh yes 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 actually let me tell you i think um cuz even in primary like at a class 7 in class 8 even when i went went to eldoret union mm. school i was always part of the school leadership like mm. i was always in a, a prefect either in charge of a club either that has always been me. your story so even in high school i was the same like i would be in charge of the french club mara sijuni kuku so if there was any thing that needed a leader i would always be on the list Aha. of the people the school is considering so you're a prefect definitely yes <laughs> <laughs> Are you a head girl? Okay. Are you head girl number two? I don't know. Why you? Why you? No. 
no, but I was always being considered for either there is a, a, a team of people. So I, I was very active in, uh, I was part of the school choir in oh, high school. Oh, nice. In Kwanaimba. Mm-hmm. Then I was part of, um, sports? I, I did sports. Uh, I used to do lawn tennis. <laughs> but that was actually very good. At mm. some point I went up to the provincial level. What? Yes. Okay. So that is the one sport I was very active in. I used to run. Mm, I don't know why I can see you running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, ni kwa na participate in the races, especially the short races. Mm. So 100 meters ni hizo ni kwa na fanya fanya. But the one sport that I, I actually participated in competitively was um, lawn tennis. Lawn tennis. And then choir. Yo tuliimba mpaka tukafika some provincial level. Eh? Yes. It was it's, a good school. I, I, I like the variety of 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 opportunities yes. they 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 exposed and to Giriambu, there was everything there was in terms of sports there was everything swimming no swimming unfortunately oh yo near your baridi 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 highways in mount kenya eh utatoka huko point highways kubali no swimming yeah but everything else from hockey to basketball to yeah. netball to whatever so you enjoyed school i did Oh, I did. I enjoyed school very much. Like I've always had other than that kind of time when mm. things were not going very well me, I have always loved school. I come to think about it. Do you know? I know tutafika kwa Mombus, but that is the one thing tunashinanga. Yenyewe akirichi. Do you know? Tunashinanga tukijuliza na Abel cuz Abel didn't love school. No, he was like, "Yeah, na shule ya kwanza sikizana." But nashina ngani kiuliza mumbo sametoa hii kupenda shule hivyo wapi? Mm. So now it makes sense cuz mimi I had me I had a good time in school but I had a good time cuz I was a good kid. Yes. So I had favor with uh, the students and with the teachers as well. Uh-huh. Yeah, like ilikuwa tu mtoto mzuri. Huyu ni mtoto tu mzuri huyu. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. What to help me then now with with is there any other any I don't want to fast forward but mm-hmm. is there any other story within this high school period that you feel like you want to talk about yes. Actually, no let me say this yes just before you say the story school sounds like it was a relief it was remember the way right now you said yeah school feels for you it was like that yeah away from the madness of away from the madness because now uh, so nimeingia form 1 na school is continuing things are okay sisi semati kuna kitu yote yenye ina happen shule ambayo si mzuri mm. out say school was, was okay mm. but remember mom but nimeacha mom sasa ki hasol so one of the um, things that gave me a bit of relief is knowing she doesn't need to struggle so much with my school fees uh-huh. was this the bursary right so you in any fanya feel okay now she can worry about my big sister mm. and my other two siblings mm. jeshen kabag so that one gave me a bit of relief so as much as i'm worried about her and how everything is happening how they are surviving back home i know at least mimi she doesn't need to worry about me that much right but from one right mm-hmm. apa kuna story richi mm-hmm. so for one tunaingia tuna actually i'm trying to remember the exact moment when this thing when this particular story happens can i make a call mm let's make a call <laughs> find out we'll be back after the phone call <laughs> I confirm or say I confirm. I'm going to give you a It's so interesting. It's so interesting. <laughs> This city is so interesting. The behind yeah. the scenes. Hata hii ni cutaway of her talking to to her mom. Yes. You don't know what she's saying but that's just a cutaway of of that she actually is calling. It's making you reflect. Eh? I know. And it's so interesting cuz now I want to she's, interview myself now. She's <laughs> like I know she's like uh, just from this uh, cuz this is the second time I'm calling yeah. her, yeah, right? Mm. Through this conversation. So, now she's like I am on standby. If, if you have any questions, you call me. 
Ambia, oh, redimu. In case of anything, you call me. I'm and ready. in case you don't get me, call your sisters. You even call your sisters. Yeah, even call my uh, our firstborn sister. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this is this. It's 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 beautiful to watch. Yeah. Let me say, let me say that it is it is beautiful to watch, especially seeing you still stayed here. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean. Yeah. So I know there's things to come, but mm. there's that there's a, there's a power of overcoming that is that is there by you seated here. One of the beautiful things that God, has, I think, has given me as I sit through CTA, I, I see a situation, mm. you think you're just talking to your mom. Yeah. Me, what I'm seeing is such a beautiful relationship yeah. between a mother, a daughter, mm. and a sibling. Mm. Like, do you know how many people can't pick up the phone to call their mom? Yeah. Do you know how many people can't pick up the phone to, to talk to their siblings? Mm. In the midst of turmoil, there is something beautiful that 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 turmoil has. F- the drama brought you together. Oh it yes, is. oh yes, oh yes, for sure. Because uh, we have an unbreakable bond. Mm. Like mom and her four children. I don't think there's anything that can come in between Abu. Akuna kitu inaweza kuja kuvunja your relationship. Nice. Yeah, but it's because of everything that we've gone through together. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, first of all, let me tell you, as I told you, his story in there for. He was shooting in two parts. Let me just let me at least let you know cuz in case you're wondering, hey, his story Taisha, uh, we shall have to go home. And come, and come back, back another continue. day. Oh. Yes, we will do a hard stop at six o'clock. Yeah. Uh, just not because of curfew, just also just to yeah. process all that we've gone through. Mm. Um, yeah. So, high school. High school. So, uh, high school is actually very non-eventful in terms of it's just school and bursary coming through. Okay. And I was able to get bursary for the four years. Mm. So, the only thing my mom needed to do was do a bit of shopping, a bit of pocket money, and then the kidogo balance, your school fees could hustle. Yes. But e time yote, by the way, but shugli yake kubwa ni soko. Okay. And let me ask again, mm-hmm. when you'd go to holidays, mm-hmm. you'd go to the house? Yes, our house in Kiferigui. That was our home for up at a time. Till today, is it still your home? No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you'll find out why later. <laughs> no, it is not. It is not. Mm. Okay. But so, at but, that time, high school, that was still our house. So now, on Maliza school, and when you go there, mm-hmm. Now there's of course no talking to this side. Is there hostility? Uh, or now there's forgiveness and No. There was so it was still a bit hostile, but ile chini ya maji. Oh. So at some point wali kuja waka acha kumsumbua. But you see the reason why wali acha kumsumbua is Cops. because of the court order mm-hmm. and the fact that they now knew kumbe hata wameolewa legally like kumbe mm. kumbe she is actually meant to be yes yes and, and they, then also over the years i came to realize later that after we buried my dad walikuwa nasema wanapatia tu mom pia mzizi zake kidogo pia wa mzi wa mzike because walikuwa anajua ai even how she has this thing eh, so so i think after Sometime when on you maybe hako tu anaendelea tu na maisha yake nini nini and you see now at this particular time they, they are not they can't touch us because mm. we are protected <laughs> you are protected they like, wakifanya anything koti itakuwa hapo na kuna mtu ataenda jela juu hii story again i'm going to say this yeah. we come from a country that we always shouting down kenya yes the court worked in the favor it did of the widow yes. and of the one who was rightfully deserving yes Yes. Yes it did. Kabisa 100%. Kenya has its she does, mm. but we need to clap when things are working. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um high school nothing much happens. Tunasoma tu 2000 2003 3 4 5 6. Oh, 2003 yeah. 4 5 6. 6 yes are you watching okay career wise are you watching hata kuna tv sahi apa hata tuna stima ah! even with the new house Ooh, even with the new house my mom could never afford 
to electricity ati ukweka zit pole ati vute stima oh judi richi tv na stima ni mi experience college oh my god yes so to dia pony makidanga so even with a big house the five bedroom house bado tuna survive na ile ta kerosene the same yes 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 same same ta no wonder you even selling it yes <laughs> same same ta ile akala blue na jo yoro ma nini tutaweke akatawizo jo hiyo ta tunaongelea ni yes ile ya glass Yeah. Nyo unatoa glass unafanguza yes. na kitamba afu unachukua gazeti that was the only way to clean it ndio iwake. Oh unaipanguza na gazeti you know how you clean you can clean a glass na serviette ama paper mm. ndio iko clear mm. that's how you used to clean that a glass for your tandi na kwasa. So in one end you're being told about uh, TV, TV and everything yes. But on the other end mm. we don't get you anything exactly. bro. Exactly. So the only time tulikuwa na TV na steamer is the few months to to in Nairobi before now we had And you in Eldoret. Yes and oh and in Eldoret because of course my auntie walikuwa na hizo amenities hizo zilikuwa nyumba ilikuwa tu sawa. Your mind is like this. Yeah. But nyumbani kwetu home home home. Hakuna steamer na hakuna TV hakuna vitu kama hizo. Even when we moved from Nairobi back to um uh, Kiferigwe uh. and we had all the electronics, mom had to sell them. I think at least the fridge, kuka, yes. TV, the TV we had. Hizo zote aliuza juu sasa tunafanya nini nazo hapo home? Wow, 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 wajuki. Na zisaidi hakuna mtu zinasaidia. Sikujui. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So anything else about high school? Uh-huh. High school the only thing ni ati sasa what I started I by the before ni in the high school I never used to do that. But sasa si mom is still uh, kwa soko anafagia kidogo kidogo at some point anakuwa na kasoko kake kuna siku anauza tu sukuma na nini na nini mm. na tunyanya kuna siku hakuna soko ka hakuna pesa ya stock mm. so kazi yake kubwa ni kusupervise wafagiaji na bado yeye anafagia yep. si ati anafagia mm. na atiza ni supervisor so kazi yake ni kuka so reaching what used to do and i remember this for form 2 and i don't know why i remember it so fresh especially for when i was in form 2 do you know school holidays tukifunga hiyo mm. six mama kiamka ni kwa namkane tunaenda tunafagia soko and for some funny reason siko anaenda ni kwa ni enjoy mm. you and then, wanted to go yes like i was the one who was offering to go like nambia mom ukiamka uniamshe mom is like umefunga shule nini namwambia no niamshe niende nikupeleke tufagie soko so mimi ni kwa ili kwa inanifurahisha ili kwa ni kitu nilikuwa nafanya for fun of course nasaidia mom hmm. but pili kwa ni kitu na enjoy and i really na, kuna anyway after hii nitaenda nitafutia mamangu tu kule story cuz I, <laughs> i really cuz at that particular time unajua yo a teenager yes kwa nini unataka kuonekana soko ukifagia na marafiki zako like hizo those are no cool things that's, to that, do that's what's blowing my mind but for some reason me i used to enjoy it but as, as i told you Richie, me there are things that don't bother me like comparing myself to other people and mm. feeling like oh You dealt with that be. thing a long time ago. Yeah, those are no things that bother me at all. Hey, you are right. Like I'm just okay with the person I am. <laughs> yeah, so I remember high school I used to do that a lot with my mom. Tunaenda tu tunamsaidia. Nona lipo. Eh, nona lipo. So yeah, first income. Ah, no 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 no. I yet hakwa na nilipa hata anything. The only thing she could do was buy me a mandazi. Kuna siku yangu ni buy a mandazi na chai after soko. Cuz the uh, unajua soko lazima muamkia asubuhi yes. ndio by the time people are coming to yes. yeah so by 10 am you done the soko is clean by the time watu wanafungua soko nyinyi mnaenda home like mshamaliza mm. kazi mm. siku that is how it used to happen so i used to enjoy kuamka na mama tunaenda tumefagia soko afu saa 4 tunarudi home na saa tukirudi home tunarudi na lunch dinner whatever tuko sawa <laughs> okay, let's transition from high school 2006. 2006 to memorize high school. Uh-huh. Hey, I performed well. See see I an A student or anything, but I got a B mm. in KCC, mm. which was still a very good yep. grade. Yep. But just let me take you back. You don't go to form 3. So, remember I said I was very good in uh, languages. 
like niko na perform i was good overall but uh, language is ilikuwa straight A's, right so um my mom happens to know a friend of hers who knows another friend mm-hmm. right and this particular friend happens to be part of the board of governors for the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication. Communication. <laughs> so, at your some friend in car it's like it's like family a, friend. Yes. Your friend knows a friend. Yes. Mwenye ana happen kukwa part of the board of governors. Yes. Sits on the BOG of uh, Kenya Institute of Mass Communication. Mm. So remember the conversation all along from from one has been she's very good in languages so the TV world because at us to corner the stories a film na nini but hizo tumekuja kujua vile umeingia college ulu kuna jo tu TV na TV ulu kuna jo either it's a news anchor or you are a journalist reporting this is a reporting for NTV that's the only thing jobs you used to know the TV the so the facing ones exactly mm. yeah so um I mean from 3. That is when now mom interacts with this gentleman. He's a gentleman and I'm so sad, it's so sad that I can't remember his name because he was he's been a very integral part mm. of the of my whole story in terms of career kwanza. So, uh when I meet na mama namwambia juu ya mtoto wake, huyu mwenye he's very good in languages na nini na nini. And for some reason the gentleman actually takes an interest in me and wants to know a bit more and then you see now the fact that she's a widow amenganga na kufundisha watoto wake hizi vitu zote and my dad was actually also very well known mm. so even if you don't know my mom ukisikia bwanake alikuwa nani na alikufa mm. then you uh, people were able to make the connection very quickly so uh, they meet they talk nini mamangu anamwambia hizi stories zote akamwambia actually now tell her if she maintains her grades the way she performs i will make sure she gets a slot whoa in the kenya institute of mass communication so mom ni anakuja kuniambia it's the first time me nasikia the kenya institute of mass communication communication me sikwani nimesikia jio shule before but sasa now we of course we do a bit more research nini najua oh kumbe that's the school for tv ukitaka mm. to tv that's yeah, the but... school you need to go to so what do i do I maintain my grades and especially in languages. Na hakikisha I'm still so let me tell you Richie by the time I'm in my fourth year my in form 4 the third final term nishaanza application yangu ya KMC. Actually yeye ndiye alikuja na papers akanisaidia ku apply oh. and all those things. Cuz Richie KMC is a um, government school. Yes. A, is it about a state or am I purely on government and in every time there is a intake. intake thank you every time there is an an intake they pick unakumkele system ya like national schools back mm-hmm. in the day where there is a system of how they pick because you have to pick a One student from, yes. from each Pro- province province yes, exactly yeah. so it was the same 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 system for KMC So for you to get a slot KMC hey look una need kukuwe unajua mtu because mm. it was very extremely competitive extremely competitive because you can imagine there are over 6000 applications applicants mm. and they only need to take in less than 300 students God. every year so it was crazy and the way they pick is from central province ni mtoto mmoja ama wawili at most mm. so you need to be but who is our god richie <laughs> but before tufike hapo na maliza high school i get a, a b so that's a very good grade he was very happy he was like ah sasa hii itushamaliza hapa mm. wasipokuchukua hapa kutakuwa sasa kuna kashida so si tunangoja you know you apply and then now you wait Hey, come. Tulipata barua lini? Cuz I joined KMC in September of 2007. Of 2007. Yes. So the letter comes Richie, I can't remember exactly when and 
I have been, I am admitted into the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication. <laughs> and I'm admitted to do uh -huh. film and TV production. Because I joined KMC in September. Of 2007. Of 2007. Yes. So the letter comes, Richie. I can't remember exactly when. And I have been, I am admitted into the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication. <laughs> and I'm admitted to do uh -huh. film and TV production. So you are working our mic. Yes, I am behind the camera. Yes, 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 yes. 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 So TV and film unasoma. So okay, there's a ka story there. Okay. So see mimi all along nimekuwa nikijua naenda kufanya TV. Catherine Kasavuli ni wewe. Catherine Kasavuli ni mimi. <laughs> yes. You know, jinaleze nini nini nini. But kumbe um we the so he had proposed he propo, he by the time we were doing the applications, he had mentioned that that's the course he wants me to take. But you see at that time, I'm still naive, mm. naive exactly mm. what these courses are about. Mm. But you kuna TV. Mini liwa, ah, kusawa. Mm. Kuna TV, tukutusawa. Only for me to get into KMC and into my first class of film and TV production, napata tunasoma juya sound. Tunasoma juya camera. Tunasoma juya <laughs> editing. I'm like, ay! This is behind the camera. Mimi mm. kwa I want in front of the camera. <laughs> so na eh, This is behind the scenes. <laughs> Kuna endaji. Yeah. So nikauliza nikauliza ah nikamwambia ah for TV hiyo yenye unasema it's either you do journalism or you do broadcast TV like ni TV but for broadcast yes. there's a particular broadcast course. journalism. Exactly. Yes. yes. So walikuwa ni TV and in broadcast journalism there there's mm. a nini so that was a whole other course but that's me ni meet wakufanya film and tv anyway so of course ni kanks nini na we i also talked to my mom he talked to the gentleman to ni kwa na to maswali but wakani explain so i was like ah okay ali nambi actually let me tell you the course you're about to study is the most that's the one course you can go wrong about because kazi ziko huwezi kosa kazi how many new news and kaza there Exactly. Few, and that's lim limited. But there is no uh, analog digital to analog shit. Exactly. The citizen exactly. TV, KTN, exactly. KTN and then she was like he was like when you're watching the news you only see the news anchor, right? So news anchors you can count. But the team behind mm. the scenes making that picture work the way it is working yes. when you watch on TV. Kwa nyuma kuna cameraman watatu kuna nini? Kwani kwa nasema there is demand for those guys for that particular course you are about to take news anchor si wengi yeah anyway that is how i was convinced nani ka maintain tv and film i like the fact that you are okay to switch to be okay yeah yeah aha wacha nikuulize hapa mm -hmm. school fees school fees believe it or not richi basari help <laughs> Kenya government by the way me I'm Can't going to upload this ah, ah, imagine so, if the government did not say dear you I you know it, this almost sounds no like way. sponsored by yeah, the government yeah. but it is not I'm just trying to make people it's, understand but it's the truth that it's the truth look at the country we live yeah. in one of the things that I want to do in city is make people love this country mm. so you applied for but sorry now the good thing is so, so basically so, means you are not even paying back No, basa you don't pay back. Yours is not even at your help. It's not a loan. Yours is it's like a grant. Exactly, for, it's, it's a grant a for your education. It's, there is no pay, you're not paying anybody back. What? Yes. And the thing is for KMC at the time, per year, it was 60,000 Kenya shillings. So it has almost doubled from high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. To And uh, for the three years I was in KMC Yo, yote lilipwa na basari. Let me tell you. Yote basari. Yani. Mm. This this I'm very encouraged to hear this. Mm. Like what? Yeah. So your mom applied. Let me your 
call a spade a spade. Your mom is a widow at this time. Yes. Your mom is got four kids at this time. Mm. So, fine you've been accepted. Yeah. Lakini Yeah. You had, also you had a B. Mm. I had a B. You get, so it's not saying it's only for A students. Mm. No. As long as your But they actually they used to give bursaries for students. So it would um the amount you're given would vary depending on how like how you're performing at academically okay. right yeah. so if you're like an a student you probably get a bit more money mm. than a b student and this because uh, they would give up until i think c plus yes yeah, wow. but the amount of money the c plus guy is getting iko kidogo kuliko mimi yenye napata nikiwa a b student and was this devolution money is this coming from the county government or is this coming from national government it was, i think it was coming from so back then si hakuna county hakuna oh that, this oh yeah your time ni constituency okay yes okay it was a i get yes i, yeah. I get dual bursaries like was not um, from the constituencies so you are from like karate i don't know if karate yes it was uh, what was the name of the constituency back then oh this is Barich, was it Barich? i can't remember you but know, yeah I was seeing DNG who have interviewed on this platform mm. uh, talk about I've got this many bursaries to give out. Mm. Uh, so this is this is, I understand it it's not at the KMC is one who's giving you because the government has given us mm. opportunity. Mm. Your mom went to an office around her constituency yes. to say my daughter has been accepted to Kia yes. and Apewa. Mm. Accommodation upkeep that 60,000 caters for meals and accommodation and tuition. Ah, um minimaliza by the way now. <laughs> for reals. So imagine my mom had absolutely nothing to worry about. By the way, the only money I needed is upkeep. for upkeep. <laughs> <laughs> But kila kitu kingine ya shule ilikuwa catered for. Wow. Catered for. Actually even now when I called her Aliambia ah KMC ay 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 basari 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 ililipa <laughs> kila kitu <laughs> basari ililipa kila kitu the only money she needed was for upkeep mm. Mm. so hiyo ilikuwa ile system ya milk cards just like in in um, yes a uni yeah yeah yes wow kama unakula kwa mess what do you mean Part, yeah. of, part of the reason why I, I, I also like it when you talk about this in case somebody is watching doesn't know this exists mm. You get. Yeah. Uh, the problem sometimes is this, um, I think where the government can improve is the information that they put out yes. about these opportunities. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, to the lena story. So mm. umetoka You're back to Nairobi. I'm back to Nairobi. Yeah. <laughs> Umeru ni Nairobi. Nimepa, nimepanda matatu ya uh, Karatina. More like No 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 twink yetu ni tangwa twink 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 sako sa nimepanda matatu karatina imekuja ikaniangusha pale hiyo stage yetu inaitwa nini tea room thank you very much for my inaitwa tea room mama ulikuwa naenda wapi nimekuja ikaniangusha hapo tea room but of course on the first day yes. uh, i came with my mom yeah. she was very proud she was so happy i can you remember imagine the burden yes. of your mom mm tumebeba ma sanduku huko nini 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 tumefika Nairobi stage south b iko wapi afya center huko afya center yes. <laughs> na sasa ujue pia sisi we are new in Nairobi we have been here kidogo kidogo yeah. but it's not like we are familiar with oh. the entire town mm. so i remember ata tukishuka juu hiyo ni kushuka si ni kaka kushuka kutoka tirum mpaka afya center ama mm. nikupanda i don't know hiyo ako ka distance hiyo distance yote tunakuja tukiuliza soja tirum iko wapi So number one huyo naambia enda 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 tu endelea unajua that's how yeah, Kenyans yeah. give directions <laughs> wanasemanga hivyo tu bila unaenda enda tu <laughs> yeah cuz i remember you could just kiliza my so that until tukafika stage ya south b yes na tukauliza matatu yenye inatupeleka Kenya Institute of Mass Communication wakatuonyesha ni gani na tukapanda na mamangu nice tulikuwa tumerauka hiyo siku cuz you know she has to bring me and then go, go back, back yep. to karatina mm. yeah but i remember that was a good thing oh she was so happy she okay. was because you knew now you know for her now she knew yani i mean give you shule that's it mm. sita sita uliza juu ya mahali analala sita uliza mahali juu ya chakula i don't need to worry about all those things na ni tu kumtumia pesa ya kuhakisha anaweza nunua tissue anaweza nunua pads mm. anaweza, you see toothpaste mm. like is a tundu vitu alikuwa na need to worry about Man. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a 2 minute break <laughs> yeah. when we come back. 
tuingie hii experience. Mguru anakuja wapi? Eh mguru ako in the horizon. Anakaribia. Yeah. This city is so moto. Yani let me tell you guys, sometimes while we are changing batteries and things, we sit down and we have some other behind the scenes conversations. Na ziko moto, they are so good. Yani mpaka we forget when I get switch on the cameras to endelea hapo on thingy on 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 camera so that you guys can enjoy. Part of the reason why I started CTA is because I have accessibility to some amazing people and I would have conversations like this with them. I have conversations like then I'm just like you know this conversation is so rich God has blessed me with a with a good with not with a good network with access to people yeah and sometimes that access to people is what people want mm. so I'm like you know what let me just put a camera and people you're a fly on the wall sikupatia opinion kuingia conversation yangu hii ni conversation yangu but you're a fly on the wall that have allowed you to access my conversation yeah um it's why people are vulnerable in the way that they are because in their world they are talking to me mm. but now they become cognizant to share that vulnerability with you so that your life can be better mm. and that you can learn from their successes and also their mistakes and just the life that they've gone through mm. it's not restricted to celebs every single person in this life has a story kila mse ako na story and i've come to realize we're all struggling through the same things kabisa all of us same, same things we are all our journeys all of us want to be happy all of us are aspiring mm. all of us want fi- finances all of us want far more there's just some things that we want that are whatever yeah. and that's my nugget of wisdom <laughs> you are that to charge possible kwa hivyo let's go remember what the aim is that we said we are doing mm. we're doing what it is a soft life fund oh. for Mama Judy <laughs> This is just something that um I'm trying to, this is this is also my way of telling Judy thank you to be honest for for coming here and giving yes. I said the digital value economy yeah. um give has to be returned with a give mm. value has to be returned with value yeah. want to put your value so much for your life the least I can do is just take the few coins that I have mm. and just in my small way bless you and tell you thank you thank you get you, so you. Judy uh, <laughs> You and Pesa number in Ghana. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you your mom enjoy this. You know even if you just going to take her for for a cup of coffee. Yeah. You get if you've been watching this from the beginning unaelewa kwa nini nafanya hii. If you're just joining this one of the things that Judy says when I, about I ask her so hey you you really tight the mom you must really love your mom it's like you know for me mama angu I wish God gives me life that I may see her just relax in life mm. i found that so heartwarming yeah. i said me i want to join in i want to join in to help you attain your mom's goal mm. you see already you you're trying to help your mom attain her mm. goal me na isa kusagia nime nime bonga mob nime bonga mob wacha tu nisibonge the number ni 0798 it doesn't matter even if you have one shilling mm. that one shilling if a million people give that's a million shillings mm. I don't know the reason but as we go on she'll explain 07 Zero 07 seven, 07 seven, 98 seven, 07 nine, seven, nine, 6 5 9 6 5 9 7 9 2 7 9 2 mm. So the first time you know I couldn't give Judy Moreri is what it says Yes So I need 1300 pay it is usually me Hata Mungu atani bless Ini sadaka yangu ya CTA Hata ku bless vibaya sana No hata Mungu ameni bless not even hata ni bless ameni bless Yes true Anyway Judy let's continue with this amazing story Yeah Pali tumewacha hii kitu uko Mengia Kenya Institute of Mass Communication Tumetoka Tiru tukaenda hadi Afya Center tukaingia kwa matatu ya South Bay Tukaenda wapi moja kwa moja hadi KIMC. Nice. <laughs> yeah, na tumefika. And of course we check in, we do what we are meant to do because now after hapa si mamangu anarudi uh, Karatina. Mm. Like for her, like to Malize ndio she needs to go back. Tikaratina kefiribi. Mm, mm, mm. mm. To Malize ndio yeah, rudi home. Yep. 
Yes, and now, uh, now this begins, this is a, a new chapter. 2000 and? 2007 September. Aha, 2007 September. Yes. So, to me, I'm the MC Sasa. Yes. And, uh, Basari Imecheza. You mentioned 60,000 for one year. And it's and that 60,000 includes food, it includes and accommodation, exactly. and tuition. Yes. Hey, yeah. Kenyan government. So, ka pocket money, tundi ya nafa kucheza na yo. Okay. Naka shopping. And then he also said in the school, mm. you are not doing, uh, I like when I interviewed Timo, he called it BJ. <laughs> oh, broadcast journalism. <laughs> yes. You're not doing that. Yes. You're doing film. So film and TV production behind the scenes. Yes. yes. So even if you took camera editing, holding the camera. Exactly. Yes. It's camera, sound and editing, which all happen. Numa, your camera, like behind the camera. Okay. Yes. And production is one of the two small departments in TV and film, the course, yeah. Okay. So, KMC Kumbuka, me all along my uh, stay in school, I have one goal that is in a persist to, I have to make my mother proud. She's gone, she's, she's, she's been through enough and she's still going through mm. uh, a lot at that particular time. Because bad wana hassle. Kazi ya ketu bado ni ile ile tu ya kusanya hapa na pale. So my goal in school is still very clear. Is uh, work hard, work hard, work hard. Because I know whatever my mom is doing now in the future, mm. lazima. Lazima tu akikisha nishi maisha a bit, uh, like an, a bit better life, mm. right? So, Nengia first year. So, KMC, it's a three year course. Yep. Yeah, because your TV and film, it's a three year course. So, first year, Nengia, of course, now there you get each and the A, people from all walks of life. Nice. <laughs> nice. From college, from Sisi Watu Ushago, mm -hmm. when you want to experience my TV, Vizuri, Nastima 24 7, all those things. And then, of course, you have the Akina Richi Mababi. Wa Nairobi, when you are wa meishi Nairobi, unajua like soft life. When you, soft ooh, life. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and then, of course, you uko na mtu wa pokot, uko na mtu wa turkana. That was the beautiful thing about KMC. Nice. Yo, I think it was the quota system. I think it was the quota system. Where you have to pick people from everywhere in the country. Mluko mnenda mna kutana what were killer like there you get to mingle and interact with everybody mm. actually i felt like it gave a very good balance nice. of my life in college uh so uh first year nimeingia tamwan there is nothing much that is happening no hey richie my life in college in anzia na the first term <laughs> And I feel ni kama hapa ndiyo. Sasa ya yule mwenye tukua nimesema kwa kwa horizon. <laughs> and there is our pizza. Yoni pizza yeah. yetu. Oh. <laughs> Ako kwa horizon bungo oja na kama. Mana kama. <laughs> um, nakumbuka one of the girls akisema, hey, na judi nimesikia, nimesikia kuna watu wana kuungelelea mahali. So in my head, I was like, Akina Nani. At least, Kodi ama Akina Freddy vile wana ketingi pale, nilisikia wana kungelelea. So me, I very quickly dismissed it. Because in my head, Richie, I am a village girl. From Kiferigui. Sasa, awa ma superstar. Waneza kwa wanongeleza, awa nongelesha a village girl. For what reason? Whoa. Takula pizza badai. Yes. Maliza history kwa anza. Acha tumaliza history. Okay, endelea. Eh, so now, nimeingia first year. Sinokwambia now that you get to meet all people from all walks of life. So, I remember it was the first week. Kwa sasa, sinisi ni mafresha. Mm. Mafresha wa mingia. And just like it is in high school, ni kwa na feel in, iyo ni mafresha inafanana na watu wa college. Mm. So mafresha wa kingia kuna iyo ka frenzy, oh, they are here, nini, 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 kila mtu anataka kuona maboizo, anataka kuona warembo, warembo, anataka kuona maboizo, nyo wanaingia. <laughs> so I remember in the first, the first week, the very first week actually, uh, there is this ka frenzy. 
Remember lichi. Nimekwambia mimi TV hatujakuwa na interaction sana. Yeah. Right? Yep. So TV ni ni nimeionea Eldoret kidogo na nimeionea Nairobi kidogo tu. Mm, mm. But sasa vile tumeingia kuna hii buzz. There's a buzz. And this buzz is about a certain group of people. Actually three gentlemen to be precise. There are these three gentlemen when ye kila msichana fresha ameingia kwa hiyo shule ana anawajua like wanajulikana <laughs> so kuna excitement na kila mtu ana as in even when we meet in class nini when we are in our um, uh, hostels that's the conversation kai uliona nani kai uliona nani kai uliona so but mimi hii excitement si understand na si shikanishi had you dated before this kwa sababu had you dated in your life mm, no there was like a, a boyfriend uh, after form 4 that we met because i was working oh nilikuwa na job after form 4 unajua kale kakushikilia before uh, now you yes. go to college nilikuwa na kwanza nilikuwa kazi ya uh iko inaitwa nini hizi vitu zilikuja zikakula watu pesa no Pyramids 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 <laughs> yes, I used to work in work a office in Plan Yapo Karatina Town. Yeah. Nay, it was actually a pyramid. Yeah, yeah. But I was like the guest, a receptionist. Mm, mm. Because yangu ni kuweka mtu akifika nini nini, but there were people who were teaching them now how this pyramid mm. scheme works na mtu akuchukua pesa zako nini. When there was a product, alafu wewe ulete watu wa 10. Yes. So at that time, these a depot ilikuwa hapo nyuma kwa hiyo building wanafanya kazi for Africa Spirit. Mm. and there was a gentleman who was actually in charge of that depot alikuwa anaitwa Martin so Martin hapo ndio tulipa tana mm. akaanza kuwa na kasiana so alikuwa anakuja na nilisha ka pick and peel juice over lunch time nini 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 <laughs> so <laughs> so actually the truth of the matter is even when I was joining KMC we were still sort of together like kulikuwa na ka relationship tuseme mm. kulikuwa na ka relationship mm. for, for sure mm. And when I came to Nairobi he was also transferred oh. to Nairobi now the main company in Akwanga Mahali Mombasa Road. Okay. I don't know if it's still there when mm. the Africa Spirits. Anyway. So e frenzy eco. But every time they mention these names to me they don't ring a bell. Mm. Right? So lazima niulize like au ni nani? Na nani? Yeah. Na nini kila mtu anawaongelelea? And why is it such a big deal when people see them in college? So, <laughs> Richie, these three gentlemen are none other than number one, Dennis. Najaribu ku Dennis Mugo. Mhm. OJ. Yes. Right? Uh-huh. There's Philip Karanja. <laughs> Melvin. <laughs> Then there is one gentleman by the name Abel Mutua, Freddy. Freddy. Of Tahidi. Hi. So, at that particular moment, time, Tahidi why hi was chatting God as in uh, topping the chats. Mm-hmm. Huko. Mm-hmm. Like kama huko unajua Tahidi hi ni time. Ah, where you by the imagine to check. Exactly. Mm. It was the, the one show that was known countrywide. So this buzz and this frenzy is because now what one Africa KMC ati unaona Melvin unaona OJ unaona Freddy so it was a big deal for people but you see it's a big deal for them because wamewa watch kwa TV mimi nime watch TV ya nani <laughs> so hata wakiongelelea i'm like so what's the big deal with this gen- mimi kwangu si kwa naiona ni kwa nashanga what like what's the big deal so wako kwa TV kwa show oh, okay so for me it was uh, okay but unaweza tell tu na wasichana vile gaji kiki it's over and, uh, So yeah. these guys are like in third year. Yes. The show is on TV. Yes. But they are also in school. Exactly. Wow. They are actually in their final year. Na wali I think they wali kwa mingia tahidi wakiwa in the second year. Mm. So it's their final year in college but bado wako tahidi hai. And tahidi hai is still tahidi hai. Like mm. it's the show everybody was talking about. So of course kuna you me to me ah okay. Me all I see is gentlemen walking around and that's it. But there's kuna place wana ketingi. So kulikuwa na side ya boys na side ya girls, mm. right? 
and uh, the only time we would interact was during classes and during meal, time, meal times. Meal times. Now meal times, the cosaidi are girls. Mm. So the mess. Silikuwa inaitwa mess. Hiyo place ya kwenda kukula ilikuwa nga side ya girls. So there's a place they would sit ilikuwa inaitwa kwenye itwa what corner? Ilikuwa na kajina hapo. Walikuwa na kama kuketi. Basi sasa mahali wana keti ikawa the pathway to our hostels. Like the, the entrance to mm-hmm. do access hostel lazima uta, utapitia hapo. So now I got to say I got strategic yeah, yeah. very strategic <laughs> apparently it's something they used to do akiwa wakijua kwanza mafresha wameingia let's Hiyo check out kwa nini yao ya kufanya upe, upelelezi wa kujua who is who is mm. coming who is who, who are we going to talk about nani tunakuja kusumbua but remember mimi kwa kichwa wangu they are just what boys students yes. kama mimi <laughs> student college tunaitanga students yep. yeah so mimi hata sina hiyo like I am not as interested, right? Na uko na kamato hapo. Ni kona kamato. Hiyo <laughs> time na amekuja anishi South B. Oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, over the weekends I would go see him alafu narudi shule. Mm. So, tunaona akipita pita pita pita. Sasa hii time inaendelea endelea shule. So, I remember one time in the dormitory, uh, in the hostel, let's see dormitory in high school, in the hostel because uh, we used to so when you're a fresher one hostel has three double deckers mm. so you six of you in one hostel but below nenda uki songa na second year third year you end up in your own room okay yeah but when you're starting out mna share six in a room six in a room so of course at corner girls of course we've started forming friendships because now this is how we we live together um nakumbuka one of the girls akisema hey na judi nimesikia nimesikia kuna watu wanakuongelelea mahali so in my head i was like akina nani atile squad ya akina freddy vile wana kitingi pale nilisikia wanakuongelelea so me i very quickly dismissed it because in my head richi i am a village girl from kiferigwi sasa awa ma superstar. Wanaweza <laughs> kwa wanaongeleza, wanaongelesha a village girl for what reason? Whoa. So I very quickly dismissed. Like I quickly dismissed it. Like unajua ile ya unafikiria tu mnanicheza yeah, yake yeah. nini. But then it happens that um so KMC has a very strong drama club. Mm. Like very, a powerhouse, is it? A powerhouse mm. exactly. It's very strong. Like it's a very strong a club. So nas hiyo time unasikia oh kuna wanaza wan, wan casting for plays nini 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 if you're interested in the drama club come nini 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 so i used to hang out with a group of uh, girls when you were interested in mm. your story ya uh, you are not interested written shape wa drama wapi oh ni primary si high school ya sa but now cuz you hanging out with <laughs> people who are, eh, who are interested in this drama club pia wewe unajipata tu huko yep So but me I used to go to watch. support yes to just be around yes like I, I used to go to and see like just to see like what happens in this drama club mm. right mm. but uh, during one night because the the uh, drama club would happen after 7 pm mm. you know just a call you adults are going to you yeah. were forced to read. Bedtime, yeah. if you want to read you go read if you don't go do whatever you want so drama would happen from 7 pm after dinner So I remember this one time to me and Mimi I'm just there spectating. Then I think I was tortured by one uh, chick there. Ni siju kalisema nini kakasema judi can sing. So on this panel of judges the people who are selecting now this nini watu wenye mnataka kujoin drama club was OJ Philip Abel. I think there was Jimmy and there was some other chicks. Mm. Now I naketi pale kama judges, wewe well, ukuje useme what you can do, you can sing, okay, sing for us, right? So kama mtu akasema hapo naweza imba. Remember we uh, did a bit of choir yeah, yeah. in in high school. <laughs> so nikasema oh kani chocha, nikaitwa hapo mbele nikasema you know what, okay. So I sang and apparently it was good enough to qualify me for a position in the <laughs> play. <laughs> and that's how I ended up being now in the drama club 
Wow. Yes, na sasa hii drama clubs yao au ma, ma superstar ndio kusema hapo mm-hmm. hii drama club. And this your first year? First year. Okay. So ninge nini? But me in my head, me I was just a joy rider. <laughs> Cuz even the role I got was Actually I never ended up even seeing it. No, the role I got was of a flower or some meant to be a flower. So hata kwa stage na kani kama kama wewe. Nakale ndika hii script. I wonder. Sije kama ni huyo mtu wa horizon. Maua yangu itakuwa. So in liko flower but sasa we were like four girls who are flowers. Na kuna mali tukua tunaimba. So hapo ndio singing ilikuwa. Okay. So tumeanza rehearsals za play. Mm. Tunaenda tunafanya rehearsals. So I was a, I think I, I was excited to be a part of something. I get. But also I think the reason why nilikubali cuz it was a very short. Like you know like a small role. Mm, mm. And even on stage I would appear for maybe a few minutes and then mm. I'm off. It wasn't like a main role. So I think kasim, ah kama kaende kaende alafu unajua hii time pia 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 pressure it happens in college. Yep. Juma bishti wako hapo hii hata mimi wacha niingie nikue. Hata mimi ni lazima nikue part of this thing. So we start our rehearsals and the rehearsals happen bado after 7. And mm. the rehearsals would sometimes go up to 11 sometimes midnight. It was like this was serious business in KMC. Drama was serious business. So on one of these nights, right? <laughs> that we are rehearsing Uh, a third year, a fellow third year. His name is uh, Abdi Mongai. Hata atasema Mongai mfiki hiyo story sana. Abdi mm. Mongai. Ananiambia si uh, everything is happening on the girls side. Mm. So it happens to be raining usiku na unajua after rehearsals the boys need to cross and go to side yao. Mm. Like lazima utoke kwa gate uvuke barabara then you walk. They had to walk to their hostels. So kuna nyesha. So munga na niomba ahudi nilikuwa nimeva na niomba jampa na niambia ah si nipe hii jampa of yeah. course juice kuna nyesha sisi huku kwenye tuko tuko pande yetu so wachukua jampa ya eh, nikampe jampa aende mm. it was a pink jampa i remember very well it was a pink jampa so mm-hmm. munga ame 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 chukua jampa mimi nimempe jampa juice hii nitakimbia tu niende kwa nini wao they have a long walk before they get to their hostel nimempatia jampa two days later I receive a call. So nikiangalia naona eh hey, namba sijui. Mm. Na hiyo tayari alikuwa anashuka kwa kutuambia nani anapiga mm. <laughs> So naangalia na shinda, hey, who is this? It's not a familiar number, but he, of course unashika tu. So nasikia eh hey. and even the sauti is not me akiongea sijui si sauti ya nani. Na nasikia X Abel Mutua kwanza roho inas, inasikia ka kitu kwa sababu huyu ni superstar. You remember huyu ni superstar kwa hii shule. So ananipigia kwa nini? Hiyo ndio ilikuwa my first thought. Nasema Isabel mtua nimepata jampa ya pink mahali na kuna watu wameniambia ni yako. Naweza kuletea? So, yeah. so, like, nikamwambia hii jampa nilipatia Munga. Munga ndiye alikuwa na kaniambia nimepata tu nikambo ni yako. So naweza kuletea? Nikamwambia okay. <laughs> Okay but that's a, this call ni ya jioni jioni mm. ni ya jioni jioni <laughs> akaniuliza hostel yangu ni gani nikamwambia akasema ni Before this had you talked talked only when during the rehearsals mm. so but it, it was work related exactly. not at your high high Actually I feel like it was probably the first time to go to my corner our non one conversation Wow okay This the whole time we were to we interacting when there are other people there. Mm. So when you say man, but in Kanada you say that's a bit weird. Any in Kanada in my boys to me be ali pata mahali. So around 7:30 so the boys would were allowed to come to the girls side even the hostels mm. but by 10 p.m. Otoke. Lazima wako ametoka. Ufai kupatikana kwa the girls hostels past 10 p.m. Mm. right? So after dinner ndio alikuja kaleta. Na sasa hiyo time nilikuwa nishaingia kwa room like kwa hostel niko hapo nimechill. Na sasa tumechill na my girls, right? So tunasikia knock. One of the girls ndio anafungua. So kufungua akaona ni Abel mtu wa kwanza akapanic. Eh, jana shanga hii superstar. Ana kuja kufanya nini kwetu? So Abel akasema ni mimi anataka kuongelesha. So 
So tunasikia knock. One of the girls ndiye anafungua. So kufungua akaona ni Abel mtu wa kwanza akapanic. Eh, jana shanga hii superstar. Ana kuja kufanya nini huko kwetu? So Abel akasema ni mimi anataka kuongelesha. So of course my girls kwanza huko kila mtu ana whisper uko ndani tu eh wana wana nasema dude una say vile like how we would react right you can imagine so of course mimi natoka na naenda tunaongea uh, na mwambia asante for the hoodie but naweza tell kuna kuna kitu kingine like yeah yeah there's like, something yeah. else happening here yeah. <laughs> like there's something happening here yeah, cuz me I was expecting you give me my hoodie okay. I tell you thank you <laughs> then <laughs> so na feel eh hey, ni kama kuna ka kitu kana happen hapa like ni kama kuna hii delay ya kunipatia hii hoodie ni kama anataka my story <laughs> <laughs> so so me, I'm just playing along because yeah. I never in my mind would I have guessed his vibe in you like he was vibing me Richie like ne- like your thought hanging across my mind because remember mimi I am a girl from where Kiferegui and this is a superstar on national TV Okay. So hata ananijua aji. Na huku shule tumekuja tuko na mabontao wasichana wa Nairobi wenye we hao ndio kila mtu ana. Mm. Yeah, so in my head it can't it can't be. Like it, it really can't be. Like e I I like. So tunaongea 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 but I uh, applaud his confidence. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeye yeah, alifungua roho. Mpaka imagine it was the first nini. Hodi bin alifungua roho. Eh, yeah, akaniambia he likes ele, so, ile akusema he likes me. Alikuambia on the Yes, only hiyo ya kwanza. <laughs> but <laughs> But well, in his defense, <laughs> he said he assumed I had picked up the signals. Yes, ah, at during no, these other interactions. No, no. <laughs> So mimi nashinda ai bana mimi hata au hata si hakuna So yeah, I was a bit shocked right I can imagine I was a bit shocked but what I felt at that point was more of excitement than shock Cuz who superstar mwenye kina mtu kwa hii shule msichana yote kwa hii shule ndio anataka It's you Amekuja msichana wa Kiferigui ai Like, come on. Be. What about Mato? <laughs> yes. Sasa ulize hiyo sasa. Hiyo zali na hiyo inakuja vizuri sana. Ah Mato at that particular point haku. Acha haku kwa akili anywhere. Haku kwa akili anywhere. So eh kuta kwa na vibe nini nyaka sema like nini 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 nini. Alafu tukaongea ongea nguya akaniambia anataka kuniambia good night and he wants if he can give me a kiss. It wasn't a kiss kiss. It was a peck. Yeah. It was more of a peck. It wasn't. Who oh, boy alikuwa na move? Alikuwa na <laughs> alikuwa na moves mbaya. But pia nilikam baadaye ni realize kumbe it was also a dare. Oh, okay. By his fellow boys. Cuz walikuwa wamemwambia huyo dem, huyo dem yote za ligi nyingine. Mm. Yo dem tumemjaribu na kuna mtu anaingia anga as in cuz of course there were other yes. nini in the same year third year yeah, when wangekuja wa wajaribu kurusha nini <laughs> you are a gem what to come here come you can hear this interview hasn't been too bad <laughs> I see what you see Abel. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. Stop it. <laughs> anyway, so now mm, Of course kuna wenye walikuwa wamejaribu kurusha tu vibes yeah. about <laughs> nothing 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 and then there are a few of them who had seen Martin come by mm. to pick me up because at that time he had um vo- boxy boxy hmm. yo gari it nilikuwa gari ya kampuni yeah, but, but it was very new zilikuwa zimetoka hiyo ship mpi okay see okay mm. the ship mpi as may evolve over yeah, time of course. but ilikuwa gari na kafiti sana mm. so of course kuna wenye walikuwa wameona kikam kuni big like on friday usiku ni yeah, like, so walikuwa uh, wameomba eh hey, yo dem ligi yake huwezi <laughs> cuz they've tried themselves imegonga ukuta na sasa wameona hey kuna mboi za kuja kumchukua hapa we Oyo ligi yake achana nayo. Yes. 
Shuba so, kupeleka. Yeah, so it turns out also it was a dare. Hmm. Oh, it was a dare. Yes, from his friends. But he found out this later on. From later on, later on, they mm. were going to later. Nilikuja kuniambia. And so there he didn't mind doing. Yes. I can Cause see. Zili, ah, alikuwa anasema yani alikuwa ameniangalia mara. Alikuwa ananiambia by the way you know how many times. Of course every time you would pass kuna wenye wako na girls you know boys mm. nini nini wakurusha oh mm-hmm. wenye atasema all those things. So yeah he was always quiet like he would he wouldn't say anything like he was always quiet. Mm. So alikuwa ananiambia ameniona siku mingi sana. But So this is what he said. This is in his own words. He said, you remember he was in his final year. Mm. And imagine the entire time Abel had, in, had been in that school, hakuwa na girlfriend. Wow. Hakuna dim hata mmoja alikuwa amekatia none. None. Until I stepped into KMC. Because hakuna msichana. By the way, it, it was well known. Because yep. every chick wanted Freddy. Mm. But Freddy na hakuwa na story za wasichana alikuwa anakambali nao sana alikuwa anasema alikuwa anaogopa wasichana wa college <laughs> yeah well until i should up anyway so there was a peck of course so the peck happened and uh, that was it what do you mean that that's the beginning of the story it was the beginning of the story but as in for that night that was it so you go back to your girl's dorm hey wacha ni kuambie atukulala hiyo usiku hawakuwa na lala ni so like, you tell them eh yeah, like i told them of course but then i i omitted the pack thing yes, i yes. didn't tell them hiyo ni kuzama baadaye kuambia the only thing i told them is i'm in let ya sweater na mimi ambili alipata huko ni hii sweater ni kwa mapati ya abdi na amesema ana ni like no hiyo ilitizisha wasichana hiyo siku kwa hostel cuz you are like si tulikuwa basi ni kwa nakwambia watu wanasema ana ku like anyway that was the beginning of of your relationship yes but what happens now you, with mato because <laughs> now do you uh, no, not even with mato <laughs> do you have feelings for him do you realize even you were like aja ah, no or it was just my excitement yeah i Freddy. was excited okay and that particular because you see it's he's not someone that you know. crossed my mind okay it's not someone I had interacted with like vizuri like one on one conversations mm. for me to say i knew him okay. like i knew who he was the only thing I, i i i knew about him was from the stories you hear mm. from people but that was the first time it had actually had like a one on one conversation so i think for me what i felt at that particular point was only excitement okay and the I fact that he ka pride mm. like ni mimi <laughs> mimi <laughs> <laughs> like yeah it was just it was purely excitement because remember i have a what a boyfriend a boyfriend <laughs> when you to tapata na weekend right <laughs> so to kind of level but sasa unajua to butterfly to butterflies tukianza kuingia yeah so now you can just start to you you see each other Yeah. Now you started seeing each other. Now we are seeing like no like we are seeing each other. Not seeing in the in terms of a relationship. Yeah. No in school oh, to know na na but to... see relationship or anything. Okay. But sasa unajua ako ka unajua ako ka you know t- that yes, time where the, yes the, the, where you start me. realizing pole pole he na kuna kitu. Yeah. Nikimuona kuna vile nasikia. Oh. <laughs> Which wasn't there before. Mm. But now I can tell this something. And was he coming to talk to you? Yes, he would come, we would talk. Actually, ilianza kukani kama sasa kukuwa more of friends, friends and more of a um, not a best best friend. But like someone you would vibe with. Okay. Like someone you would sit uh, we would sit together in a canteen, tukikula mm. kitu na tuongea ma story nini. Unajua hivyo? Mm. But you know that is how these things grow. Yeah, 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 of course. But that's the best way for them to grow. Anyway. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So by the tunachapanga two story tunaongea nga nini na nini na nini na nini. But the truth of the matter is it did not take too long. <laughs> Before Martin was overthrown. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? Mato one day came and you told him by the imagine. No, so you know, una kuna ka Bible verse in December. Yeah, there is like a story that is not very nice. Okay. So, um of course with time, I'm now uh, more interested in spending time with him than going to see him over mm. the weekend. 
ama if i go like on friday night on saturday i want to come back to school ah, yeah, 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 and yeah, normally yeah. i would go throughout as in for the uh, whole weekend and i would probably come back to school sunday juni or monday very early in the morning before classes I get begin it. right but sasa kidogo kidogo nimeanza kuwa eh niko na project tuna meet group work shule you see wow. it's all lies Of yeah. course you lie. Yeah, Only, no, before it. you get to the point where you're telling somebody the truth, yeah. of course you lie like kidogo. Because mm. you also don't really you don't know kama hii ni kitu kweli ama you're not sure kama you want mm. to end this thing. Mm. You see at that particular point tulikuwa tumekuwa na matofu over one year. Wow, okay. So we've been together at alikuwa amejua mom, alikuwa amejua nana like my siblings mm. nini nini nini. So over time akanza he got the, he got it yeah i think he started uh, noticing apa apa kuna kitu but then now this is what he did did you know he would come to school and if i say i'm going to school and uh, there is um uh, a project you're working on angekuja atake uh, kuona hiyo ni project gani tunafanya oh. and then i came to later realize but i cuz sometimes he would tell me things that were so accurate but si mimi nimemwambia ulijulia wapi hizo vitu I came to later realize kuna, there's our family friend of um, theirs from home alikuwa huko na alikuwa sadia na alikuwa anataka Abel. Ah, yeah, she was what? one of the chicks mwenye alikuwa amekufia. So what eh hey, alianza kukuwa spy wake. So angemwambia alikuwa anamwambia. He didn't tell no. What for? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was young love and what not. Anyway, the day came na nikaambia sasa Martin eh, It's eh, over. Yeah, he was not very happy but anyway Yeah. had to be done. Na hiyo sasa ikaishia hapo. Na sasa ikakuwa ikis full on like sasa ni mimi na wewe. Matacha ni kwambia by the time nilikuwa na kama hapo, we alikuwa ameni alikuwa ameni warn. Kama niambia by the you need to choose. Kwa <laughs> sasa oh, he knew oh, oh, Martin existed. Yes. Yeah. Like he knew Martin yeah. existed. Na alikuwa anajua by the way uko na mtu. Bas sasa pia nilikuwa na wachezea wote. Eh, nilikuwa na wachezea wote. <laughs> Haki mama kiskia sikia mama mama kiskia historia na kwa hata mtoto wake kwa shule anasoma anyway mama i'm sorry but see eh? see you have a good son he's a very good son <laughs> yeah, so now um so of course martin and inaisha eh mm. uh, inaisha and inaisha na nini na martin calls even my mother my mother was very mad at me because mama anaambia that is a very good boy why are you breaking his heart nini nini mm. anyway there was a story there because at some point And Martin had actually uh, used to give me like pocket money. Oh okay. So they had become very close with my mom because mm. alikuwa anajua kama mama hawezi. Eh so mom mom can hitaji kitu na mom hana do. Mm. Alikuwa anajua Martin atakam through. So you see mm. they had formed like a friendship there. That's so deep. Yeah. That's deep. I yeah. get it. Yeah. So when it happened my mom was not very happy. I, I actually remember because it happened just before we closed school and you see for me ni kitu kifunga shule ni uweke ka suitcase moja kwa moja kwa matatu hadi 20k mm. kwa sababu sasa Nairobi kwani nakaa kwa nani mm, mm, sina mm. mali pa kukaa Nairobi so ni tukifunga shule out straight yangu ni ile tunafunga vile tu liko ni primary ah, i mean high school mnafunga unaingia nini unaenda kwa mom it was the same thing if school is uh, is is closed naingia matatu naenda ne, uh, kefirigwe kwa mom so i remember tulikuwa tulikuwa tu tunaenda kufunga shule and my mom was so mad at me so kuna rafiki yetu hapo alikuwa ame yeah me ako na nyumba yake unajua kuna there are students who would either um, choose to stay in mm-hmm. school mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. kwa hostels ama wana their parents rent them like aka nyumba kwa yes. so, so that's quarter something like that exactly and also we had parallel parallel students mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. wenye classes zao ni za evening yes. eh. so hao walikuwa na ka nje ya shule hawakuwa na kwa allowed kuka kwa hostel So a friend of one of my friends alikuwa na ka hostel ka, ka room tu. So I remember tulifunga shule hivi but for one week si kwenda home. So my mom was very mad your story ya. Yo. Ya Martin na nini na nini? Anaona tu nimeharibia huyo kijana. Kwa nini umeharibia? And you are not being serious. Alafu time unajua the whatever she's been told is huyu kijana kuna, kuna kaji, yeye ni yeah. oh, vijana wa TV. Mm. Si kijana mzuri. Eh hey, there was a lot. <laughs> Anyway but it's also showing that you are entering adulthood kabisa where, ah, making, where choices are coming choices are exactly so well she was mad but after that i went back home na tukakuwa tuko sawa na hiyo story ikaisha hapo 
so tunaendelea tu so this is uh, 2007 eh, eh, and then let's just say Mr. Tai as in the year ends in September mm. the following year mm, mm. yeah so first year nenda hivyo we are one year down sasa tumeingia nimeingia second year sasa and kuna Freddy Abel eh, exactly and, and sasa ni full full oh eh so anaenda actually No 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 no. Or did he because of credit team? Yeah. So you see vile hizo miaka zinaenda even come then me nikiingia second year oh. alikuwa shule bado because mm. now the way it works in KMC unamaliza shule March okay. April. Umalize shule ati hiyo mwaka mm. imeisha. Mm. So me nikiingia second year ndio third year yao na maliza the last few months okay, and those it. the the first those uh, three the last three months na kuanza projects nini nini kumaliza vitu whatever umalize sasa ndio ngoje graduation so tumeingia second year sasa it's a full on relationship everybody knows in school da, 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 mm. da. Yeah, but i'm still an active member of the drama club nini cuz hapo ndio tunge like well we tend to interact na watu wengine mm. shule inaendelea poa i'm still a good student nafanya fanya tu vitu hapa na pale are you enjoying school yes i'm enjoying school very not much not abel school <laughs> yes, 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 yes 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 mimi nimependa shule by the way okay. all along hakuna so, mahali tulisumbuana na shule mimi nice. nilipenda shule all along so second year tumeanza september si tumefanya hiyo the first but kmc tuko tunazita bado terms cuz mm. tuko tuna work to mm. ni kama shule za gava si semester so term inaisha then unaingia second so second term yetu ni january february march mm. then april you go on holiday again yep. but that instead of being first term sasa ni second term eh second term inakuja tuna Uh, soma 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 shule iko poa ah boyfriend ako sawa maneno inaenda vizuri inafika march eh tunafanya exams but march siku za mwisho mwisho <laughs> march siku eh yes, it is in no 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 no, no, no. second year tuko sawa Mm. na second year tunaendelea vizuri na nini na nini but shule is going very well nothing in school is shule is going very well mm. but now we go back home home kwenye mom yuko this is now 2007 2008 2008 mama ameanza tena na my in-laws remember oh. they've been quiet for a while mm. but kale tu kamvurutano here and, and there So iko but haiko sana right So of course uke, nikienda home holiday utasikia hapa na pale nini 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 alafu mama anaanza kusema anasema for some reason nowadays at night and i feel like ni kama kuna watu wanajaribu kuingia kwa nyumba nika kuna wezi mm. right but see hata ukiamka asubuhi it was a common conversation even with the neighbors kuna ni bata amka aseme hakuna tanki ya maji imebiwa oh. kuna ni bata ya mka aseme kulikuwa na wheelbarrow hapo nje anajapata wheelbarrow mm. you know like mm. just pretty it, was, it, it didn't look like it was it, only for yes, yes ilikuwa tu in the neighborhood so ikakuwa kumbe si mam peke yake it's just it's happening in the neighborhood kuna vijana tu anasumbwa watu in the neighborhood and it was pretty like unaamka unapata jogo zako mbili zimeenda <laughs> <laughs> and so i see like kama yeah. unaamka unapata uli, uliacha basins zako mbili hapo nje aziko So ni just petty petty yeah. um, thieves. Anyway, that is now towards end of uh, 2008. But there is nothing like major major mm. na happen sana. Mm. Eh, 2009 which is actually now sort of my second year going into my final, final year yeah. of of college, right? So tukianza January up until uh, August ni second year. Mm. But by the time tunaingia September tunaingia my final year. So tumemaliza uh, second year uh, first term so tumeingia second year second term. Right? <laughs> Na hii second term ni January, February, March. So March tunafanya end of term exams ndio April twende holiday twende nyumbani mm. this is 2009 now yes. i remember very well 
so after these exams ni nini tunaambia na kwa heri kwa heri it was always a sad time cuz sisi kana Nairobi na kana Nairobi niambia mawangu na kana Nairobi kwa nani <laughs> wewe unajua unafunganga shule hivi wewe na suitcase yako 20k unakuja nyumbani <laughs> So this uh like the last week before to funge shule naanza ku feel funny. Oh my god. Naanza ku feel funny. Naanza ku feel Oh my god. Ni asikia kana mwana kichwa na mkasubi na asikia kana asikia nausea. Kwani iko nini but of course in your head you try and block like mm. you're blocking it proper. But I do mention it. Abel. I do mention it because me hey, nasike hivi na hivi na hivi. Hey. Akaniambia ah hiyo haiwezi kuwa kitu. Ukosha inaweza ah anyway. Anyway, na sisi tunafunga shule na naenda wapi? Home. So it time to go home. So by this time so of course you have mobile phones. It yes. is mm-hmm. yeah, but mm-hmm. need to 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 Kabambezi look. Yeah. Yes. Eh hey, so nito to knock it to 2110 those ones. So any man at home of course we communicate almost every day he's now very curious because he wants to know like how are things like kuna filaji so I'm home the first week and by the end of that first week I knew for sure hapa 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 ni kubaya but naweza sema kitu hata moja kwanza nyumbani hata nikiamka nisikie nozi anaenda kwa ile choya nje uko mbali sana na mama <laughs> Do I I knew for sure like what was happening like I knew So by week 2 at home cuz it's a holiday na kwanga like a month mm. maybe a month and a week or month and two weeks the second week I'm like hey, kubaya So by it time asha nipigia I isn't tumeongea I mean I'm now you need to find a way You need to come to Nairobi Like I don't know what you're going to tell your mother but you need to do what Come to Nairobi You need to come to Nairobi na need kukuja Do we do a test to confirm if this thing is 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 real. Of course kwani unaweza kosa uongo. Ya kuambia mzazi. Uongo na yeye zikosekana. Uongo itapatikana. And remember I can't tell her I'm going to someone's whose house are you yes. going to. Mm-hmm. So this is what I tell my mom. I tell my mom, "Now mom, unajotaka tunaenda kwanza internship na nimepata internship um, DFS liko in the Department of Film Services which mm. is iko ndani ya KMC. Mm. But sasa mom unajua hawezi kubalisha nikae kwa hostel, nikwa internship. Lazima nitafute uh, accommodation nje. Mm. So kuna rafiki yangu amepata hostel town right in the CBD. Wacha niende ni hiyo hostel yake na kaaje ndio tuanze kujipanga ndio tujue kama hiyo ndio hostel tutachukua hii time tuko internship. Nisikie uongo vile imeingia. <laughs> uongo imekubali kabisa. So my mom was okay mpaka kanipe fare nini 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 mpaka kanipatia pocket money ya kusurvive Nairobi. Ju I was I was meant to go to be gone for like a week and then I come back mm. just to make sure I have sorted my accommodation and everything for the internship. Yes. So bas kwani nimeenda wapi? Nimeenda pangani? At that time wanaishi na Philip Polish walishamaliza shule ya KMC. Mm. Right? Yes. Eh yeah, na wameanza Yes, why by your time washamaliza shule ya KMC. Mm. So sasa wako na how um at uh, pangani in the hustle of things. Yes, they have rented a one bedroom apartment. Vijana sasa waanze kujipanga na mai. Wako tahidi so them at least they have a source of income. Yes. So wako tu sawa. Ma sasa hii uongo yote unajua nimeenda wapi? Nimeenda pangani. Kwa hiyo yes. kwa hapo kwa Philip wanakaa na Philip. Kwa Philip na Abel. They are going to do the test. And let me tell you. Nilifika uvivi, nikapata amezinunua. <laughs> <laughs> amezinunua ready to do the test. And of course we do the test and it's positive. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> positive. Smama <laughs> hapo 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 hapo. <laughs> So we were going to continue this thing yeah. from this okay. cuz I don't want us to rush this whole mm-hmm. story. Niko na swali ya million. <laughs> But for now, yeah. I want us to stop. Okay. We're going to tutaendelea ku shoot. Mm. By the way, tutaendelea ku shoot mm. with, with this conversation. We're going to continue a piece the rest and I want us to take it most most. But I want <laughs> the amazing host of ours to eat Saini Sangapi. Saini Sangapi ni 520 amekuwa What? Kutoka asubuhi. Asubuhi. Now I can't give my guest lunch uh, see if <laughs> so fanya hivi go turaki yako inaitwa mpesa oh my god <laughs> kwanza 
First of all, thank you so much for sharing your story. And also, si mekubali again to come here and sit down. Yes! And continue. Hey, this story tunaichapa mpaka tufike. Leo, Leo. tuseme, ebu niambie leo medu nini. <laughs> Uliamuka ukafanya nini. <laughs> so, allow me. Allow me to soft life mama Judy Fant. Oh. Me, that's that's a conviction that I've gotten. Mm. So, allow me, while, while we go and eat lunch, allow me at least to do one more. Okay. For for this time. Oh my god. Guys, <laughs> we're supporting Mama Judy for the soft life. This is just my push. Mm. You get what I mean? And, it, and I always like I always like leading by example. Yeah. You get? Because mm. sometimes people say, ah, unajua mimi sina dome, mimi niko na shilling bill. If 2 million people give shilling bill, that's 4 million. That's If 100,000 people give one shilling, that's 100,000. Yeah. You get? So anything that you have will definitely be accepted. And there's a reason why I'm saying this because this story is going to go somewhere. I just yeah. know it. You can you can clearly tell. So, na enda send money or seven? Yes, uh, 98 98 659 659 792 792 it's the one on the screen as you can see so mimi nitaweka thao yangu oh eh imekata hiyo thao it knows <laughs> it knows hii hii umeshapatia to the other number 07 uh, 98 98 659 659 792 792 yeah. let me try a different amount let's try to make it 1250 one No, no, I'm not going. So press that and send. Oh, guys, we are coming back. We are coming back to continue this conversation. Hata you guys won't even feel it because <laughs> the next example that I talk to Sahib, but then us we are stopping for the next 3 days and then we are going to come Maybe back and come shoot. back pick up the conversation. Asad sana. Mm. Oh, Judy, do you want to say anything before we end? This first half. God bless you. Oh, God bless you too. God bless you. God bless you God too. God bless you. Yeah. We'll be back. <laughs>